Welcome, people, to the new edition of the Stroll Review panel show. This is episode three, um, and we are here this this week with the Hero Seventeen, Frozen Binary Studios, those um, Samantha, Samantha Luna, uh, and um, Jason Blue. Um, you're probably wondering where the other two um, episodes are, so I mean we can start just some basic announcements off with that. The first one is still in limbo as I have no good software to edit five-hour chunks of um, chunks of clip. Um, and the second episode, yeah, that um, that one went rather shoddy. But um, if you want, there are both. Welcome, to the new Whoa. edition of uh, Stroll Review Panel Show. This is episode three. Um, and we are here well, I think raw there footage is better than cutting stuff because it actually shows the humanoid factor of it. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it was certainly... Um, it, 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 it's so it's certainly it's certainly a nuisance, but I mean it was um there's an important ed edit that needs to be made there, um, and other announcements currently um down in the leagues right now you'll be able to find a form for OP Skynet, um that you know that extends beyond Twitter, um, that um. You know, going to you know Tumblr, YouTube, um, Google Plus, those sorts of things. So if you can sign up there, we can help more strengthen this network um, beyond one social service. And um, with that, I guess we can get into it. Um, so I guess we can. So I guess we can start off with the first um, topic of news. Um, you guys want to start off with the um, IDGA block list, perhaps? Yeah. Sure. Is uh, somebody in the, in the block list beside me? Oh, I'm in both block lists, and my Twitter account is only seven days old, mind you. <laughs> How? I, do, I have no idea. Can I investigate this block list? Because I've seen three so far, and I'm not in it. Uh, do you follow yes. me, Robert? Yeah. Um. Here, I'll post the I'll post the link to the block list, and we can actually, um, on show search it for um. Yeah. Uh, probably is you are blocked because I'm blocked and you follow me, so you are blocked. Okay. Let's see. All right. Yeah. How do I? Is there a search engine way of doing this or no? Um. Yeah. If you if you click on the link in the in the chat. Yeah, I did that. Um, Holy shit. How many pages of this are there? A hundred, one hundred. Start yeah, with the it's last ones. It's, it, start, it, start with the last ones. The last ones are in alphabetical order. The, le the other ones are completely random. Yeah, that's the reason why I wanted to search it. Mm hmm. Yeah, so I mean, so I mean just just to show you how ridiculous the how ridiculous this is, um we can search for example, you know, that's me right there. <laughs> so, um 7 day 7 days ago, you know, so they're they're hitting ev everyone and, you know, you know, and anyone basically who um uses the GamerGate um, hashtag and um, actually this ha this has some funny e coincidences all things all things co um, considering when I do the search engine does it actually search all the pages or just that one page um, it just it just searches that what it searches that one page um, oh, great <laughs> start, at, start at the end the alphabetical ones are the easiest. I mean, in the beginning, you're going to find A, B, C. So I started like uh, I started searching the M, and suddenly I found myself. Found myself. They, they blocked Nikola Tesla, man. Damn. 
Yeah, and actually... <laughs> they block Kentucky Fried Chicken. I know, <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, and actually, the, the that's... Just to, yeah, I mean, th this is sort. Of, I mean, even Breitbart has noted that they've um, blocked Kentucky Fried Chicken, and more importantly, game developers. Yeah. Which um, I believe I the um, yeah you can see my uh, screen share there. Oh, does it do it? Nope. Oh, by the way, I'm already going to page ten, and I haven't found me yet. What what letter? Uh, first initial is H. Oh, Pants. you have to be careful because, like, you have to. It's like A B C D. They start with the C and then they go down. Like the first <laughs> ones are the last ones and the last ones are the first ones. It's weird. They haven't found me yet, those fucks. Page fourteen, still going, no match. Let's hope you chop. So I doubt I'll show up. I'm a big fucking joke. I mean, the the scandal is that they blocked the chairman of the ID IGDA Puerto Rico, and he said that if they didn't take him out, he was going to resign. Yeah, and one of one of, yeah, I mean the big thing to note really about this is that um, it didn't only target her people they thought were harassing, but people who followed the. I'm not in it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking like you know, so ten thousand four hundred twenty-five according to the Breitbart article right here. Um, Unique Twitter users have been wow. um, have been put put on this list for basically ve on very shaky ground, um, which I mean this if this doesn't show you know just sort of the length that um, they're willing to go to um, to um, you know, just create hug boxes. It's I mean I'm not sure. Um, oh yeah, I'm, Jesus was in it. I remember that. Yeah, it's. I think it's, I think they added like 50 people since that news. Oh, 50 people. Yeah, so you know that's. Yeah, because uh, now is. No, it's still the same. Sorry, I thought it was ten thousand four hundred and ninety-five, but it's not twenty-five. <sighs> well, <laughs> even if they did do this block list, it's just gonna it's just gonna pile up even more and more as they get everybody in it, and they try to say, yeah, we're gonna dox all these people. This is gonna back, uh, bite them in the ass if anybody gets doxed or anything that's in that block list. Aww, Jason hasn't been blocked because he doesn't have Twitter. That's good for him, though. I mean, not for have not not for <laughs> not getting blocked for not having Twitter. I have a Twitter. I have one too, but I'm never on it. I got like shit to do. I cast on Twitch. That's the reason why I have a Twitter. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just recent I just recently you know you know got it you know got a Twitter, and that's after you know. Creating, you know, a Google Plus page and you know, a Facebook page and everything. So it's like, oh, you could just say confirmed after so many days blocked and a block list. Go figure. <laughs> you can make a joke out of it. I just created yeah. this and I got blocked for no apparent reason. I wonder if anyone's tried to do that already. Just tried to see how you know how few people they have to follow or how. Um, how you know how many tweets they have to make before they're blocked? Well, I still think it's funny how uh, the SJWs were wondering what the fuck Solution Six was. <laughs> that was like brilliant. I'm sorry, but that was just too damn funny. <laughs> oh, really? They didn't get a Star Wars reference? Oh, that. 
No, uh, they were all pa- panicking because of what everybody was posting. They did not understand anything that was going on in there. <laughs> they thought it was like an operation spectrum of something. <laughs> okay, solution six. Yeah, Solution 6, the SJWs were thinking, what is this thing? Is this some kind of ploy that gamer gators are going to do for an attack on us? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that's hilarious. It's, is uh, Solution 6 still going on? Because if it is, I'm going to do another tag on it. I'm not sure if it is or not. It's It should still be going on, honestly. Um. Hey guys in chat, how you doing? Free cookies I, for everybody. I'm, I'm cooking. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. There we go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh. And I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't even. Doesn't even really stop there. We. I mean. <laughs> there's. Yeah. There. Um. Actually, Samantha was the one, to, one was the one to um, alert me to alert me to this one. Apparently, um, so, um, Sox found out about the, this attempt yeah. by um, an by a, by an SJ by an SJW group to um, ba- to basically make a na- a U.S. national law. About um, harassment. I uh, don't know if it's actually a national law. I think one one of the things that uh, it's from the One Angry Gamer blog, and I, one of the things that Sox was really angry about is that it seems that it's going to apply for the totally the totality of the internet, and she was really pissed off because she wanted to put the U.S. on one. Or two sites, and let them there. Like, be there because nobody wants you. Yeah. So, um, I am. So, I mean, I'm lo- I'm loading up that video currently. Um, which, unless I can. Um, how do you present the JSON screenshot? I, 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 um, the, he's using screen capture right now, so I just, um, I, I can just go, I can just click it essentially. Oh. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. This oh, Ian said that he missed it. Tell Liam to get in. Oops. Yeah, I did a recommendation, and Otter G just thought it was a great idea for like December. Start posting Christmas stuff on Gamergate. <laughs> I mean, we all celebrate the holiday in every in a, every different way of it, but it's still the same same thing of world peace and friendship. I wonder how freaking SJWs would think about that. They'd probably spurg out like big time. What they seem to. Yeah. Oh, sorry, go ahead, Smetal. No, I wanted to wonder, I uh, wanted to ask, what is the objective of Gamergate when it comes to Black Friday? Oh, what's everybody's? Or well, what's theirs? Oh, what? Well, so racist. What, no, what the I... objective of what have at Gamergate? What do you? That, what do we want for Black Friday? Oh, Black Friday. I'm waiting until Cyber Monday. I want to get uh, a Wii U and a PS4. Yeah, we oh. Yeah, because uh, Black Friday is a very dangerous day. Yeah, I'm not going to work on Black Friday. Yeah, Just no one would. I um I actually knew somebody who was actually one of the cashiers on my uh, Facebook page. He told me he was working on Black Friday for extra pay, and he got knocked out 30 minutes in. Really? Yeah. That's... How knocked out? Like knocked out. He was punched like... in the face and KO'd. <laughs> that's like that's crazy. by no less than a fifty-six-year-old woman. Yeah. Really? That's wow. That's it's dangerous on Black Friday. Um, uh, like the like um, 
like uh, people my age or and I'm like 28 are not even trying to go for Black Friday. It's dangerous there. A lot of um, news actually with Gamergate and Black Friday, and some want to actually boycott it because um, you know just just because AAA titles. Um, Pulling, you know, pulling the wool over gamers' eyes, and you know, a lot of the ire over, you know, Sonic Boom and um, <laughs> and um, uh, I the thing about that from Game Grumps. Oh yeah, I've been watching the I've I've been watching their series on Sonic Boom. It's it's glorious. Like I I, um, I don't watch them anymore. I got tired of them, but I saw the one episode where it showed the creator of the show who does the editing. It's like six minutes of the whole show of him showing a cutscene that looks like shit. Yeah. We yeah. Sonic? Sonic Boom. I, I, I was hoping good things after Sonic Generations that they would make a really good game, and it looked very promising because it was said it was made by Red Button, who were the, the people who, who were part of Naughty Dog, the old generation from, like, uh, Crash Bandicoot and stuff like that, and I oh. thought, ooh, this could be interesting. And, yeah, turned out to be a big pile of shit when it came to the cutscenes and stuff. Well, even just the game itself is buggy as fuck. Yeah, which I mean is I mean is is you know great for people like who in, who enjoy YouTube content because it's like you know it, I I remember the old the old Game Grumps series back in when they played Sonic 06, and that was just a glorious ride of emotion. Oh my god, I laughed on that one. My um I I saw it when it first came out too um when they did the very first episodes of Kirby Superstar. Oh, that was great. Yeah, yeah. When when John was still in it, I mean, I don't know how well John and um, Aaron are doing anymore. They're not doing anything anymore. From what it was said, is uh, um, John's uh, fan base demanded him to come back so much. I actually agreed with them that he needed to come back, but he kept saying stuff like, "Oh, but if I do come back, I'm gonna leave Game Grumps. Do you really want that?" And people were like, "No." And they're like, "Well, it takes a lot of time out of my of my hours to do Game Grumps." And I'm like, "That is a." fucking why you can do a, a short little video and your time's off from time to time well yeah it was yeah it's I actually prefer his game grum stuff over his you know his his own stuff we yeah but have you noticed ever since he did get back to his own stuff he only makes a video every three months yeah it's like a super long production time which I mean granted he's no Anita Sarkeesian so it doesn't bother <laughs> me but it's, it's still that 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 that's too freaking long for one video. That's about five or ten minutes long. John Tron one? Yeah, John Tron. If you look at all of his videos, they're about ten, fifteen, twenty minutes. That's it. And he's gone for three months, and then come uploads a video after three months. That takes too much time. Even a uh, Guru Larry basically can do that in about the sum of about three and a half days. Yeah, I love the... My favorite videos are the one when he talk about Goosebumps. Oh, the Goosebumps ones? Yeah, um, did you see the recent one he did of... Uh, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark? Yeah. Yeah, but that the Goose uh, ones were... I had a laugh attack when they showed the one about the Harry's, the Harry's Adventure. And it has the like the best moment in his, in the show. Well, yeah, I mean, and you know, his stuff now is is really actually quite similar to like um um that guy with glasses material. Yeah. yeah. Like nostalgia critic that I just think he should just join that network now. No. <laughs> No. No, if he actually I would he's... recommend not to go to that guy with the glasses. They're a corporation. If you think the corporation is great, it is horrible. Like uh, Larry Bundy Jr., one of the members of uh, that guy with the glasses was a part of it, and he said it was worse than you think. Like, you think they're all buddy-buddy? Oh, no. They do not like each other. None of them do. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He basically said that he tried making a joint thing with one person to another person. He would not name names, but he said that there was a lot of arguments going on. He did say that... Um, um, Doug, the creator of Nostalgia Critic, and his, uh, I think it's like his brother or something, or the writer, they basically will never talk to each other. And and when they do, they make an episode of Nostalgia Critic, and they never talk to each other again. Really? Oh, I, I didn't, I didn't 
realize that. They are not. Ooh. None of them are in good terms with each other. I mean, uh, and there was a recent incident on um, Angry Joe with his uh, his stream. He told his whole fan base to fuck off once on Twitch. Well, Angry Joe, I'm not. I'm not a fan. Of, I'm not. I'm really not a fan of Angry Joe. He's. I mean, ever since he basically white knighted on his yeah. um, 2013, you know, controversies of you know, of gaming video with an yeah. ESO Canadian, you know, it was like, okay, no, yo, you have nothing insightful to say. It's it's clear anymore. Yeah, he stopped watching the show after that. Because he basically called us, like, he called us pigs. Like, we were the buddies in that thing, and she was a victim and all of that. The whole narrative that is seen now, the same one. Yeah, well, in, it's, in fact, it's the same. Mm -hmm. Hasn't changed at all. No. Yeah, not at all. Um... Uh, we have some new people in here. Don't um don't keep the faith. Um or yeah, just do one new person. Uh, how are you doing this evening? Or whatever time of day oh, it great. is there. Yeah, it's a little okay. after eight. Okay. So I mean, I had it completely wrong. What? Yeah, the time thing is annoying. It. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean YouTube does it in P um in in PST whatever that is, you know. It's a I'm in a city that in in a city I'm in fl in Flagstaff, which um doesn't observe a, a daylight sav savings time when the rest of the state when the rest of the state does observe it. That so it's like yeah, it, it. it yeah it gets really what hour is it, you know, it gets really, gets really, um, absurdly complicated. <laughs> hey. Every time, I, every time I try to figure out what time it is in, in, like, California or the, or, or the, the mid, the mid, the Middle East, what do we call it? Uh, the Midwest, I always get confused because I come from California where the ocean is on one side of you, and now I'm on the East Coast where the ocean is on the other side of you. So I can't even think about where the sun is. <laughs> well, you can pretty much say this if you live in California and on the east side of it where the water isn't. You'll be the first one to get the fuck out of there if forever was a tsunami. Yeah, yeah that's, yeah, that's true. <laughs> At least you got a bonus in that for department. Yeah. Um, yeah, and people <laughs> have speculated for years that that's going to happen. I don't doubt that it won't. Oh, here it happened already. Oh, really? Yeah, the 2010 one. It was a big one. Oh, oh, that's right. I didn't, I didn't realize. That. You mean from the tsunami that from the after the uh, the earthquake that broke uh, Fukushima? No, the. But that was 2011. Yeah, the one in Chile, the one that moved the earth. Oh. Do you remember that it it was so strong that it, it moved the axis? Oh, yeah. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, I remember. I remember that. It, 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 yeah, it, it like it like shifted it like what like three degrees. Like, yeah, but that's, that's still good. enough to do uh, severe harm. I mean, we're get, uh, uh, United States is getting a really bad cold weather's now because of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's, it was, it was insane. Yeah, that's the reason why the shift cr uh, curved. And it went. It made our side go upwards. So basically, um, if you're in the upper north where I'm at, where I'm at, you're, we're kind of experiencing Canadian weather. <laughs> oh my God! When it hits freaking winter weather, oh, you you pray to God you had more clothes than what you had for winter clothes. That's <laughs> radical. So. Have so is the Earth is it is it rotating like is the equator this in the same place? Pretty much shifted. Or did the? It's pretty much the pinnacle points that we've always known about that are like um, um, North Pole and South Pole, where the pinnacle points have shifted a little bit to the side. Yeah. yeah. It was like three millimeters. Have they like officially shifted the equator and everything? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I think well, how, how long has that been the case? For about uh, four years. 
Jesus, I'm yeah. starting to feel was... like a caveman. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, um, it was already it was already talked about. Um, um, I think it was like the early '90s where it talked about at one point the United States is going to be the next freaking Alas, uh, one of the point uh, north or south point of winter weather. That oh, I I I, I rue the day when that you know when you know when that when that happens you know when it like gets like when it gets like the middle <laughs> of the United States. Yeah, it was it wasn't such a known earthquake because not many people died because of the earthquake and the tsunami. But that's because we have experienced so large earthquakes that we are ready. We have like laws that doesn't allow more than certain floors in apartment buildings, and all of the buildings have to be like anti-earthquake so they don't break or that's one that was one of the scandals of the earthquake that one of the in Concepcion there was a, like an uh, a par, a apartment building that it broke in half like the Titanic an apartment building yeah it broke in half like the t Titanic basically it broke Basically, it snapped in half. It, went, it basically, when she's talking about the Titanic, when the Titanic fell, or when the Titanic was sinking, it's tilted straight up like a tower, and it snapped in half. Mm. That's nuts. Yeah, I mean, let me show you some pictures. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was a very impressive thing, and that I think the the owners of that building are like in they had to be like uh, there was a, like a trial not many people die there can you see it um let's let's make sure let's make sure you're in focus I, saw, I caught a glimpse of it damn yeah there we go that's that's a pretty clean split yeah, uh, there are other pictures like that is the, the actual split. Damn! Oh, it's and... just like the twin towers fell like Jenga. <laughs> yeah, it was, that was it really was, bad. This is I actually what... um, stopped watching news industry completely when I saw when you, uh, if any of you remember, when they did that thing about uh, I think it was like CNN or someone did the ten year anniversary of. The Twin Towers, and they said they were going to do a 24-hour like a broadcast of 9/11 like oh my God. things. And yeah. um, I was I was really interested into it, but all they did was they show they went they showed for 24 hours a loop of the Twin Towers falling, <laughs> nothing else. They re they didn't show any of the any of the news reports of people who who were who were experiencing from down the floor. None of the news reports of any of the people who passed away. Nothing. Just that 24-hour loop of that building falling. I was like, wow, that shows how much the freaking news industry loves their people who died. Yeah. It didn't even show, yeah. um, yeah, even show Steve Buscemi um, from fires and um, all this stuff. No, it didn't show Certain shit. Moment. It just showed those damn fucking towers falling. Like, we want to see that. We want to know about the people who died, not the freaking building itself. Oh, a building died. A uh, building destroyed. <laughs> oh, let's, let's just move on from that. And Yeah, that, that pissed me off. Yeah. Ten-year anniversary, and you just decide to show the building itself? Yeah, that's got to be a milestone for news outlets everywhere. I remember that day still. I was, uh, I was in high school when it happened, and... Um, I experienced the bad side of it because um, I was um, born in a different country, so they called me a terrorist to beat the shit out of me. Hmm? Oh, that's yeah. That a bit... it did. yeah. Didn't didn't you ever read that stuff? There's actually news reports about um, adults and uh, teenagers beating up people from like um, um, Canada, um, other <laughs> other other countries, um, um, Mexico. And they and they would be considered a terrorist as well because it was the thing of it was a national security of a person from a different country who was destroyed the thing and they were questioning the fact. No. Of it. So they thought, yeah. oh, it's, no, it's, it's yeah, no. these people. 
No, Ian, no. Bad Ian. <laughs> we... Yeah, I mean, he, I just talked to him and he said that he missed the, the hangout and he had a bong now, so he's high. Yeah, uh, well, he had a little bong, not a big one. <laughs> Well, I think we'll, I think we'll, I think we'll do. I think we'll do okay. okay. Not we're both we're roasting Ian the bacon. <laughs> Time for dinner, baby. Oh, so we need Sorry. to talk about the whole Senate thing, the whole uh, Fox rant that she did about the whole interest groups want to take online harassment to the Senate. <laughs> Not gonna happen. They'll fucking laugh at them. Right, so, um... Yeah, they will, because they did the same thing when they, um, they laughed at people who were talking about, um, there was, I believe it was like the thing of, um, I forget it was, it was like a year or so ago with, uh, where this, uh, senator was being laughed at by laughing stock of the people wanting, uh, declare something, I forget what it was exactly, and, um... He was laughed, and then he was. Everybody was all dead silent. And all of the things, but these are all like SJWs and stuff like that. All they're gonna went, scream is girl power and all this other stuff. And we are women, and we are men who support this organization group of these people who are so called nerds. And how dare they this? And they'd be like, get the fuck out of here. Well, and it is also interesting to note um, that they're trying that. They are also trying to pass a measure that in is that bars the um, uh, the, sp the government spying. So I mean, it it doesn't it does I mean it doesn't even seem plausible that you know that they they could have the controls to do this or that the that Congress would approve the the tools to do it. No, I mean. It jumps into the whole area of freedom of speech, doesn't it? And it starts a debate about that for no appreciable gain for the political parties. I'm sure it'd be very useful for the SJW types, but it doesn't help real politicians. Yeah. It, 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 in fact, gives their people, and they're not going to do that. No, no. What it, what it would do is, um, yeah, that's right. is if you remember, um, if you if you were in the United States, there was a thing called the Newtown incident, where the media said that violent video games is this and that, and mm -hmm. um, the governor went up and started saying, "Yeah, yeah, it is about this." And the senator of that kind of that state said, "You're a fucking idiot." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, it's based it, and and if these people, these SJWs, come up here and say, "Yes, we would like this and that," okay, why? Oh, because of these people who are threatening. And when it comes hmm. to um, an organization, a senator yeah. or a people of the state have to investigate everything that goes within it. And you cannot pay them off. If you pay them off, you're doing illegal stuff right there, and, and it'll go up to the president of the United States when it, if it goes up that high. And he'll look at one glimpse at it and just close it and say, you guys are idiots because um, gaming, really. That's all about misogyny, terrorists, and all this and that. And it is, it, uh, if, 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 and this is a big if, if the president has played a video game, screwed. You're screwed if you even try to mention this. Well, I mean, and unfortunately, President Obama seems to be, I mean, well, well, within, well within the um, SJW camp. Well, oh, yeah. That, that may be true, but yeah. he doesn't yeah. have a say for his own opinions. He has a say for the whole country, meaning he can't put his own word involved in it that much. Yeah, Unless but the, the whole thing about the... I think he once tried to make like a commission for boys and men to help boys and men, and suddenly all the feminists came and said, why are you are you not doing one for girls and women? And he had to do one. Yeah, but that's because of equality and equal rights. That's the reason why that went through. That doesn't have anything to do with SJWs whatsoever. It's called equal rights, and because he only focused on one, one, um, one gender, and the other gender said, "Well, that's not right for us." Fine, equal rights, and that's what it's about. 
to, you know, to it's just extent. like with the well, recent thing of uh, if you all know about it, the net neutrality stuff. He was all against net. He was all against net neutrality and wanted it shut down. Enough people signed on the governor's uh, thing where you do uh, enough filing and complaints through the e emails on gov. gov. Um, he had no choice but to say, "I support net neutrality," even though he hated it. Uh, sorry, Robert, do you have the JSON images? The JSON image in your of the main. You. Which, which one do you mean? The, because he said, can you see me? He made a comment. Right, well, he, right, yeah. Um, yeah, right now, right now, Jason, your screen is shared. So, you're all, you're all good. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, your screen is shared. It's just that we don't get to see it. So, don't worry about it. What are you doing here? Hey, hey. Um, oh, here. Here, I'll do that. Oh, there we go. Okay, stupid. There we go. Yeah. yeah, now you're presenting it. Now I can see it. Sorry, I am... I'm still using... learning this Google Hangout stuff, so... <laughs> yeah. I don't know a thing about it myself. I'm more of a caster on Twitch and other, other assortment of casting. So this is meh to me. Oh no, Google Effects. I already know Google Hangout has some problems with it. It has for years. Yeah, it isn't it isn't perfect, but I mean I uh, have a YouTube account, so why you know, why not use the perks of a uh, hangout to just instantly upload? I wonder what the social justice warriors think about here. Fight more Wolf people, time. guys. Tell Twitter stuff. Spam it. Um, well, wait, go ahead. Go, go Frozen. Repeat I was just what you saying, said. Uh, well, I wonder what the uh, social justice war is Wolfenstein with all like, the Nazi shit in it. Oh, Wolfenstein? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, basically yeah. say, they basically say you're anti-Nazi or something like that. You don't know that. You just might want to be the best Nazi. Well, I mean, if they, if they know anything about, I mean, if they know anything about Doom, they'll or Wolfenstein. I mean, you know, they'll they'll at least know that the protagonist is is American. So, if they're national American nationalists, anyways, you know, <laughs> it'll be it'll be good. <laughs> so, um. What else? Besides the blog list and the, the you have more links. Right. I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess we can move on to the um, next topic um, I had, which um, so um, I ran across this um, interesting um, article. This isn't really anything Gamergate, but this is. But you know, it it there's this um, article from Forbes that talks basically talks about um, video game recalls and the entire situation with um, Assassin's Creed Unity with yeah, yeah with, uh, with Assassin's Creed Unity and how yeah. there should there Literally should be is. yeah and how there should be um, video like um, video game recalls for that that kind of thing yeah, yeah. I think, I I think it's a great that, thing to an extent you know that's what a patch is that's what an update is so yeah but not like this which I mean, yeah, there is, there is the, there is, you know, like the patch, but the, um, the, um, when you I have it, you have something with like, yeah, go ahead. It, it's such a graphically intensive game. It is designed uh, to test. Yeah, but this is a new generation machine. console game. Yeah, but it, it is designed to be <laughs> quite graphically heavy, isn't it? From what it was described as on the computer, they said that it was even on their end, and they have better com a computer has better um, graphics than a freaking console nowadays. Even though they like to say stuff like the Xbox One and the PS4 is the greatest thing ever, and it's better than a computer, which the idiots were saying. Yeah. So. yeah. I was um, listening to Total was... Biscuit the other day, and he's. Just... 
Yeah. Well, in total, yeah, in total biscuit is more, you know, is what I'm more, which is what I was familiar with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I'm not a fan of him, <laughs> but um, <laughs> when it comes to um, yeah, with that thing, um, when it comes to like Xbox <laughs> games, like uh. Total Biscuit only plays the games that are popular and stuff, and the once he's uh, once he's um, once uh, wants to review. Um, I've been playing 360 for years, and every game I ever inserted has an update patch to it. Every game, even yeah. arcade games, the works. And mm -hmm. a lot of people, on my friends list and me, have gotten sick and tired of it over the damn years because it's like we buy the game and we get a patch. And I hope they like learn from this from Unity that they need to. Stop making games halfway through or just announcing games and saying, yes, it comes out this day, and we're not even halfway finished with it. <laughs> yeah. Which, I mean, but that, you know, that's, a, it's just one of, it's just one of the um, big trends right now. I mean, even considering things like um, Steam's own um, green light system. I mean, that's just very blatant about, these games are unfinished, but, you know, we're going to sell them to you anyways. At no, full green, price. Uh, green light system is to basically approve it. What you're talking about is, um, oh god, um, early, early access. access. Yeah, you're that, talking okay. about early access, because green light is the systemary thing of uh, approving or not approving of a game to be released on Steam to be played. Yeah, I mean... We don't want more problems. Like remember the problems that like games like the Stomping Land had. They had like early access, and then suddenly they were like taken out because they never finished. Yeah. That's happened a few times, but I mean overall, there's been a lot of successes from early access because Minecraft was early access. Um, well, well Minecraft, Minecraft was early Minecraft access. Well, Minecraft yeah. was early access before uh, before you had beta. There was alpha, which was free to play. Yeah. So that doesn't matter. I mean, Minecraft had a beta well. thing, and it was basically the additional thing of it. They're still doing patches to it. And they they even announced that they're not even completely done with it. They'll keep expanding on it for a long time to come. I mean, now Microsoft has it, so it'd be ex it'd probably expand it to be extraordinary. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I was also going to move on to comment about my own favorite game, Space Engineers, which is a totally early access deal, um, and it had hardly anything turned on when it was first released. Um, but every Thursday, religiously, they put out a new update and a patch and that kind of thing, Ooh. and they've even opened up the modding workshop. And so, you know, what we've got for our original 15 quid or whatever has been fantastic. Well, and I mean, with the case like Space Engineers, you know, I've actually had good things about that developer. So, I mean, I guess it's more, you know, it's more of a case where it's like... You trust them. Where, yeah. yeah, you can't trust, you know, Ubisoft, or you can't trust, oh, what was the maker of that game, that Total Biscuit, um, that they... That, oh, was it Day One or something? Day Z. Day Z. Daisy. Or day, yeah, day, or like Daisy, like Gary's Mod incident or something like that. Oh yeah, speaking of which, that's back on Steam again. Yeah, that'd be Daisy Gary's incident. They tried pushing for that again. Then there's um H, uh, I forget what it's called. It's called H something rather. It's exclusive to the PS4, and it's uh Sony's trying to say that they're trying to support it as much as possible so it doesn't turn into Daisy, <laughs> which I said, whoa, good luck for that one. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's just not very. It's not very good practice. And I mean, I I can understand you know something like AC Unity having you know bugs. You know what they're trying to do is technically massive. They're trying to make what is essentially um, you know giant crowd scenes that no one has been able to do before, which you know is honorable enough. But yeah. Um. I, I think what's also the problem with nowadays is, um, yes, DLCs are nice to have, but you should never give DLCs to something that was originally on the disc ever. That rips you off. That rips you off on yeah. the game. Well, yeah, and there's and that's yeah. the.
which which one did that? Was it that um Sony? Almost every freaking game, man. It's like the, the mm-hmm. Assassin's Creed were actually confirmed for all their DLC stuff was originally put on the game, and they just blocked it off. They've done it with uh, Battlefield, Call of Duty, Marvelous Halo. Capcom. It's not I even think... one thing. Mm-hmm. Multiple things that have done it. The only yeah. one that hasn't done it yet is like Nintendo, which is a shocker. I think they were trying to do that with, I, I heard Monday Matt, like talking about the DLC packages on Far Cry 4, and I think one of the things that that it was going to come, uh, that was like on the DLC packages, I think, was already in the list. Far Cry 4 did that? Okay, I, d- I didn't know that, but you know, that's another reason, you know, that that game should probably be avoided. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know, I'd love to kill a gay uh, Anderson Cooper with his mouth <laughs> Yeah, but normally when it came with the PC marketing, because they did the, because when PC came out, they did this thing where um, after so many years of the game being around and you want to buy the DLC, they'll give you the DLC permanently for free. A lot of corporations don't like that, and the consoles like to take advantage of it and saying, no, we will never do that. And then when it comes to old generation games and such, they'll keep their prices up to being just ridiculously high on console while on PC or uh, on the internet uh, internet for the disc format of it will be cheaper. Mm. There's such bloody shocks in this industry, though. Always have been. Well, well then, and then you know you get... Years. We've known that for years. And then you get, like, situations where, you know, like, with Borderlands 2, where, you know, they come out with a cheaper Game of the Year edition that includes everything, you know, for a substantially cheaper price than those who got it initially. Yeah. And got all, the, yeah. All, all the DLC initially. You know, it's like, if you're going to be doing that stuff, you know, why, you know, why even have that initial price at all? Because they like to be jackasses. Yeah, which I mean, they must they must make some very complicated decisions in in how they structure their pricing and their discounting. Um, because I think they they certainly look feel like they're trying to maximise the overall amount of money spent in any way possible. And and I think they will go to the extent of really screwing people around and giving them kind of zero value for money if well, they the think they can get away with it. Yay. What is this? Hangout Tuba. Yeah, like the biggest one right now is EA, and um, I know a little information on that one from somebody who works there, but yeah, I'd, I wouldn't really trust it if I were you. Yeah. They basically said can that Can someone they... explain to me... Go for it. How... How are they getting away with selling broken products? Who, EA? I hear about it. Yeah. And whoever's doing it. Well, oh, yeah. how do they do it? Because, been... they, um, because of, uh, like, 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 oh, like uh, Gamergate is, corruption in journalism and stuff. They do it. It's not, even just, it's not even just the basic ones that we know about. It's all of it, pretty much. Yeah. And one of these days... It's, it's so... You're, you're saying that they get away with selling broken games... Because of the journalism problem? Yes. Yeah, they can embargo things right up they to get the last. Well, and, and because yeah. and because All in agreement on that. Well, and I I think well I think the thing about um you know with selling broken games is that I actually take a more sympathetic view to them just because um not only because they can you know they can also I mean they can also buy journal you know journalists words but also because um, they're also promising more and more. So, you know, if you're psyched for a game because they can have, you know, 50% larger crowd scenes and then you get it and realize that it's buggy, well, you didn't buy it. You bought it for the crowd scenes. So, you know, um, it's discounted. It's basically discounted focuses. Mm-hmm. It's also the thing of uh, uh, gaming journalists, even uh, even the ones that um, a lot of people don't know of, like uh, say um, a new starting out game journalist website after Kotaku and all of them go down. It'll say, "Hey, we're trustworthy, we're supportive, we're, we're this and that," and they are legit at first. But but um, it's like saying like 
Um, if you had uh, if you had a craving or a fix for something, and somewhere to offer you something to help it to to um, help it out, oh, and you were and you and you were like, okay, sure, and they're like, yeah, it. You have to say this is a good thing, though, even though you're fixed on it. You have to say it's a good thing because you mm-hmm. have been given something to help it out. Well, I'm interested in this point because um, when it seems to me that that uh, in the in the public debate about Gamergate, when whenever someone talks about games journalism, uh, I think the default assumption is that we're talking about something like what happened with Zoe Quinn. But well, what you're really talking about well, is the oh, fact that gamers that's... are being sold broken products. Well, I am. Um, I have that's, a that's link for, um... much more legitimate. Well, I, I, even more interesting on that is: ever notice how the game reviewing websites never talk about Nintendo? <laughs> ever notice that? No, actually, I don't go to them. <laughs> no, it's just the fact. If you've ever seen, I've seen some of people on my Facebook page still put up Kotaku and all stuff. The only <laughs> games they talk about are the most revolutionizing games, and the other ones that they don't really talk about. They never say a word about. Like uh, I play anime games and I don't hear any reviewer talk about it, and they are actually nice, clean, and chic, and don't even have any problems most of so, the time. There was a new anime game that they were complaining because of the boobs. The what? Boobs. There was a new anime game now, and it, it was I think it was Kotaku or Gamma Sutra. It says it was the most embarrassing game. Of 2014. Yeah, the, the, this the coming from the uh, corporation that said uh, anime movies are shit that are from Japan. <laughs> I saw that one. They talked about the new Rurouni Kenshin movie and said how it was garbage and didn't relate to the anime series. And it's like new flat news flash fuckers. The anime series ain't even related to the manga. Yeah. They. But it was yeah. so strange because it was because of the breath. It was like breath scare me, so I don't like this game. The same thing with Bayonetta, basically. Well, and Bayonetta too. They they really got raked over the coals for that for that review of Bayonetta too. I mean, Nintendo basically told them, "Okay, fine. You're never going to um, you're never going to um, get to review another one of our games again, fuckers." Yeah, I thought that was fucking brilliant. Nintendo deserved to say that to them. Well, did you I guys mean, see, um, even even the whole thing about it, like, um, they didn't even do fucking research on the fact of um, witches and all that stuff because they used to do that. They used to strip down naked. It's like, oh, you, oh, this is this is sex and stuff. He's like, you know what? If you look into the uh, witches and the witch trial, uh, witch, uh, witch trials, it's even more screwed up than that. Well, yeah, and you know. It history is unfortunately ugly. So I mean, there are even you know, I there are even games where you know you can replay the JFK assassination, and yeah, they expect that's you to do it whatever. perfectly. That's whatever. Then that, that that normally happens in any game. There's millions of games like that out there that are even more weirder than that. And just go to Newgrounds, you'll find the worst. <laughs> that's not even a joke. That's like dead serious. Yeah, I I visit Newgrounds occasionally when I need a cheap free flash game to play, but uh, the only one that I've ever played is I think it's called Invasion. That one's interesting. Sorry. How do you guys see the screen come up? Or how do you make what you're looking at come up on the screen? Oh, it was. I think it was Rebecca Watson in oh, God, Underwear. No. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, no! <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not no, presenting. Don't make a big old. <laughs> no. It's <laughs> so horrible, isn't it? I think oh, it was there. Again. I was trying to search the picture about the oh oh the GTA. I don't know if the GTA is canon. There was not really a GTA is canon. About the prostitute sex? Yeah, they didn't seem to care. Too I'm I'm about sorry, that. but that that GTA thing was just too fucking stupid to care about. 
Yeah. yeah. I've seen it. It looks it looks so fake and so tacky and so horrible in graphics. I was like, this is boring. <laughs> well, I I really I really want to uh, you know it makes me curious to actually see um what the um what it what these scenes look like because you know if you know it's sort of this core you know it's sort of it has the effect of doing it opposite. Whoa, you can have, you know, first person view sex in a video game, you know, what is, you know, in a AAA title, you know, I want to see what this looks like. You know what, I'd love to, for those SJWs, because I'd love for those SJWs to try to smart over Japan and see how that works out, because that'd be yeah. fucking funny. That'd be too damn hilarious seeing, seeing all those I'd like, SJWs. I'd like, see, I'd like to see them I'd like to see them go anywhere outside of Europe or America. <laughs> They don't yeah. do it. Oh, well, can they, you imagine if they win into Germany? Screwed. <laughs> well, apparently yeah. they've got a, um, some SJWs um, getting into uh, political bullshit. Um, well, that's because they have money, and that's not yeah. even a fucking lie. Almost all of them have money and, and, and back you know, money yeah. for anything for it. And the ones that don't have money are given money by the other ones that are rich. Where is it about the boobs? <laughs> the one it was like a page about cut out, it was like a cutout and it says boobs are scary. Hmm. Newest class boobs have cancer, so it doesn't really fucking matter. Aww. And I went I, there. I really went there because yeah. that's literally the fucking truth. You can't get cancer from having tits. Yeah, I know. My uh, my aunt got breast cancer. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I'm part of the. I always go to the marathon thing whenever I can do it. Just go to the marathon yeah. walk for breast cancer awareness. What is it? Oh, did you saw the response of this lady about shirt storm? Yes. Yeah, that was, that was awesome. I, I'm waiting for that moment when SDW start talking about Harriet Tubman. I'm waiting for that moment. Uh, who? Harriet Tubman, she's uh, the woman who used to do the Underground Railroad. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm waiting for that. And this is an old woman who is African American. <laughs> I'm waiting for that moment. <laughs> like, like they've already insulted Here's the history the of culture. Huh? Hey, go, go ahead and say what you said. Don't keep faith. I said, here's the Ollie as my new hero. <laughs> the woman. Uh, I mean, she's 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 like she's like a new Christina Hoff Summers to me, you know. Everybody's <laughs> oh, I, I I remember I remember her all the way um, back when actually Muslim groups tried to stop her from getting a honor honorary degree from like Harvard or something or Yale for. Um, Islamophobia. Oh yeah. She's like, yeah, but they did. I mean, they were successful, but it, you like know, SJWs with machetes. Yeah, you kind of right, stack. But it's also the thing of um, Nintendo's been here for years, and they've always been focusing on family games and stuff. And the other game corporations have always been focusing on the adult, um, the adult um, people, and the the kids who are really bad with attitude. Um, do we have a uh, do we have some interference going on or? Yeah, that's my background. I'm sorry about that. Aww. I want to know about. Yeah, I live with my family. I'm poor. Me too, but I'm in my room. I don't have a room. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, oh, okay. Yeah, we, can, we can get it going. We can. We can. We can pull through. Um, you saw this one? I did. I couldn't yeah. read the text on that. Which one. one was it? Here, go. Go ahead. And, go ahead and show it again. Yeah, this one where it says it was Fat Taylor, I think. And this lady was like really angry because she said that you apologize with crocodile tears, but still have your chair on Twitter account. And then you see her Twitter account, and she is herself showing her ass. 
Oh. Yeah, that's. Yeah, there's just. <laughs> it's really. It's it's really difficult to. Uh, I mean, we're dealing with hypocrites essentially. Yeah. yeah. It, it it um, I I guarantee you if uh if uh, I've heard that um the <laughs> SJW would attack that guy with the T-shirt from NASA. If that is the case, then um we'll just say that if a senator found out about that, they're <laughs> screwed and they'd probably be in uh be um, um be insinuated never to do anything ever again in this department and they could go to jail, like all of them. It doesn't it doesn't really matter because you attacked someone that is under the research. Of the world, not even the American public. It's the world. It's research on, on an, on the thing of space for human life to evolve. <laughs> and you insult someone trying to move that forward. N no, you don't. You won't get anybody. I seen what these guys. Matt Taylor's Twitter, and uh, it seems like he's pretty much through it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, yes. I mean, this is, he's, he's, he's doing fine. I mean, oh, no, I don't, I didn't want to do that. Sorry. Sorry, Samantha. Come on, no, what are you? Yeah, I mean, he, and obviously, you know, he's a professional. He's moved through it. He can, um. He can get by. He can get by it. It's everyone else who's going to have a problem. No, well, apparently yeah, they made a they made a replica of the shirt and it sold out. They've already got like uh, on back order. Yeah, yeah I know. Oh, it's I bet, yeah, it's beautiful. Streisand effect. I know. I would want one of those shirts, but I, I'm not one to wear um, a shirt of women on me just for the fact that it kind of blurs out the background. I'm more of a background than a, a person, you know, outfit shirt wear. I'm more of an environment shirt wear. Like if I saw a person, a person holding a dandelion, I'd rather see the dandelion than the person holding it. Oh, yeah. Do you saw the the lady Kate Edwards from the IGBA yeah. saying that the list is not their list, but Wait. then somebody else said that it was their list. Yeah, I think what's happened is they found someone who could work out how to automate the list that the this uh, what's her name, Randy Randall and Hopkirk deceased or whatever she's called, uh, the BDSM girl. Um, oh, what? I don't know what she's your BSD girl or something. That's a night nice Twitter handle, isn't it? Oh, but she compiled kind of... this list of all the people in Gamergate, and it's been done very loosely from uh, cross-referencing lots of people, so that it, it just chucks any old person in, more or less, anyone that's vaguely followed Gamergate. And this means that there's been all sorts of random hits, as you discussed earlier. And that's what's really um, screwed the IGDA. Yeah, I'm not sure. Arrest innocent people. Sorry, I'm not sure right. how they um they are going to their go credibility from now on. Mm. Like, yeah, they shouldn't. Yeah, those, I mean, you know, they're blocking developers. They're blocking gamers. You know, they're they're going to have huge. They, they're Gonna have like ta they should be tanking at this point. Mm. Well, um, you're talking about the SJWs and stuff, right? Yeah. Well, to an um, when it comes to the when it comes to like uh like with all of the last things like uh, Zoe Quinn and all of them having all that money, they'd probably they're probably the ones giving half of their money for the SJWs to do all of their stuff. So you could probably say if that if that's uh, I'm just doing a assumption. It could be it could be something else, but it's more around the lines that they're so mad at like Gamergate, they probably would give their half of their money to uh, to uh, the or to, uh, the organization of SJWs and anti Gamergate to try to destroy it. Mm. Well, I think um, they certainly do have a fighting fund, and they do want to keep things going because it's, it's all their careers and that kind of thing. Mm. It's the fortunes of Polygon as a group. Well, and they're worth millions, so they do have money to play with. Um, yeah. 
They they have money to play with, but they're but they're playing with their money a bit too fast, and they're playing with their money a bit fast, a bit too loose. I mean, I don't see them getting you know a ton of money, at least at least from you know AAA markets. I mean, SJWs don't necessarily buy these games or the no. games that they'll be say that that they'll be selling. So, I mean. They're, unless they wanted to spend their lives, you know, working on small indie products. Yeah. Well, the, this IGDA thing is aimed at the indie developers specifically, um, and a lot of the Kotaku, a lot of the stuff that's dodgy with the Kotaku organization, um, seems to be aimed at the indie things. Less so with the, with the majors. They seem less interested in them. And I think. In the S in SJW terms, it's deliberately because they they know these young independent developers can be influenced and co-opted uh, and formed into the next wave of the game industry. Um, they always like to aim very young, don't they? Um, it doesn't really matter if they aim young. I will say this right now: hey, uh, games that you would think that are rated PG are actually very challenging for the adult marketing players. Mm. Because something new to uh, new to us is yeah. I mean, I think a lot of games are are doing very unusual things with gender these days. Perhaps Dragon Age is a little bit odd. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not even yeah. odd. You can even mod that game to craziness. So yeah, it can change to anything. Yeah. Oh, we oh, just... That's going to be excellent, though. We'll get a great deal of mileage out of that in terms of future <laughs> stories and stuff. I can already imagine what's going to happen there. Well, it's just like, I forget who it was. Um, it was somebody in Otter Jesus' group who was talking about Gamergate and making a, a video game about a, a, a relationship si a simulator with Gamergate people. And I mm -hmm. said, well, if that's the case, you have to add everybody in Gamergate, not just a couple. And he goes, <laughs> why? And I said, because... The more people you have as a relationship to date with in a date simulation, the more bigger that game's going to sell because it's always been a fact when it comes to simulation dating games, the bigger they are, the more that people are going to buy. Yeah. yeah. If they're completely unbearable. <laughs> what who boys dating simulators? I've never played one. Well, um, I, I know that uh, one of the people that the guy said who was making the game, I forget what his name is, um, uh, Milo, yeah. the dude who does the reviews and yeah. stuff. Yeah, he's Milo, one of he's yeah, gonna no, be but... one of the characters in it, and he even he's even agreed to be the voice of his own character. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I thought that was freaking oh. hilarious. Million copies sold right there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, if you get Sargon in the others, oh man. <laughs> Magnificent. Yeah. All the fun girl. It'd be the game of the year because basically everyone in gaming is in it, and so they need to buy a copy. Yeah, of course. If, you, buy one. if, if you get everybody part of Gamergate in it, it'd be a big hit. Yeah. You could well, have it moddable so you could add new characters all the time. Well, that's what I that's what I really want to come out of Gamergate is like some, you know, fantasy RPG where, you know, it dramatizes dramatizes the entire the entire fight. Um, yeah, that's a very good idea. I I will I, I will say this. I do have a friend who's making an RPG. Oh, brilliant. And um I've recently I told people I have not talked to him about Gamergate. I showed him two videos of Sargon's things, of the one of the MSN news thing of the debunking one, mm. and I showed him the one video of SJW's part of anti Gamergate attacking the dude, who, the NASA dude. Yeah. And oh, I, I he wants that. to talk to some people that. about it when he's able to get a day off on um, I think Google Hangout or Skype, either or. Oh, yeah. And I um, I'm going to try to see if I can get Sargon in it that it can explain it. And yeah. it's basically a dude who just started. Like, this is a dude <laughs> who's basically just starting to become an indie game developer. Yeah, and you it, know Sargon is a game developer. Yeah. Well, well, it's it's just so the thing of you've got a new game developer and a game developer talking to each other about it. The yeah. more you get game developers in there that are new and are starting out and ones that are, are, are well-known, 
mm. talking about this, you will start getting the AAA titles probably getting involved in it. Okay. Yeah. It's, well, a, it's a risk chance, but it could possibly happen. Uh, Robert, you, are you showing the uh, Jason screen cap? Yeah, I, I'm. I'm presenting it to everyone now. I was trying oh. to. I, I. I just put it down because he was going to um, looking up the 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 um, Wolfenstein sheet. So. Ah. <coughs> oh so, yeah, I also I mean, forgot to mention about it that uh that dude, who, my friend who's making the game, he told me that if he's going to make a Twitter account and guess who he's going to talk to. Um, who? He's I mean, talk to, uh, he's going to talk who? to Gamergate Gate and ask people who would help him make his video game. I'm a game developer. I would help him. Yes. It, yeah, it would. He's, he's running it through RPG Maker, and I told him he needs to modify it twice and. The spectrum of the calculation is it's going to be a six-year lifespan designing. Yeah, that that process. would that would be as long as it would take to develop a. I mean, RPG Maker. I've exper I mean, I've played around with it, though. I much prefer the when it was actually not on Steam and it was actually you know, when you know RPG Maker XP. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're using uh, we're using RPG Maker XV. Ace, and that's where my icon character comes from. It's an exact replica of what I look like, except a little younger. Mm -hmm. No joke. I actually have that exact hairstyle. Nice. So you what look like Jake I have Gyllenhaal? Two stars on my side of my head <laughs> that does that stuff. Yeah, and, uh, you look like Jake Gyllenhaal in Nightcrawler, like those big eyes. Oh, uh, the big eyes. Uh, nah, my eyes are a little smaller, but... It's supposed to in insert the eyes are supposed to be insure of uh, innocence, and I, I'm not a redhead. I'm a brownhead. Mm -hmm. But um, um, if if it's um, if with like I told him because um, he's designing it. Uh, he told me he'd be my, I'd be his co-creator of it, and then he decided, well, you'd just be my pr my tester of it when the game is all finished. I was like, you bastard, and he starts <laughs> laughing because he knows I've been testing like. 15 video games that are known, and in like others that aren't known. Do you do that? Do you do that as um? Is that is that what you do for a living or? or no, I'm unemployed, so I just do it for fun. The latest oh, thing okay. I did was Battle Block Theater. Nice. Oh, that that's a that's a that's a fun game. I've seen I've seen people play it. Uh, interesting fact: I am the I am one out of fifty on the 360 market, and the only one on the Steam market that tried pushing for a glitch weapon. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it is still there. I'm happy to report that glitch is still there. Oh, that's magnificent. It's uh, if you uh, if you have the game, I recommend you doing this. If you have the game and have three other friends play versus mode. Death mode, um, not Soul Snatcher, but the other one where you get kills. Have every single one of you grab frog bombs. These are bo uh, frogs that have top hats and canes, and they open up their mouth and spit them out. You would have some surprising stuff going on in that game. <laughs> Try to survive. Good luck on that one. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Get all four, or like all, all you and your three buddies involved in that. It'll be crazy stuff going on in that game. And I'm the one who ingeniously decided to put that in there on PC. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Other games I got involved with with uh, beta testing was uh, was uh, the one that almost everybody got involved with was uh, Infinite Crisis and uh, Marvel. Um, oh, God, what's that other one? Heroes. Uh, it's the latest Marvel's one that's Heroes. out. I forget what it's called. Oh, okay, no. It's that one that came out a couple of, like, uh, almost half a year ago. I think it's Marvel Heroes. Oh, Marvel yeah. Heroes, yeah. Yeah. I could not play either one of those games because I got a com uh, potato computer. But I was a, uh, I requested to uh, if they would allow me to monitor the forums of um, beta testing under the thing of reviewing the beta test forums and seeing if they're repeats on the forum pages, and they approved of it, so I got two free copies of games and a couple of DLC stuff that, if you're a beta, you get. 
That's good. That's... Yeah, like say if I wanted to play Infinite Crisis and I got a better computer, I'll have de- double the XP permanently on my character. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's... Oh my god. It's... I can't believe you're playing Alone in the Dark. <laughs> yeah. Another game I was involved with was uh, Transformers uh, Fall of Cybertron. Mm-hmm. I didn't get any free copy of that. I just played the demo like a couple other people did. It was yeah. interesting. Who here played the PT demo? I didn't play it. Oh, the I, did, I, didn't game. Play, yeah. I didn't play. I didn't play it, but that's just because uh, you know I just didn't get it. Just didn't get into it. But you know, it looks you know it looks actually really promising. I'd like As to say this right now for PT. I investigated that one. I decided not to play it because that ain't even going to be the real game. No. It's no, just, but... Uh, it's just an adaptation of Hideo Kojima's version of trying to scare the shit out of everybody as possible. Yeah, but, I saw the trailer and it was completely different. But, I mean, if that's the sort of, you know, skill going into it and those are the sort of people going into it, you know, it... Yeah, it at least it promises for uh, what w- will be a interesting game. Game. Yeah. I tried getting into the beta of uh, Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse, and well, that one went very quickly. Apparently, on the first day of signing of it, it already sold out of eleven thousand people. Wow. Really, a Dragon Ball Z game? That that surprises me, actually. It's because it has a character customization with over two hundred different, uh, two over two hundred different move sets of finishers and stuff, and over four hundred and fifty customizable ways of wearing clothing. Cool. Hmm. That. Like seriously, look at the trailer of it. It's like really intense, crazy of what they put into it for a Dragon Ball Z game. Yeah, you can make your own Saiyajin. It's uh, you can make your own player. You can be a Super Saiyan, or a Super Saiyan man, a Super Saiyan woman. There are female Ooh. classes to it. You can be a Majin Buu man, a Majin Buu um, female. You can be a uh, Namekian. You can be small. You can be tall. You can wear any kind of customizable hairstyles. It's almost like a Bioware game. It sounds like uh, Dragon Ball Heroes, um, except with customization on top of it as well. Um, I will say it looks exactly identical to um, a game that was only released in... Uh, I forget where it was. Um, exactly, it's somewhere in China. Made by the creator Akira Toriyama that was his own storyline. Legit to the storyline of Dragon Ball Z. And it has the same characters and everything. It looks like the MMO of it. Mm. Which the I mean that that could be tricky. I mean MMOs. I mean even um, it's Skyrim. MMO, though. It's a fighting game with leveling up and all that stuff, and you don't get to go anywhere exi- outside of battling and playing the storylines. But it's one step close to being an MMO. I think they're trying to push for that eventually. I might play that. I'm getting it on PS4. I read what the pre-order is. The pre-order is you get to play as uh, you get two. Uh, Two Saiyan armors that uh, original uh, Vegeta wore in <coughs> the first season of Dragon Ball Z, where it's uh, solid gold and solid silver. But that's not the interesting part. The pre-order is uh, the interesting pre-order is you get to play as uh, Vegeta Super Saiyan 4 version. See, I can't I can't get behind pre-order bonuses. Like it's. There is a pre-order bonus that's almost a hundred bucks, and you get to have a, a, yep. a big, huge. Uh, I think it's like a twenty-five uh, centimeter um, statue of Future Trunks. Huh. Oh, well, I did not think that's where it was going. <laughs> people do buy them. Yeah, I mean, people, and you know, and you know, I've bought, I've bought, you know. DLC before, but the only time that you know it's ever been you know any good is probably again you know like Borderlands 2, and that's just because you know you need to spam the DLC to get you know a higher level character. Yeah, it's true, but you know the pre-order DLC I'm kind of Can mad I can't get is the uh, Ghostbusters one for the video game. 
What did they have for the Ghostbusters video game? The Ghostbusters what? video game, if you were at Best Buy, you would get the Proton Pack, the Golden Proton Pack that does double damage than the regular Proton Pack, and you get the Mayor. If you uh, pre-ordered over at GameStop, you get uh, the zombie character and the Proton Pack. You cannot get uneligible to get. So if you pre-ordered it, you got it, but if you didn't, you don't get it. Huh. Well, they changed, they changed them. Uh, so Mewtwo was supposed to be um, uh, you get it for both uh, Wii U and 3DS in the new Smash Brothers game, but they're announcing that, uh, that, that they're doing DLC. Systems. You have to own both systems to get it. Yeah, um, but they've made it. They're making a DLC now as well. You know, so that's the case. Cool beans, and I don't have to buy a DS to get it, and I'll just get it. And I don't care. I want Mewtwo. Yeah, I do too. But um, yeah, I'm just glad that they actually decided to go the traditional route. But you get it for free if you have both versions. So you know, that's pretty cool. I forget what her name is. That new Fire Emblem character, that female one. Uh huh. Um, I forget what her name is. I was really pissed off at her because I said she was a rip-off clone of uh, Marth from My Fire Emblem. Went over to my buddy's house, um, and he told me, uh, Lucina, thank you. She is an exact rip-off of Marth. Whole move set the works. Smash everything. Yeah, she well, has, like, and I'd expect that because isn't, isn't Lucina, I mean, in Fire Emblem, like, related to Marth or something like that? No. Her uh, uh, father's right. name is Chrome, and they're from a different Fire Emblem series. I already know the whole story to that freaking character. I didn't want that character when I heard that people were demanding it. People were trying to commit suicide and stuff for that character to be announced <laughs> in Smash. That ain't even a joke. You, you can find videos of that stuff Jeez. where people were talking reviews about it and say that if this character isn't in Smash because these games are, uh, this game is excellent, I'll kill myself. And I'm like, good God, it's just a freaking character in a game. Yeah. 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 History on it. Like I really bad, really bad want Roy in Smash, but that doesn't mean I would blow my brains out or something for it. Well, I mean, and it's like you know, I I would love for them to actually you know change the the Samus character model back to what it was in uh, back to what it was in Brawl, but you know, it's like the you know the oh, only you mean where you get to you get to transform into Samus to uh, Zero Suit Samus. Well, you know, just the, bar, the just the bulkier armor and the more fit, the more athletic body type instead of what they have, you know, the space, you know, Barbie they have right now in the game. Well, um, I've noticed that they actually put all the skins from every single version of the of the um, ma, God, I forget what the series is called, Metroid series. Sorry, I have never played Metroid. I don't even care about her. Well, from the from the from the Metroid series, but not from the Metroid Prime series. They're trying to forget all about the Metroid Prime series, which is a you know just a huge mistake. See, I've not been into any of them really. I played Metroid Fusion. It was alright, but it wasn't great. I haven't touched any Metroid game at all. Not interested. Was not my yeah. cup of tea. I mean, my biggest piss-off point was when um, um, Sakurai announced that he would never make a Fire Emblem character, or not a Fire Emblem, but a Tails character in uh, um, Smash Bros. on his Twitter page because he said that um, he's not interested in anime characters. Shortly after he said that, uh, the next day he makes a trailer of Pit, and it's all animated. Yeah, that's... I mean, yeah, there's... There's been there's been a few hiccups in that game, but I mean, hey, at least it's a you know, at least it's a game for the game sake sake of the game and not you know, you know, not trying to make you know money off of the lighting effects. I would love for them to put in Geno from Super Mario RPG into. It. That'd be interesting. Yeah, I mean, he's a big fan favorite for Smash, and everybody was like, oh, Gino had his chance in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. He doesn't need, deserve to be in it. It should be Chrome and, and uh, Lucina. And I'm like, that's not right, because <laughs> that is really not right for some damn character in a DS game that no one will remember in five fucking years compared to Super Mario RPG. 
That game has yeah. been noticed for years. These people who think that those two characters should be involved since, and not like uh, Super Mario RPG characters, because Super Mario RPG has been demanded for years for freaking a oh, sequel. Yeah. It has been demanded for years to have a sequel and never happened. Which, you know, which it's it's just such an odd, I mean, well, I think it, there, I mean, there, the possibility of it has actually increased, I think, especially now that they've released Hyrule Warriors, which is a different take, which is a different take on their, um, on a franchise. On Dynasty Warriors and stuff like that, yeah, I want that game. I actually saw, did you guys see the thing of the trailer of what they showed for their, um, for the Amiibo, what they've done to it with Hyrule Warriors? No. 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 There's actually, um, all right, it was in the newest thing, which actually shows a uh, spoiler alert, if you didn't know, since it was blo- blowing up all everywhere, Moderna's Mask HD for DS. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I had seen that, yeah. I yeah, mean, actually... everybody was really hyped. I saw the thing, and they were talking about different stuff. They showed a trailer of Duck Hunt Dog, because uh, I wanted to see that originally, because Smash was going to show the thing, and I, I already knew Duck Hunt Dog was going to be it. I just wanted to see what the trailer was going to be like. It was freaking hilarious, and then at the end of the Duck Hunt Dog trailer, they showed that Duck Hunt is coming to a virtual uh, virtual download for Wii U. I was like, yes, and it's the original NES version, not a remake. And um, what they did is they showed Amiibos, and they said, here's what we've done with Hyrule Warriors. Behold, this is Hyrule Warriors. What happens if we put this Mario statue on Link's character? He stuck it on the thing while they were playing Hyrule Warriors, and Link gets to fight in a different fighting style than he has for all of his other ones, where he gets to fight with the uh, with the spinning cog from Twilight Princess. All right, that's so, that's interesting. So he described. So they said that this is not the only one we're gonna do with. We're gonna do it with other amiibo characters. Um, where they're going to stick other amiibo characters have different power-ups, different abilities, different different characters can do different like moves and stuff. Gino is scared Nintendo. Wrong. N- Nintendo bought him out. <laughs> I already fucking found out about that five years ago, buddy. Nintendo got Gino because they originally were talking about probably making another, another appearance, like another Easter egg like they did in one of the other games. <laughs> Yeah, Jason is right. They own him. <laughs> Do you guys see the um the IGN um review of po- uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire or whatever? Oh no. Oh okay. So oh. One of, they said okay. they gave it like a seven point eight, but the one of the re- negative reasons, well actually both the negative reasons they gave was there's too many HMs and there's too much water. Oh uh, like, yeah. It's like it's the stupidest shit ever. No, 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 no. Best stupidest thing if you've ever not seen it. Destructoid gave uh, uh, um, Link twi- uh, uh, Link Between Worlds a seven out of five because it wasn't uh, because of the fact that it wasn't the uh, it wasn't a Link to the Past the remake. They thought it was a Link to the Past remake when it had and they're like it doesn't look like Link to the Past like it should be because it's supposed to be the remake of a Link to the Past. That's what Destruction had reviewed it. They reviewed it to 7.5 because they thought it was in a Link to the Past remake. Well, that's that problem, isn't it? Like... No, 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 because uh, A Link Between Worlds is a sequel to A Link to the Past. Yeah. What's this yeah. stupid fuck up? Well, yeah. um... They've even tried changing the review, but everybody fucking knows about it. So damn funny. I was uh, I was reading like people making jokes about the new Pokemon uh, game. Because it was in Kotaku and they were going to do a review and they, people were already saying like, oh, Kotaku is going to say that the Pokemon game is uh, sexist or racist. And mm-hmm. suddenly, but it wasn't. But the thing is that the Mary Sue, I think, made a review basically saying that there was like, uh, like immersed misogyny, like, sub, like <coughs> there was misogyny in that Pokemon game. Uh, like, Command, yeah, I, I hate to they tell you, bro, but uh, um, when it comes to uh, the uh, the game Super Mario RPG, yes, they own the rights. Nintendo bought Geno because he was the biggest demanded character from Nintendo. Nintendo Ooh. finally bought the rights to him, but they <laughs> left Mallow 
where he was because he's more respected as a mage from Final Fantasy more so than Gino is because Gino is an interesting character that best suits uh, Nintendo more than it does Square. Right. Because well, if you it's... look at Mallow, he's an exact ripoff from uh, Black Mage. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a, the interesting thing about you know Mary Sue covering. It's like Mary Sue covering video games now. Wow, Gawker, you know Gawker is really trying to cover their asses now. <laughs> They've already done dead free. They're already dead in the water. They're not going to survive <laughs> this. It's just like all these reviewing webs, uh, these reviewers who were part of Kotaku and stuff like that, they fucked up. They ain't going to go back to the career of reviewing ever again. Mm. Which, they can I, make opinion pieces, but they cannot make reviews. Yeah, but it's the thing yeah. of the, it's the thing of when you do a resume on someone, they do in a back investigation. No matter who you are, you will always get someone when you're applying for a job, they always look at your resumes. And if they see such as someone saying that, oh, gamers are this and that, and basically calling people who are just because they're different between between someone else, calling them an asshole and racist and stuff, you think that's going to give you a job? Fuck no. Well, and they're also in, I mean, these... Oh, my... Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, Samantha. I just remember the, the whole... I, I, we, I know that we are not supposed to mention the who's, but did you watch the Twitter post about the man asking that Brianna Wu was creating that word man asking instead of man's playing is when men ask questions? Yeah, I'm not going to talk about them. I don't even think they're relevant. There are people in Twitter talk about them, and I'm like, dude, those are part of the SJWs. Don't yeah. involve yourself in them. Like, yeah. like you can even tell that they're they are trying to get attention. Like, look at Brianna Wu's like Twitter page. It says L W three when people started labeling it as that. Now, it, because of the fact that no one want to talk about their names, and then she changes her Twitter to that, and it's like you were by saying anything about them, you were giving them attention that they want so bad. It's like uh, it's like the definition of what a succubus is, where it'll. It'll it'll try to use lust and temptation to get get your life energy to suck it out of you to kill you just to get what it wants to live. Mm. I hate to use that terminology, but it is that way. Oh God, not this again, Jason. Really, bro? Seriously, play the game of the zombie game version. I'm getting sick and tired of the classic Oregon Trail. Go on the web browser and look at the <laughs> zombie version. Seriously, man. I don't want to see old Oregon Trail. Get the fuck out of here with this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta hey, see name, the zombie name apocalypse one, version seriously because that name one Brianna Wu. Awesome. If you're going to do anything, name one Brianna Wu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you have you guys ever seen me and um um Otter Jesus play uh, Town of Salem or no? I think I, I, I don't get it. I've I've played that game. It's weird. I hate the UI. <laughs> uh, do, do you know what's interesting about it? Me and Otter Jesus and all of them. We're playing as um, <laughs> we were playing Town of Salem, and we named ourselves after um, SJWs and Brianna Wu and Nisizu Sakizu and Zoe Quinn and all of them. <laughs> the first time we played uh, Zoe Quinn was the serial killer. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! Yeah. Three days into the game, she died very quickly. It was so funny. The latest wow. one, the latest one we did, I was um, Billy Mays. <laughs> I was like, hi there, Billy Mays here, ready for some um, excellent cleaning. Are, are those blade stains getting around? Well, use the new ShamWow towel to wipe away all those red stains on your floor. I play as well Wilford Brimley in Soul Calibur. That... That would that would be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, diabetes doesn't hold him back. All right, since there's only one woman here, who gets her? <laughs> just saying, just saying, because it's Oregon Trail. Who gets the woman? <laughs> what? He's playing Oregon Trail, and I always do this thing with if there's a woman in a game, who's getting the woman tonight? <laughs> Why is they 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 name it after me? Yeah, but yeah. I can guarantee you, I'm going to get dysentery. I think we're all going to get dysentery. 
Well, you can still get it and like <coughs> don't die of it and then win the game, but you're still going to die of it after the game ends. <laughs> do, you know, um, do you know that what's really interesting is... Um, Hey, um, I know it's in a political point, but has anybody ever noticed the thing of the voting system lately, how everybody wanting to be president has always used Ebola as their thing of trying to get to be president now? Really? Really? Yeah. People have used Ebola for that? That's... Yeah, that I've, uh, I was uh, watching some of the things for the debate things while we were getting calls and everything like that, and they were talking about how they have people who are ill and stuff, but everybody's like notion was, don't worry, if you vote for me, I will cure Ebola. <laughs> I was like, why? Why? My whole family heard about it and said they weren't going to vote this year. Oh, the reaction when a voter came to our door. Oh, you should have seen it. It was an African-American woman, too, which was even better how the reaction went. Because when it comes to reaction in that case, when a African American person does it, they make a good or more better impression on a on a, a face than a white person does. <laughs> Sorry, but it's it's racist, but it's true. Uh, it's uh, it it's yeah. This is the reason why I don't don't like get into politics much anymore. Like it's oh, nobody like, does, but it, it's always going to come around in the freaking United States. It's horrible. It. I, it is, and it and it matters. But you know, when you have monkeys running the circus, and you know, you can't even care about the the circus, even if it's important. I mean, look at GamerGate. Now it's come to a uh, uh, biblical debate. I mean, I mean, when Otter Jesus made the GamerGate uh, or GamerGate Hug Patrol hashtag, I said, why don't he said it's for for fun and stuff, and I said that's a great improvement. I like this, and I basically said I'm in for it. I'm part of the Gamer Get Hug Patrol, and one of the people who are new to it basically said, well, why don't you hug everybody? And I was like, we hug people who tag the name Gamer Get Hug Patrol. That way we know that they're feeling bad, because if you don't do it, then they're, then we won't know about it. Hug it makes it easier. It's, it's, a qu it's, a quicker, it's a quicker way than basically saying, oh, this person needs a hug, but it's like if you tag it, you'll have not one person hug them, but you'll have about 14, 15 people saying that we care about you, don't do anything wrong, we love you for who you are, and keep living, and all that stuff. Yeah. Well, because if you don't, if you just say it like, oh, this person's feeling bad, just hug them, and it's like, well, if you tag the hashtag of it, you'll get a couple of people, like a, a handful of people who, who care about you for who you are. If more people join it, it could be bigger, and then you get like hundreds. But it's not gum to that yet, because because people are questioning it. Like, what is the Gamergate Hug Patrol? Is it another tag like Solution Six and stuff like that? And I had to actually explain that it wasn't. Solution Six is the Hug Patrol. Well, they actually uh, people keep tagging Solution Six under uh, Hug Patrol sometimes, and I'm like, eh. eh, eh. <laughs> I've done a little bit of trolling with the Hug Patrol a little bit, but uh, not much. No, you, you should just go hug the, I, you, you know, the IGDA. No, we're not stupid. They'd basically shoot our arms off. They'd probably look at us and say, look, they're hugging us. We need to decapitate their arms so they can't hug again. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It, 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 you know, you, you, should, you, should, you should at least try that, you know, the <laughs> well, I got exhaustion, so uh, I must have had sex last night. I feel better. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm good because because uh, I had I got exhausted and then I got and then I and then I had sex, so I'm awesome. Who? What? Like for real? You're playing Oregon Trail, and he put you in there, and there's like three other guys in there, so oh. yeah. So it's a gambag. Oh, well, what happened to me? You're feeling all. Well, everybody's <laughs> feeling poor. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bet you. I bet you. Everybody's feeling poor because none of us got into bed. We're like, oh man, I feel so bad. <laughs> I'm actually okay, gonna... okay, twenty twenty-five dollars that that Jason dies first. <laughs> if the woman dies, we're all screwed. Just saying. You well, it's like jail. If I die, you all have to be gay. 
<laughs> and it'll come to that. When, when we all start getting good graces after you die, it's probably the stress reliever for, for, for having a woman yelling at us so much. <laughs> and, and, it, and in the next couple of days, we'll start getting miserable and miserable, and then one day we'll be all perky and happy, all of us will. If that's the case, you know what has just happened. We just went to the gay rights movement. <laughs> oh, uh, Rama got sick. We could play. We could play Cards Against Humanity. Oh. If you've never played Town of Salem, that's also a really good game. Town yeah. of Salem, it's. I tried to play it, but I didn't get it. I was watching other Jesus play it, but I didn't get it. I don't it's know deceiving. It's deceiving people into think you do not tell anybody who you are and all that stuff. Um. It's it's a fun, interesting game, depending on who you are. Wait, I'm really you, bad this with this, Samantha, that, uh, when Odd or Jesus and me are playing it, or no? No. Oh. Yeah, I'm the one who created that abomination on Odd or Jesus' channel. <laughs> I was like, yeah, let's all play this game. <laughs> oh, good. Time, man, like, this is boring. The second time when we start putting Brianna Wu and Zoe Quinn and Anita Sarkeesian in her, oh, it became a hoot and a holler. <laughs> it just needs a major upgrade to the you know you know to the controls because it's it's like really confusing, like to try and learn. Well, it's um, it, it's not it's not it's not the confusing. It's not that hard to figure out. Basically, you have a, a thing on the le uh, top uh, right hand screen that tells you what your title is and what its abilities are and what it can do. That's it. How could you? I'm really bad lying to people. And if if it if you need more information about it, just watch the YouTube video about their Kickstarter, and they explain it to you exactly what it does. Right. It's just, and you know, it's you figure it out, but you know, it takes a round or two to finally figure out where the buttons are and everything like that. We should play Cast Against Humanity, and Jason could be the host. Um, let's... I've played that so many times. I'm not even going to joke about that one. I've never played it. It's basically being about the what the fu the most what the fuck ever for the answer to winner. Yeah. It's yeah, funny. it's, it's like, apple, it was like apples to apples, only politically in incorrect. It, it's, yeah. like, it's like making the most horrible put in space names ever. Like, hi, my name is blank. And you can put the most fucked up thing in that, hi, my name is blank. <laughs> I I once played with my I once played with my friends while I was watching gay porn and I was describing the gay porn while I was playing. <laughs> you sure it was gay porn and not yaoi? No, it was gay porn. So I have to ask Samantha. Yeah. Are you from Mexico? No. <laughs> Damn, because you have because your picture profile looks like the Day of the Dead stuff. Yeah, it's oh, cultural it appropriation. It's what? <laughs> cultural appropriation. What? It, it, was I right or no? No, no. It's, I'm not Mexican. I I just I just decided that this year for my Halloween theme, I was going to do Day of the Dead. Ah. So where are you from then? Chile. Chile. Um, where's that at? What's the country is that from? What? Uh, Chile is the country. Oh, really? Well, yeah. I'm a fucking idiot. I apologize. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's in South America. Well, that would have been better. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's in South Next America. Oh, okay. Next to Argentina, under Peru. Oh. The last one, the little thin one. I'm sorry, but Americans are really fucking idiots, so I'll just say that right now. The same one. Oh, Rachel! Hey, Rachel, how you doing? Rachel? Are you, are you on? Rachel? What? Jason left. And somebody's okay. playing with a baby. I want a baby! Where's That's the my baby? Nephew. He's like two years old. Which is awesome, oh. because he has the best name ever. What is his name? His name is Bruce, and he was named after Batman. Not even kidding. Aww. That's Aww. nice. 
Yes, that may if he realizes and he likes all that stuff or not sports, but superheroes and all that stuff. Oh yeah, he's gonna love that name. <laughs> I mean, Batman is iconic. Like if you were named after that, oh, you will have a heyday for having that name. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where are we getting the distortion here? Really fast. Probably me. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, but somebody's like using the camera. I think. Come here, Rachel. I'm gonna give you a hug. Oh, hugs! That's you, hero. You accidentally turned on your your camera, man. Yeah. I did. Well, what happened? What happened with my camera? Yeah, you you have your camera uh thing on, man. Do For I? Whatever reason. I don't even have turn, any freaking yeah, turn plugins. On. I just have my freaking headset. That's, yeah, that's in. why. Yeah, yeah, that's why. That's why it's it's all black instead of showing video, but it's still doing acting like the video magic. There. Is it on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. You turn it off. Yeah. I don't know why I was doing that. That was weird. That's. Oh my gosh, Samantha, I love your um, I love your face paint. That is awesome. <laughs> yes, I did it. I was selling. I was selling. Uh, what's your name? My name. Hero. Yeah. Yeah, it's Hero. H e e r o. I was selling him where where I was from. Yeah, Chile. Yeah, she's from Chile inside of a bowl, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Had to make the joke. Too too good. Oh, uh, so so what are what are we discussing today? Gay porn. Uh, Gay porn. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, let, let, let's talk about Yuri. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Fujinari. Oh. Uh, I was actually. Yeah, I can't believe we were... I freaking went there with Rule Thirty Four. That was freaking brilliant on Cards Against or, or Town of Salem. That was too funny. I had to put that in there. Oh, oh gosh. Yeah, I was Rule Thirty Four. That was too funny. Ah. Yes, he was. He yeah, he was Rule Thirty Four himself, and, and yes. So I so think, so I what think is my that? other name was better though. Billy Mays was just too good. Oh yeah, that was really good. Billy Mays here. Like, like, tired of all the blood stains everywhere? Get the <laughs> you <shabby>. can wow. <laughs> it'll, it'll pick up ten times the amount of blood with, that your regular washcloth will. <laughs> I had too much fun with that name. I had way too much fun. I'm probably going to use it again sometime. So what are the topics for today, Robert? Um, well, we we were just. I mean, we've we've already covered basically. Them? Well, I mean, yeah, we've basically, you know, talking about the um, ID. Um, no. What is the IDGA? Um, yeah. Block list. Um, so, so is there actually a physical list that we can access? Yeah. 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 I've wait, checked wait. it, Rachel. Can you, uh, can you leave me? What? You remember how you guys said there were other lists and I didn't have my name in it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I checked the one that was a blacklist that they've named. I'm not in it. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Mostly harmless. I know. Right. They're like, they're like, ah, oh, that hero 17, he's nothing. I'm like, I know I'm not. And even if you tried to attack me, I'm Native American. Try to attack a native to America. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, that would be yeah. the biggest doomsday device. If an, an SJW were a feminist attacking a Native American. Yeah, that's that's going to go over well with uh, with news tabloids. Wait, you're, wait, you're, wait, you're a Native American? Yeah, I'm one quarter Cherokee. My huh? father was 50% uh, and my grandfather was 75%. Mm. Yeah, so... So um yeah so Rachel the link is, link is there I mean there's no um oh wow there, there's no um I wonder if I'm on the list I'm on the list Rachel's getting all excited for the fact of her name being on the list I'm I'm already, I'm on the list and I'm on the list and uh, my my, on the list? my account is, <laughs> my my account is seven days old I'm already on both lists Yay I mean. <laughs> Well, I'm thinking uh, after being in this Google list. Hangout, I'll probably be on the list. Yeah. Yeah. If not, I'll fucking How do laugh. You find anything on it? Yeah, let me let me check this. Let me check it. 
it's got those certain Jesus in space. How does it want to be in space? Just you start there. from the you start from I'm the not left on one. The list. I'm not on the you list. Start from the left one. Like you start from the last, Wait. the end, and then you start going to the beginning because the first one, the first names were at the end, and they're in alphabetical order. I'll be right back. Okay. Wait, how, no. wait, 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 wait. How did I get on the list before Rachel? I don't know. Wait, well, let me let me check. Let me check to see if it's. It's, it's a long on. list. It's a long list. Okay, I will. I will look. <laughs> In I the end, check. it's like alphabetical order. So you just search yourself until it comes with like it ends in the C, and then it starts becoming random. Like the new ones are random. Like not in order. So not on page three. Going down the list. I'm going down the list. Do, 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 do. It's like good. It's like twenty-four pages long. It's just insane. Okay. I'm just using the the find feature on in uh, Google Chrome to do it. Yeah, Kentucky Fried Chicken is in the list. <laughs> That's hilarious. Which yeah. I mean, it's like okay, uh, Kentucky Fried. I mean, if Kentucky Fried Chicken literally came out as pro Gamergate, that I mean, that would be funny. Like probably it would. They, they probably use the hashtag actually. This they might be actually the fact that they use the hashtag, and that's why they got locked in the. <laughs> Which it's sort of really stupid not to try to find any context for use of hashtag because mm. it's like you know I've seen you know Gamergate used by anti by anti you know by anti Gamergaters so it's yeah. like you know it hits so many different you literally have the stupidest algor algorithm ever then I said that uh, one of the reasons, maybe the reason was, is because Shu liked chicken nuggets. That's why they block integrated <laughs> chicken. That's hilarious. <laughs> we want bomb chicken. <laughs> well, that just means that you know gamers have to go and you know buy Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh my God, the chicken image, that image that we saw, all oh, was funny. The one with the the, the twenty second video. Yeah, yeah. The chicken. Mm -hmm. An accurate representation of the Kentucky Fried Chicken fiasco of two thousand fourteen. Oh yeah, it's yeah, that's a, really. It's a guy it's... on top of a chicken. Oh my God! What did it? It's. Uh, wait, wait, please, please don't, wait, wait, are you, are you talking about fucking a chicken? No. 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 <laughs> no. I the video. I have the video. Well, you know, it's kind of horrifying because they, they don't have, a, they don't have any proper genitals, they just have a cloaca, which is yeah. a single hole which all, which waste and uh, eggs pass through. <laughs> Is it, yeah, Mother, Mother Nature is beautiful and uh, and terrifying. <laughs> it's an I image know, of a I'm guy, sure. of a guy on top of a chicken with a Kentucky, Kentucky Fried Chicken bowl, and he has the face of Gamer D. Oh yeah, and in the Twitter, like people are going crazy with. I'm on the list, Canada. guys. They didn't. Yay! Oh, oh, they, no. <sighs> it's kind of it's kind of sad though because at the same time, like Oops. I'm not a threat. They're like she's mostly harmless. You're not <laughs> on the list, or you're on the list. When will these assholes finally know? When <laughs> you wish <laughs> upon S J W. You're not well because you've been written on the list so well. What? Anything your heart desires will come to you. I'm trying to understand who stands to benefit from this list. 
this, people who yeah. people who want to basically block anyone who is pro GG. Well, that's just going to be a biggest pain in the ass, and they're like, block, 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 block. Oh God, can I stop now? <laughs> That's what it's going to be. They're going to be well, so fucking annoyed with the fact of blocking people with this list that they ain't going to fucking worry about it anymore. Well, and they that's why, you know, both this list and the um, auto um, GG block list have, um, you can subscribe and block everyone on the list, essentially. Wait, yeah. where's, the, where's the auto auto GG block list? Oh, I um, don't know. Yeah, I checked that one. I'm not in it either. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in both, too. Yeah, he's good. Well, either. but you know that that's almost to to be honest, that's almost beneficial. Well, that, yeah, that, yeah, that means lines, that we can I, fly. That means we can fly under the radar. Yeah, but it, it, yeah, that's true. That is true. But what it is is, I think they have that block list, so they can actually look at everybody's Twitter accounts and say, "See, see, senators and everything. Look at all these horrible people." And then the last tweet would be on everybody. Merry Christmas. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, I, of course. Actually, I basically put myself in the like in the but, um, spotlight I, so I could be in the list. Anyways, but um, I will say this. Yeah. If, and I'm saying it, this might be this might happen. This yeah. is just a good possibility it might happen. They might do something on holidays. That is the most definition of of being an asshole. And I wouldn't put it past them where they would do something on a holiday just to make us be on the net spending spending time with our families on a holiday. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you do you get, uh, do you guys get the whole heart thing now? Anyways, I'm back. So the what now? The hard thing, like in Twitter, there's people like the avatars are hard. Oh, the um, that one organization that you know started saying we we want we are for everyone gaming, and then when you know they started being anti GG, they were like, well, what about anti? What about GGers? And they were like, oh, you know, oh, not those people. So not everyone. So they basically backpedaled on it, the inclusive claim. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's just okay, like, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um, uh, technical difficulties on my end. Yeah. Aww. When it uh, when it came down to the thing of uh, um, if you remember when uh, I forget what her name is, the one who was on uh, uh, the Huffington Post, the one who's making that thing kind of like a uh, Rotten Tomato. Oh. Oh, Jenny Rush. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think that's who it is. She's actually, that is a really good thing to do, to do something like where Gamergate like Rotten Tomato. That is a good thing. And they said, well, that's not a great thing. And I'm like, no, that is an amazing thing. That needs to happen. Yeah, the thing is that, yeah. I mean, look in, look in the comparison of like a Steam reviewing thing. It, it's a good thing, but it, if you've noticed in Steam reviews, it's always Let's review websites it. get the highest notification of reviewing the games than anybody else. If that wasn't if that wasn't there, then it'd probably be way better than what it is right now. Um. Yeah. Well, I mean, but the thing is that you know there are services like Rotten Tomatoes already available. There's you know you can go to Metacritic and find you know user reviews. User reviews on games. Staff reviews. Yeah, but not to the extent of, of like Rotten Tomatoes, to be honest. No, but I mean, it's. I mean, I think Monday and Matt had a video about this, and you yeah. know, he, he was pointing out, you know, just several problems where you know the page didn't update, where you know the the Go, Indiegogo fund didn't update, where you know the these services already exist, so you know it's not a very you know solid thing yet. To support. Oh, really? What to support base yeah. gamer? Yeah, to support base gamer, there is still, you know, there's some diff. There's not. There's some difficulties with it right now. Like what? I already understand the money order that they basically said for forty five five thousand dollars. I understood that. That's pretty much lifetime website membership thing. Hmm. I think some of their their promotion efforts were were sort of amateurish, 
um, which is unfortunate because if it, if something like that's going to do well, it's going to do well right now because of Gamergate. Yeah. It'll when Gamergate's gone, it'll it'll die in existence. Yeah. 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 I mean, the thing is, they seem like they have some solid people behind them because. Yeah. But to be honest, I mean that yeah, they they have some they have people doing art and oddly enough, some the thing about it is is sure you need things to be working in the background, but one of the things that people don't un understand and one of the subtle things is that having a proper proper branding has a tendency to give uh, legitimacy unconsciously to people. They, they feel that something is legitimate more when there are proper graphics there, when there is a, when it's cohesive. Um, it's, and, and there's already the beginnings of that right there. So, but they, they need to, to flesh it out a little bit more. And it's just, I, I'm really hoping that they do well. But if if they continue on down this path, um, you know, I, I I don't know, I don't know. I, my brain went blank. I've been doing too much shit today. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you were talking to me earlier on Skype, so you know, yeah, yeah, I was. I went, I went and uh, yeah, but I went and, and I did go for that nice walk, and I got myself a kills. That was awesome. I have nowhere to walk to, otherwise I'd go somewhere and walk. Yeah, I was walking. I was the only person out there walking in the dark. Me and I think like one person who was walking their dog. I walked out to the sea and I just stared into the black abyss as the the dark waves rushed upon the shore, one after another, crashing angry. That's the sound of a microwave going off. <laughs> <laughs> Filled with terror in the depths. No, it's not. It's the sound of a microwave going off. Say, hey, your microwave meals are done. Eat me. <laughs> well, yeah, actually, I kind of hang out with my friend. I get a little random. I'm sorry. Yeah, so no, that, that's fine. That, it's, it's totally cool here. Um, yeah, here well, I'll I know say this other. right now. Compared to everybody else, I would say that he is the most random person you ever meet, and he can wreck anybody. Wait, who, 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 is, uh, who is? My friend. Oh, okay. Cool. I actually got him in a conversation with a bunch of assholes on Skype once who were calling me nerd and stuff. Got him into a call and literally pushed them so they tried doing like, you know those things that people do who think they're better than you and try to insult you any way possible? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah he literally destroyed them in a matter of five minutes. Oh, neat. Basically, any word you would say, he would try to find out if it would be sexist Racist or, racist or something like that, and use it in a thing like, oh yeah, and and it'd be like, wait, what? Oh, one time I trolled some people on a, on a like, board. Uh, like, like, a... like, try to try to get this one in your mind. He wants a superpower ability to grab his fat and throw it at people. Yeah, my superpower is silliness. <laughs> try to wrap basically. that around your brain. Yeah, my my superpower is is silliness. I mean, one time I. Me and a friend, uh, we, we don't talk as much anymore, but we, we, we raided another chat when we used to do the whole tiny tiny chat deal. We would just go on to random chats and just start talking about food in, in a sexual manner. It's like, oh, yeah, you know what you need to do? What? What? You need to come over here and just cover your body with cheddar. What? <laughs> cheddar. Say it slowly. Macaroni. Then you do macaroni and cheese. You just be like, oh. Oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna get the elbow macaroni together. Yeah, you're gonna throw it into the bowl, into the pot. Yeah, the water's boiling. Oh yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, tossing some salt, baby. <laughs> Just do do that. I'm really hungry now. What about spaghetti? <laughs> Don't forget about those noodles, you know, man. Those noodles we're gonna cook get it wet. until it gets al dente. <laughs> and we we would just do that, and then uh, make. Make orgasmic noises and then like then leave like everybody completely confused. So then we go to the next chat, and <laughs> rinse and repeat. <laughs> and that's 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 kind of how I roll. Um, that's how we used to do things. <laughs> Man, that shirt gate thing. Huh? I hope I I hope the God shirt gate wrecks the hell out of that either charity Indiegogo. Oh wait wait wait! Which uh, which uh, which which go Indiegogo? 
<clears throat> the one about the guy, you know, I forget what his name is. The oh, no, I know about him, but what, why are they getting the Indiegogo? Are they are they making it so that you can you can get your own version of the shirt, or do they, they, they have that? Well, they they sell they uh, they actually sold out of um, reprints of the same kind of shirt. Oh really? Yeah, yeah I thought really? that was yeah. fucking amazing. That was so awesome. I, I want would, one. I want one, but I want one without the women on it because I want to see what it looks like without it. You know, the backgrounds. I, I think we should I, we should get them, but we should get the one that people posted up like with women in burkas. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was um, as you know. <laughs> Oh, could you imagine if that woman was requested like that? Like, one without the women, one with uh, different versions of, of different styles of what the women would wear and stuff. Oh, you could get, she could sell a lot of money with that. Just just have a whole line of Hawaiian shirts that depict, you know, different, you know, sexual bodies. Like, have one, with, like, just has full of Greek statuary and another, you know, that has, like, <laughs> like, like cowboy, like male cowboy strippers. Oh, or yeah, like that. I want that one. I want that one. <laughs> You know what's funny? I actually do wear Hawaiian shirts. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. Oh, you oh, you, oh, oh, so they are, they are re- um, I will say this right now. You're that, you're that kind of nerd. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, wasn't, I wasn't that kind of nerd until I saw um, Gabriel Iglesias. Iglesias. Oh, oh, yeah, I love Gabriel. Yeah, I was watching him, and he's actually right about the fact of Hawaiian t-shirts. You can't make fun of anybody wearing them. <laughs> that is so true. I'm not even going to lie about that one. And uh, I find that they are actually, there are different versions of them. There's like the, the I, I love the soft ones. Those are really comfy. You actually yeah, got three different some. versions of them. You got a spring wear of Hawaiian t-shirts, a summer wear of Hawaiian t-shirts, and a winter wear of Hawaiian t-shirts. <laughs> So wait, you have like regular clothes? <laughs> um, I have Hawaiian t-shirts like crazy. <laughs> you know what? One of these days you're gonna have to turn on a webcam or something, cause I want to see your collection, your mighty collection of Hawaiian shirts. They're In not fact, that many. They're about five or six. You no, know, I, I should I should add that to the Cards Against Humanity deck. It's like Hero's <laughs> collection of Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> Oh, here it is. Here it is. One of them. No, no, no. You, you pretty much, uh, you should do, like, Hero's collection of his secret stash of games. It's kind of mind-blowing what I have. Oh, really? I have a couple of Super Nintendo cartridges and Sega Genesis ones. This one of so, so, wait, do you still have to blow inside them? No, I don't use do that it anymore. Um, I do have a system, but it doesn't work. Kind of ticked off about that on a Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. So wait, how do you clean the inside of those things anyway? Oh, you use Q-tips. Mm. Can you see it? Yeah. This is the one with alloy. How, mm. how about we remove the man and one. put like backgrounds that are really interesting around it? Mm. I want that one. But I want the cowboys not oh, naked. You know what? I want to play. I want to play one of the old consoles and nostalgia out. Cause... You ever played an emulator? Oh yeah, I do, but I mean, it's it doesn't have the same feel. You know what I mean? Not not unless you get uh, a USB uh, controller. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jason left. Jason called it. I heard that. I heard, I heard that some people I uh, have like the like some people re- rebuild like their their NESs and then they put them inside toasters and stuff. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. The st- uh, angry video game nerd talked about that about mm-hmm. one of his buddies doing that. Well, no, he's, he's got one that has that does that. But uh. Is he? Well, and yeah, it's it's actually kind of remarkable how um, modifiable old consoles are. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. it's like you know you can even make you you can even convert them to like USB and everything like that. Yeah. Well, you can get um for at least the NES you can get um was a system on a chip and it's really easy. Oh wow. Oh, that's nothing. Have you read about the thing about the original Xbox? About what you could do with it? No. 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 You can actually crack that sucker open and use it for a gaming machine on your PC. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, if you take, like, you can exchange the components out because it was built with off the shelf parts. Yep, it's basically exactly the same as a freaking um, computer. Mm-hmm. And it's the only one that's almost an exact duplicate of a computer. And then, and then they and and then they changed it for for 360. That makes no that 
Oh, it's even funnier because um, I've actually did some um, things about emulators and stuff. Turns out if you used an emulator for uh, an Xbox original and put in emulator games of an Xbox 360, it'll run it better than the Xbox 360 will. <laughs> well, um, that's the biggest fucking joke. Wow, that's crazy. It's because mm-hmm. that thing can hold so much. Um, I found out something interesting when I was doing a little tampering on my uh, hard drive. Apparently, it's it, it always says that it has so many gigabytes. I found out it has one... Uh, um, what is the term after a gigabyte? Isn't it a kilobyte or a tilobyte? Terabyte. Terabyte. Terabyte, yeah. That's how much is in an Xbox original. Oh, wow. Oh. So if you just put, if you replace the the OS of that sucker, you could probably limit the size of you know and you unlock guys, a lot of that guys, memory. Guys, things have got things have gotten really really nerdy in here. <laughs> we're, we're gonna we're gonna scare we're gonna, oh, we're gonna, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I probably I just can't handle my nerdiness in video games and comics. <laughs> 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 you know, yeah. we're all like that dude from uh, yeah, we Helga, are. Uh, that Helgo got pissed off at Hey Arnold. The guy goes, <sighs> you know that guy? We're all that oh, guy. Oh, yeah, she hits him in the face. <laughs> yeah, we're all that guy. <laughs> <laughs> he must have like an endless supply of glasses. She's always breaking them. I know. I loved Hey Arnold. That was an awesome series. Yeah, I don't know why I mean, I, they canceled it. They yeah, canceled I, I it don't too. know. That's the thing, though. The guy the guy who, who wrote the show had actually had everything planned out, from what I understand, in in uh, in uh, interviews later on. He he said that he knows exactly where it's going, where, where it would, would have gone to, but they, they pulled the plug on it. He yeah. could still do it. He could still do it if he kick-started it. Yeah, I mean, that would be one of the more popular Kickstarters. I mean, fuck. Yeah. Reading Rainbow. It is a huge yeah. following if, if, on... If, um... you could, if you could contact him and tell him to kickstart it, you could tell him there's, there is a 100% guarantee that it will get aired, and he could do the same thing like Legend of Korra was doing where it got kicked off the air, and but it's still running on Nickelodeon on website browsers and stuff. Mm-hmm. All you have I wonder to say is, uh, we'll, is that all he has to say is uh, I'll kickstart it and then release it on uh, Netflix or something or Hulu Plus. Boom, done. Hey, I don't know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, that show has. I mean, that show has one of the best soundtracks that I have heard for a yeah. show. Really like uh, jazz music. Mhm. It was fantastic. I'm trying to find... Oh, you like jazz music? Well, actually, I like jazz... It's not that I like jazz music, but that, like, that show actually made me get interested in jazz music. Uh, you should totally watch Cowboy Bebop then. Yes, you should. That is really, really good with this jazz. It sucks what happens at the end, but I'm not telling you what it is, but yeah. Mm. Hey, get down from there! Get down! Watson! Took it. <laughs> Pets are everywhere. <laughs> Doing all kinds of crazy things. <laughs> oh, my dog. He ate a cookie. Wait, was there chocolate in it? Yeah. Oh, no. No. Ah, that. I'm Why trying to look at him. I'm trying to look for one of my cord connectors for my for my microphone. It it popped off. Now, uh, Samantha, have no you seen ways. any of our cartoons like Nickelodeon stuff from the '90s or no? I would imagine. I would imagine. No, so. you can't imagine. Yes, because only people in the United States got well, it. Well, some some of them you'd be surprised because South America I, gets more more series from the U.S. than a lot of other I, uh, countries. I found out about that when I was a kid of myself because. Uh, we had we did not have any Nickelodeon or cartoons in um, Scotland. My yeah, grandparents my, had to record them on VHS and send them over for me to watch. Yeah, my boyfriend um, he doesn't have he has almost nothing in common w- with me in terms of uh, cartoons growing up, except for the really really popular ones because he, he's he's from Europe, and and I understand that, but a lot of people. Uh, in South America, they get a lot of the same things that we do, but it gets translated into Spanish and um, and Portuguese and stuff like that. Yeah, and also in the 90s, in the 1990s, like there was a huge uh, uh, 
following for anime. Mm -hmm. In the 80s and 90s, uh, anime arrived to Chile and it became huge. I mean, I used to watch Sailor Moon more than anything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, people don't understand that they, they do a lot of um, fan dub, no, not fan dub, sorry. Uh, they do a lot of um, dubbing for, for uh, Spanish speaking countries. Yeah. For, um, for things like anime. They, they get a lot, they get series that we don't even get over here because of, uh, of censors and stuff. Hey, Rachel, did you hear about that thing um, a while back when uh, like Toonami first shut down? Where uh, Canada was still airing, and they were airing for another three years, and they flipped the fuck out on America for it. Really? Yeah. Apparently, a lot of anime fans in Canada flipped out how a Toonami got shut down for no apparent reason, and because they got what we got a couple a uh, couple years behind what we had. So basically, when they when it stopped, they were freaking out of why did it stop, and they blamed America for it. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't our fault. Yeah, yeah, we we were all really upset too. So yeah, upset. then the weird thing of freaking um, Disney XD taking over Naruto Shippuden, and that was weird. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck, fuck Disney. I mean, because they're not gonna let if there's anything that doesn't pass their their censors that isn't kosher with them, they're gonna cut it out. They stopped this series right before Asuma died. <laughs> they knew that was going to happen, so they killed the series on Disney XD. Well, it doesn't belong on Disney XD. Seriously, like, the kinds of shows they run there, you know, Naruto doesn't fit that entire vibe. Yeah, they don't understand what the fuck they're doing, to be honest. I don't think I. I think most places do have no idea what they're doing when it comes to anime. They don't because it doesn't really play by the rules um, of American television. It there's a lot of stuff that happens there. They don't really. I think the thing is that they don't uh, dumb shit down for their audience. They don't. They don't feel the need to to infantilize their audience. Basically, someone's gonna die. And that's gonna be okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's stuff like is, that. The thing is, that people die in Disney movies all the time. Yeah. Mufasa dies. That's Everybody standard. dies. Old parents die. Well, it's it's also things. It's usually the stuff like uh, sex and stuff like that. I mean, I I actually just recently realized that there was references to that in. Uh, the Gundam Seed opening originally, and I didn't see that because they did, they cut that out of the opening for American audiences. Yeah. I had no fucking clue. I'm like, are you serious? And there's, But there's a lot of things that are heavily implied in the series that they kept in, so you know that there's, that there's fucking sex going on. <laughs> I mean, in the Sailor Moon series, there were characters who were obviously gay, but they had to they transform and into into the other sex. I mean, there was a character who was obviously a gay man. They turned him into a woman, so they couldn't notice that it was a dude. Oh, which one are you talking? Which one are you talking about? Uh, oh, oh, um, are you talking about uh, Zoisite? You're talking about Zoisite? Are you talking about uh, Fisheye? Fisheye was a transvestite. Yeah. There was like one in Sailor Moon, the first gener the, like the first episode. A lot of yeah, a lot of the um oh you're talking about Zoicide, yeah. A lot of the, the very uh, racy stuff, that was done just for the anime though. Uh, um. but there, there were there were some questionable things in the manga that would not fly. You would you wouldn't uh, most people would not hand it to their their young teens. But um I, I, I honestly don't have an issue with it. But uh, but you know, people are very puritanical here. But the thing is, the thing is, is that um, the Sailor Moon series, at least in the manga, which is, by the way, I think is a classic, and that's that's just that's coming from me. It's it's always going to be better than the anime incarnations because it it stands on its own. It really does because it's nothing but plot. Whereas the anime is spread out, they and watered down, and it's just a whole bunch of crap. They create drama where there isn't. 
like uh, Zoisite was not uh, gay in in the manga. In fact, the um, the what you call it? Yeah, the generals. They were yeah. they were the generals for Endymion, and they were they were originally romantic interests of uh, the Sailor Senshi in the Moon Kingdom. So that's uh, yeah, that's that's something interesting. Yeah, they apparently that that sort of thing was really popular during like uh, late '80s, early '90s. So that's what they decided to shove into the show. The entire second season of the anime never happened in the manga at all. Ah. Like, that that, that anime was anime when it's anime. <laughs> it's anime. Uh, that's the pr- that's the uh, correct pronunciation. I don't care. I call it anime. Yes, I know. But but yes, that's um. There's a lot of things that got changed in the anime, and um, there's there's things that are being changed in the current anime version of it. Sailor Moon Crystal, even though yeah. it's supposed to be more um more. Well, Sailor Sailor Moon Crystal is just. Neutered. I've seen. I've seen material of it, and and it's like they cut out any sharp edges on it. Um. What, what do you mean neutered? What do you mean? Well, it, it, it's yeah, just. Yeah. Yeah. Have you have you seen the manga? I haven't. I haven't seen the manga, but I've seen. Okay. The the, the problems with the anime are not um, the ones that you're probably thinking of. The problems with the with the with the newer anime, Sailor Moon Crystal, is that they really put out a lot of the dark aspects of it. The con- One of the wonderful things about the manga is that there is a wonderful contrast between brutality and darkness with uh, contrasted against um, these women who are essentially goddesses. They, they have... Uh, they have Beca- gone from being regular, ordinary girls to being uh, almost living goddesses. So there's that wonderful contrast, and that gets removed when you take out the dark aspect, the greediness, the the horrible death scenes where people are like rotting away before your your eyes down to a skeleton. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's what. Yeah, the death scenes are fantastic in the comics, <laughs> but you, they no, cut out a lot of that for, for. They cut a lot of that out for the. For the manga, but it's probably gonna have to go that direction if they do a second season, because in second season, a lot of the things that happens is um, they start to see that people are uh, spontaneously combusting and burning to death out of nowhere. Yeah, um, and they and that's what's what causes them to investigate to investigate things. <laughs> There, there's an intrigue. Uh, there's an interesting thing about that too, about uh, how they did that censorship on Sailor Moon. They did that recently in the dub of Funimation One Piece. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a character called Mister Two, otherwise known as Bon Clay. He's uh, he, I, I think it's uh, he's uh, supposed to be uh, it's kind of weird, but he's supposed to be gay. And they and he goes by Okama Kenpo, which is called cross dressing. Karate, uh, like a karate kick or martial arts. It's it's where there are cross dressers that are men who love each other and they use martial arts in their own style. They call it like, uh, oh god, I forget what it's called. In uh, um, American, I forget what they call it. Mm. But uh, oh yeah, dancing, uh, uh, fighting style. They censored it. From being cross-dressing to um, dancing, fighting style. Mm-hmm. I can't oh. wait for that scene when they may when you when they meet. Uh, I think his name is Ivankov, who's a guy or a girl. It's never really depicted on what he is, and he's like the king, or he's called uh, the queen of uh, Okama Island, and he has ability where he sticks his devil fruit ability in him and turns into a man or a female. Yeah, they, they they'll, really... they'll just skip over that stuff. Most oh, yeah. I hope to God they don't, because it's fucking hilarious. The dude is awesome <laughs> as hell. Yeah, they, they the thing is, is that the problem with American audiences is that what we've done is we have these really overprotective parenting types that are afraid of like they're afraid of their children. They're sort of this uh, kind of hover parents. They're like little helicopter parenting, where they're afraid that the littlest thing is going to corrupt children, when in reality, what 
the best thing to do is is not be afraid of them viewing certain things, that. especially when they're old enough to view it, and and ex and giving them some context to what they're about to view. Yeah, yeah. because in, if not, the children are going to search for things to watch, and they're going to probably find things that they are not supposed to watch because nobody told them not to watch them. Like they, if they censor the things that they watch. When they uh, uh, try to find something interesting, they're going to find more that they search for. Uh, the danger is not in them seeing things that are disturbing or different. It's in them not having any context or understanding of what they're viewing. Yeah. And that's, well, that's, that's, that's on the parents. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, well, well, I think it's interesting how they do that because if you look at a look at a kid right now, they don't really care about you being gay or anything like that. So why the fuck does it matter? Exactly, that shit doesn't even matter. And they I mean, might. We were, uh, we, were uh, we were we were all uh, like taught that stuff when no. we were kids. Where oh, it's bad for this, it's bad for that, it's bad for this and that. And if it wasn't from the parents, it was from the teachers. Nowadays, that's not really happening because yeah. if a teacher says that, you're like, oh. you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, and the thing is, is that people aren't as sheltered anymore. So it's it's really difficult to have something against things like uh, gay people or trans individuals if you know them. You know, if you know folks like that, if they're if they're walking among you, it's a lot harder to have all of these ridiculous ideas about what these people are like when you actually know them. And and that's what's really happening in society. The exposure to it helps people to understand. And trying to take away that exposure because you're, because of our puritanical society really isn't helping. Well, and the thing is, the puritanical nature isn't even really that efficient. I mean. You know, well, people uh, just want to just look at that stuff more now. <laughs> well, people, people want to look at the stuff more, and there are places where you can look at the stuff more. And you know, there are places, and you, they, people can wholesale reject their ideas, and basically go somewhere else. Which is why you know, I suspect places like Disney XD wanted Naruto in the first place, um, because they still wanted viewership. I'm. I can't imagine that their viewership is very high at the moment uh, when compared to like online sources, for example. Oh, oh yeah, and uh, this is the thing about Disney is it's it's really a mess. It's it's kind of a mixed bag right now, just just in general, in terms mm -hmm. of Disney Channel, Disney XD, all that stuff. The in fact, if you had to, if I, if you asked me what I would actually watch from Disney, it'd be only one thing, which is Gravity Falls, which is an yeah. awesome show. Which it is an amazing show, Gravity Falls. Yes. It's basically cosmic horror. Hmm. It's basically cosmic horror, like a Lovecraft yeah. novel. Yeah, exactly. It's a it's that wonderful kind of um, it's a wonderful kind of show. It's almost a throwback because there were a lot of shows like that in the '90s where it was exploring the occult. And there was, I remember there was a there was a show like that on Disney Channel called So Weird that, that ran for several for several seasons but got canceled. So we never got to find out what actually happened to Fee if she ever got to if she ever found her father again um, or what happened to. To, to him and his uh, his soul, or what, what took him, because he he did engage with something that was supernatural, and that was what ended his life. But um, they never got to touch it because that whole because first off, um, the actress who played Fiona in the show, she left to pursue other interests. I think I think she actually went to just go to college um, and get out of that because she was a child actor and she wanted to have a somewhat normal life. But and then she was replaced by some other girl, and there was some kind of really weird thing to try and keep the show going for a couple more seasons. But what ended up happening is there was a storyline that was supposed to be seen through, and that just didn't happen. But it, it shows like that, where things like that were, were accessible to people. Uh, there was also... Uh, oh, gosh. Uh, the Adventures, I think, of, uh, I think it was Shirley Holmes... And there's a whole bunch of other shows like that for kids where it's it's that sort of mystery story, and you're you're slowly but surely finding the pieces of the puzzle 
it's for a larger story. Yeah. You, and there's a and you get to engage with like little little mystery serious things like bits of the occult and stuff. That's fun. People love that stuff. And it's yeah. done really, really well in this in this and it's show. Not even that risque, and it's not even that risque. I mean, even looking at Gravity Falls, yeah, there's some dark stuff suggested, mm -hmm. but you know, they don't they don't have to, you know, show decapitations or you know, you know, sex scenes, which you know, is really the good thing about um, this sort of material. I remember mm -hmm. um, one one show on um, Disney XD um, that it was like some sort of like superhero hospital show. And it was actually really interesting because yes, it was sort of dumbed down, but you know, it still played with some with some you know ideas, and and you know, it was by and but it was by like the executive producer of Scrubs, so it's like I was actually like some like really into it for a short time. Mm. There's stuff like it, you know, and and it's stuff like that that you know, at Disney should frankly be um you know pursuing. If every show on Disney was like Gravity Falls. I would fucking watch it today. But, and what I mean to say is there's multi-layered things going on in Gravity Falls. There's what's yeah. happening on the surface, there's what's happening underneath, and then there's also lots of Easter egg things. There's, like, uh, there's cryptograms and stuff that are yeah. in different parts of the show that they actually, that if you pause it, you can, um, you can then go back, find out, find it out and then work out uh, clues to what's going to happen at the end of the season or the larger story being told. So people, we're having things where kids are learning how to decode messages, like uh, like things like advanced cryptography and shit. Yeah, um, and that's amazing. <laughs> with, uh, with that Gravity Falls show, I think it's really, really good. It just pisses me off we don't have fucking anything else to watch. Yeah. One of the things about Gravity Falls that I really love is the one of the last episodes where that was about the blind eye, the Society of the Blind yeah. Eye, and it showed it went really dark. I mean, not necessarily like violence or sex, but the oh, was it the memory erasing one? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But the Which whole I, I guess thing... some spoiler alerts for anyone. Um... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, spoiler alert. But the, the the concept of having seen so much horror and knowing the truth about the universe that makes you become so crazy, that ha what is what happens to the old man? How is the name of the old man? Um, I, I, I forget, but basically what happened was is that he learned the truth about it and he just could not deal because he was an ordinary man. And he decided that he was just going. He'd rather forget everything and scramble his brain than continue on knowing. Isn't that you mean the grandfather? No, the no, 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 no. He's, he was like he's basically this crazy old prospector kind of guy. Oh, um, the prospector, really? <laughs> yeah. No, he. Yeah, he, 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 he was actually an, a genius. He was actually a complete genius. And what happened is, is he devised this thing that allows uh, them to erase memories and stuff, so that they keep the secrets of Gravity Falls a secret instead of um, instead of people knowing what's actually going on with all the supernatural stuff. It helps them to continue on in the town um, without realizing anything. Now let me guess. Being, the uh, uncle basically. Didn't get his yeah. memory right, right? Right? No, no, he, no, he didn't. But there, but apparently he was associated with him at one point. But yeah. uh, uh, they went their separate ways. Grunkle yeah. Stan is um, Grun Grunkle Stan. There's a whole bunch of shit going on with him. I have no idea what's really going on with Grunkle Stan because we 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 know that he's built some kind of a weird machine underneath the mystery shack. But we have no idea what it. Huh? Oh, cut off. We're sorry. This person has been censored for the fact of spoiling too much. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, the hey. thing about the thing about that episode is that it basically became. It was basically like at the end became a Lovecraft novel, a Lovecraft story, when the scientists find out about the truth and they cannot deal with it. I mean... 
is what we it could be called cosmic horror, which is like beyond the reality. There's something so big and so unknow unknowable that makes people go crazy. Yeah, and that's what happened to the grandfather uh, with the not the grandfather, but with the old man who who end up uh, breaking his his own uh, mind. So he doesn't have to remember anything. That's so. Um, oh, well, okay. I just noticed something. All right. That's almost just like uh, re the the reality concept that man has never accepted the fact that he is uh he is about the size of how we compare an ant because that's what we are. We are nothing. Yeah. We really are. And to uh understand that, we can know more knowledge in other things. But because of what we are, we can't. Huh? It's the same kind of concept. What are they two, Rachel? We have decided to clone the Rachels. <laughs> oh damn! Two, ty two times the talking. All right, all right. We can, we can, we can, we can totally uh, procreate with one and then leave the other one alone. Which one do we want to do <laughs> with? One of them. Watson, you need out, bud? Huh? Potty? Okay. Uh -huh. I'll be right back. Ah. Hello? Who's there? Robert? Um, Rachel, yeah, came looks back, like, she yeah, came back Rachel, like Rachel. Yeah, I'm not sure what's happening with Rachel. Um, so, um, I'm trying to think of a way to explain it through misogyny. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, obviously there, you know, there's two. One's not enough because you're not powerful enough as a woman. So there you go. That fixed it. Yeah. But now so, you killed a woman. I mean, oh my God. Misogyny right there. The, there's only they can only be one. <laughs> it's like Highlander. Yeah. Well, well, see, there's four. There's four guys and two girls. Now, if we're thinking about quotas, right? Mm -hmm. You know, this is this is this is sexist. Yeah. So we obviously need more women. So obviously, by doubling up on Rachel, it was an attempt to make things more equal. I think huh? she's going what? to come back with nothing. You want party? Huh? This way we're gonna have negative numbers of Rachels. No, I put my dog out. <laughs> oh, I thought I thought you said party. Yeah, I said oh. potty to my dog. <laughs> oh, I thought that you said. I thought it was you were talking about the baby. No, I was talking mm -hmm. about my dog. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, well, uh, it's. Yeah, I mean, anyways, um, don't don't keep uh, don't keep. I mean, if you really want, if you really want to find, you know what. Accusations are flying around. You don't really have to go that far. You just have to basically, you know, find the Brianna Wu's and Anita Sarkeesian's. Yeah, I'm not interested in the big ones though. I'm interested in the little one. Huh? What I what I want to see, and it's and I don't know how to spot it. I I can't think of a way to spot it, um, except by coming up with a sock account and talking to small accounts. Um, but I, what I want to see is like a preponderance of small people making claims, or I want to see anything coming. You know, I can't look in people's email boxes. I'm, you know, I'm not a hacker, so you know, I, I can't find the shit. Also, all you hear is all you hear is people like Wu and Sarkeesian, you know, going on TV and saying this is happening to me. There's nothing. There's no evidence. You know, and you can't prove a negative. So. Well, that's yeah. because it's all like, the other SJWs are freaking scaredy cats. That's all it is. They'd rather they'd rather uh, do it behind closed doors than doing it, doing it in public. Yeah, that's right. I think who was I talking to? Um, I think it was Ian uh, a few days ago. Um, I was saying that you know I have a uh, I have a, a Tumblr account and I've never been attacked by SJWs on it and he said well yeah because when they when they see someone come in who's Hello? you know who who has some Hello? arguments they they're scared yeah. and they shut up yeah it, it's, it's it's even it's even it's not even that it's um it's a personality popularity thing like SJWs right now are only doing it just to get some cred out of it 
Like, uh, like, um, what are we in Gamergate doing? Like, I already called out Paul for his bullshit for his uh, ad revenueing uh, Hitbox account mm. on Gamergate shit because um, oh, uh, he was a supporter oh, of Gamergate. Yeah. Oh, like, oh, I got a twi- I got a Hitbox account. I'm gonna talk about Gamergate, but at the same time, I'm gonna get partnered. I'm gonna start doing ad revenue. I'm gonna get subscribers. I'm gonna give away free games. Yeah, that doesn't sound like Gamergate stuff, does it? Well, I mean, I guess it would. I, I guess it would. Um, I mean, because, like, you know, like take like take this account for instance. This um, the stole review page. You know, I you know I'd like it to I'd like it to um, grow. I'd like to share so that you know I can have a have a larger audience. Um, does that? But you wouldn't do it for money, would you? Yeah. No, but I mean. Yeah, that's the thing that Paul's doing it though for. That's the difference between your your rights of doing it and his rights of doing it of being wrong. Well, you might, but you wouldn't try to uh, manufacture your own victimhood to do it. Wait, wait. Do you think you think he he faked it? He faked the attacks. Which who, it's a possibility. What? It, like, um, look what he's done right now because he's trusting sources that aren't even true without investigating them and stuff. And he's um. Like I said, he's partnered in this and that. That's too much of a coincidence where you got people in his chat who are who are. It's like wow, and you're watching it, you can't believe it, and you're and you and then the next day when you cast, you want to see what happens next on his next thing. It's a uh, yeah, King of Paul. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, uh, that's the reason why I said Paul. I don't think anybody else knows any other Paul. <laughs> All you say, wait, 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 go, 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 go back. What? Paulina. Paulina. I would have said Paulina. I wouldn't have said Paul. I can't get the story straight about King of Paul. Can somebody lay it out? Um, basically, he's been uh, threatened and what and and uh, he's been threatened with a weapon of some sort. But what's the big thing is he basically trusted somebody from a reviewing website over the fact that the leader of Gawker said some horrible stuff about Gamergate and this and that. And it turned out to be a fake account and everything like that. wasn't even the real guy, the head leader of Gawker. It was all fake. And everybody like Milo and everybody else was telling him that they were going to do an investigation on it to see if it was really him or not. And he basically shoot the works and said it on his live stream without even caring about it being true or fact or not. And basically was told out that he was lying. And, I mean, there's been, you know, he's also... He's also accused some other people, like for example, um, Monday Matt. He accused of being um, a shill or basically a um, false supporter of Gamer Gamergate because he was part of a group that um, was a well-known um, troll group targeting Gamergate. Yeah, I remember that. On I was there when it happened. Which, yeah, which, I was watching that live stream. Yeah, it was on his live stream. Basically, to uh, to 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 um, tell you what it was like, uh, don't keep. This is what it was like. Imagine you like all of us are talking, and then out of nowhere, somebody pops in and says we're all fucking idiots and we don't know what we're talking about. Because that's what Paul did. He basically yelled at uh, Monday Nat and told him he did he was lying and stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah, he had to be put on mute for a while so they could actually exchange um, individually. Yeah. That that goes to show you um, uh, for respect. And then after that happened, he went on Twitter and basically put a picture of, uh, I think it was Julius Caesar, of him. And he basically said that Gamergate is like the apostles that killed Julius Caesar. Not, not, po- not, po- not apostles, you mean senators. Yeah, sen- sen- <laughs> senators. Which, I mean, really, I, I mean, I I wonder who was the, you know, who played each part then, I mean. <laughs> who, was, who was Brutus, exactly? Yeah, who's Cassius? <laughs> well, it was just the thing of him tagging and saying everybody in Game Again, and then he apologizes to Game Again about everything that's been going on. And then he tells the game that he wants able. them to all welcome him back again. And then he basically throws another fit on Twitter because I still wasn't following him for some damn reason. Well, and he I... basically just starts screaming up a storm again, and then apologizes to Gamergate again. Oh, jeez. 
She's the way Ian the explained it to me was that was that um, King of Pole had gotten a reputation of, of well, he had been he had been um, blackballed as as something akin to a Holocaust denier. Uh, because of, yeah, he said that, because but no one gave a fuck about it because okay. he said that uh, he said that oh the Holocaust is wrong about its attributes of this person and this many people being dead and this people being alive and I was like well no shit motherfucker nothing is accurate. Well, and the thing, and so what happened there is that um, on another on another um, streamer's um, channel, an, an internet aristocrat. Um, he and Sargon of Akkad um, basically got into this um, fight about um, the numbers of people who died in the Holocaust. Pol is um, a person who is skeptical of the numbers, um, as reported, uh -huh. and um, basically after that, um, he um, was basically thrown around as quoted as saying thing, things like, well, you know, Hitler wasn't all bad and things like this, and you know, of mm -hmm. course, things that would um, make people understandably upset. Yeah. Which, oh, yeah. yeah. And so... But this um, is separate from his... But this mm -hmm. is separate from his being mailed the knife. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's, yeah. Th these, are all, yeah. these are all separate instances. Yeah, these are all separate instances that show how much of an asshole he is. <laughs> I mean, you can try to defend him all you want, but the the freaking it's right there in front of you, being a dick like that. Oh. Well, and and ultimately we have to remember, you know, King of Pole, um, the pole comes from pole as in the four chan pole, as in politically incorrect. So I mean, he's he w he's always been an asshole. He just you know it just went from being an asshole to being an asshole who um was very good at doing live streams for Gamergate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was it, it and and it was supposed to be and with Gamergate it was supposed to be about support and that stuff and all that other stuff and being friendly to each other. Yeah, he wasn't doing that. Yeah, Oliver Campbell's better at that than uh, than Paul is, to be honest. I'm sorry, but the greatest uh, the greatest usernames I've ever seen in Gamergate would probably be uh, Otter Jesus, and even though he only um. tagged it once. Uh, once I'm going to say Otter Santa just for the fucking hell of it. Cause it's funny. <laughs> Otter Santa. Oh my God, you guys have to see that Twitter account. Otter Santa is so fucking adorable. So wait, is there is there a real Otter Santa? There's actually somebody doing that. It's a Twitter account that someone made called Otter Santa, and apparently he's doing something for Christmas or something. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that was, that basically, was... an otter picture with a Santa hat on it. You were gonna make cookies. I'm sorry, I'm pretty random. I'm pretty I'm random. That's what's gonna I'm following happen. him on Twitter. Hold on, I'll check it out. I'll show you guys this. This is so adorable. I think I'll try making those cookies tomorrow or something, or at least a, a batch of those. O T T E R. Oh, my bad. His name is Santa Otter. Santa Otter. Oh, Santa. <laughs> Santa Otter. Yeah. Is that a Jesus or it's another otter? Well, otters seem to be, you know, popular right now. And uh... <laughs> I'm not really sure. I'm not I mean, really look, look at that Twitter account. That's so adorable. <laughs> is there oh an abundance gosh, of otters? The tweet on November 14th. Yes, game regain and not your shield. There is an uh, otter Santa. Oh. <laughs> 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 Well, that would be good if he. I mean, that would be fun if you know he actually did something. You know, like with with the moniker. You know. Like, well, um, Santa with, otters coming to town. <laughs> like I know that there, there's the whole he gaming forward right now, anything. and like there's the you know toys for tots. So it's like you know that would be the time for an otter, uh, for a Santa otter to rise and you know. Show show their support. <laughs> well, um, Otter Jesus was talking about how we do um, um, what is it called? Secret Santa for Gamergate. How could we do that? Do you know, do you know what Secret Santa is, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know um, what we could do is. He was talking like, about it, and I made a good reference to it, and it's probably the greatest way of doing it. But it would have to be something that we would have to do at the risk of our own usernames and all that stuff. 
and I said, why not do it through Amazon wish list? Yeah, that that is a way of doing it. That is a way of doing. I mean, I don't have Amazon. We don't have Amazon. You just you just go on Amazon, create an account, and make a wish list. Yeah, but I will have to like do everything so it can can be bring, brought like brought it'll, here. It'll, yeah, it it'll be brought to you direct. Well, Chile, um, Chile doesn't might not have a Amazon, you know, a Amazon delivery service. We well, I don't yeah, deliver no, through. No, no, no. Uh, Amazon delivery service is not. They don't have a, a direct Amazon delivery service. It's a it's a mailing posted postal. Basically, it's mailed to a different. If it's if they don't have a mailing for Amazon over there, basically it'll be transferred over to another mailing list of it. Yeah, yeah. So basically, it would it would be shipped. Um, not a uh, it, it would not UPS, but uh, well, actually, probably like UPS or F or FedEx. I would suggest FedEx, um, if only because the extra shipping and handling will have will help in a long um, long travel period for package. Mm. It's um, it, it it's worth it for the extra money. I mean, I I I did uh, work for one of those eBay stores. Uh, at one point, and we sometimes we had to go ship things like uh, a laminator to Japan. Yeah, I'll show you just like an that. example of what an Amazon wish list is. This is mine. Yeah, I would have to clean up a lot of stuff off of my my wish list because I had a lot of weird stuff on there. I only have two pages worth. I only created it because some person said they'd buy me something like an anime box set. Yeah, I was just. Using... Then he said that, oh, I can't buy it because of Canadian money, which he was fucking lying about. So yeah. Yeah, I was using my. Is the thing is, I I've been using my wish list as not not something I want people to buy me, but as something to save items that I thought was cool. So there, there's old stuff on there, like like pieces of home decor, like quilts that I liked, and things like that. Like really, 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 really girly stuff is on, there. <laughs> and really ner nerdy and uh, gr and um, girly. Home decor items. Like, yeah, mine are mostly like anime and all that stuff. The stuff that's out of the ordinary, like uh, movies and television shows. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend not to buy them. See, I, I have a, I have an issue where, where I, uh, I obsess over weird things. So I'll have moment, I'll have a long periods of fixation for a couple of months, and then I'll learn all there is to know about it. And at one point, home decor became one of those fixations. So then I learned all about like uh, things like uh, what you can do in terms of ho uh, home improvement and how and uh, painting your home and uh, picking out different items which are the most cost effective but ha but uh, have staying power so you don't have to const constantly buy new items from shit like. I hope like you guys can't hear that behind me. Again. I can. Uh, I can. Oh god damn it! Yeah, I that's that's my sister's pup. We have to put it in the cage. Aww. Yeah, I wouldn't go off. Oh, that thing is really a terror upper. It's only a, a couple months old, but it'll screw up anything. Like, uh, we had a bag of freaking paper, uh, toilet paper once, and it just shredded it. Yeah, see, people can say what they will about cats, but my cat doesn't rip shit up. <laughs> like a dog, yeah, like a dog would. If you it off, it'll shit wherever you don't want it to shit. Uh. No, well, uh, my cat doesn't do that. And uh, as for um, Axe Fiver, yes, there is, there has been a lot of bashing on him, and and uh, you cannot say that he has been forgiven because of what he's done unless he's apologized to everybody individually. Well, how do you can how can you pop, uh, you know apologize to every individual gamer gator like that would be? You make a different hashtag under that privilege of a sorry gamer gator or something like that. And tweet it to Gamergate. Who has to apologize? Paul. He's a. Uh, um. Yeah, he's he's arguing that King of Pole should um, apologize to everyone. Hmm. Yeah, because he basically did the indirect thing of tagging everybody in Gamergate. So basically, he's saying it to everybody. Hmm. Um. Uh, well, all right, you know, I I, I I've always. Appreciate you know the Cassius role. I <laughs> fuck him, burn him. <laughs> no. 
I carried him across the river. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I cast you in the fiery volcano of hell. Enjoy your eternal damnation. What? <laughs> to include as many people as possible, you need to exclude those who don't believe in inclusion. What are we talking about? That's how in my brain. Why? I don't know. We're talking about a, a dog barking in a bat room saying, Sang yeah, um, I was. Uh, I'm, um, I, like I'm looking at a pod. tweet uh, that Mike Cernovich uh, retweeted that somebody said that to include as many people as possible, you need to exclude those who don't believe in inclusion. I don't get that it. That is deeply Marxist. Great. Well, great. But then we can, uh, um, you know, exclude all the anti-gamer gators. <laughs> well, I think it. I, I, I like. Sarcasm, like I said, I think it'd way. be a great idea right near the beginning of December, just posting Christmas stuff. Yeah, that would throw them for a fucking loop. Or anybody else's holiday, just post your holiday for December. Well, you know. The they there I mean there are multiple holidays I mean it's not it's not just Christmas so I mean it would yeah, be there's Kwanzaa there's uh, I forget what Hanukkah. the ones is so I mean just all so just spread all that all the all that GamerGate all you make just GamerGate themed you know all those things <laughs> and and just spread that around. Yeah. Well, I'm looking through my if I to Amazon, uh, my my to Amazon wish list and shit. This is like some really, really, really. Wow, what the fuck was I thinking with half of this stuff? Why did I put these things on here? Well, I might make a new wish list and just put it as my Wii U thing for Christmas, cause yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm creating now a wish list. I'm creating a wish list. Yeah, I think I should uh. I think what I should do is I should I should add some things like I need yeah, a new yeah, Dance Dance uh, Revolution if, pad if like a motherfucker. Your, uh, wish list, uh, Samantha. You need to um, actually put in your uh, information of your email address, uh, your shipping and handling address in there, or else it won't get sent to you. What is that shipping and what is that? Oh God. The, the, the address where you are current, where you are currently at, is your uh, where you wanted to be shipped to. Okay. Where, where you want to receive the items. Yeah, because okay. if someone bought like a, like if someone buys it, they have to um it, it and they buy it on your wish list, it'll get shipped to them if you don't have it set to being shipped to you. Okay, and where do I do? Where do I do that? In oh, which man. part of my account? Yeah, um, I mean, uh, oh god, I forgot how to do this. I did it once, and I never wanted to think of it again. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's not it's not your fault because it was just a pain in the ass to do it first time around because this dude hassled me to make one. It's <sighs> I mean it it should um the way the you know you should do you already have an Amazon account or. Yeah, I have. What I used to have. Uh, it's an old one, but I don't know where to. I mean, if you go like somewhere like user preferences or something like that or options, you should be able to change your address, and then anything associated associated with you, whether it be payment or whatever, would be associated there. Yeah. Hooray! My team's kicking ass in one piece. Whoop. <laughs> I got a little overexcited. I'm playing on a web browser game. <laughs> Your team? Yeah. What? Oh, um, so cute. What, my puppy? Your puppy. Yeah. Your puppy? Yeah, my sister's puppy. Rachel. I got a big ha dog. Yes, Rachel. Uh, have yes. you played PT? Have I played what now? Uh, PT, the one about Silent Hill, the new Silent Hill demo. Oh, no, no, I haven't. Me neither. I just watch it. I watch people play it because I'm too scary. They're too scared. 
Oh, you should play something like Minecraft then. Like we've been playing like so much Minecraft on the 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 server with people from like Honey Badger and um and AVFM and stuff. That's mm-hmm. it's been crazy. Like recently I okay, I was I was digging myself a mine and then I hit what I think is probably a massive cavern system. <laughs> so now I'm gonna have to go get a whole bunch of other people to come in with me. And uh, and help me I- investigate the cave system because I have no idea what is down there. None. I have n- no idea what is down there at all. At all. <laughs> and I will probably die if I go by myself. <laughs> what do I? What do I see? The whole cheaping thing. I cannot. Have- um, there we go. Now you can't hear the little bugger. Aww. Did you eat him? No, I put her in her bedroom. Oh, okay. I put her in a bedroom and shut the door. Got sick and tired of it. I'm going to add, like, in 204 felt nibs, because I, I really i am running out of those. Now, if anybody says uh, I'm a monster, note, it's not my dog. <laughs> it's just saying right now, it's dog. not my fucking dog. It's just my sister's dog. Yeah, it's my Aww. sister's dog that my sister said, Oh, I'll take care of it. No, it happens. It happens. People have been yeah. sent to, uh, People sent Sargon um teapots and kettles and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> In addition to cutlery. Yeah, me and Otter Jesus were making jokes about saying that we want to get docked so we can get pizzas. <laughs> yeah, well, and, I, and I basically yeah, made the joke about saying that screw pizzas, I want anime. Yeah. yeah that was... Who was I talking about like, about sending Nero a dildo? Yeah, yeah, they were. Jo- oh god. <laughs> oh god, you listened about the dildo jokes? Oh god. That was um that I think that was Max. He he's I don't know what is up with him in that with with No, actually I was talking about me. I mean I made a jo- a reference about sending Nero dildos. Oh god. So you want what? one of Milo's dildos? Interesting. I wanna send him one. As a gift. Well he truly he yeah. truly probably appreciate it. He's yeah. good, right? Yeah, uh, I think. I thought, uh, um, I, I always got, kept getting confused. It's like, wait, is he gay? He, he sounds like he's gay. And, and everybody... He hey, the, one, the Avengers one. Oh, God. So what now? Wait, wait. Who are you asking? Ask, who are you asking is gay? Nero? He is, no? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. Is, he is. Yes. You want to make yes. the biggest joke he's, ever? He's gay. You totally yeah, give he said... Right. If you're gonna give him a dildo and you want to make it one of the Avengers, make it Captain America just for a bigger joke on top of it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! I have to, have to, wait, wait! I don't get it. I don't get what, what's the joke. Basically, she said she wanted to buy him an Avenger dildo, and I said you want to make it a bigger joke, make it a Captain America one. Think okay. about it. I, I don't know much about Captain America. Captain America is the symbol of the United States. Yes, I understand that. <laughs> so he's going to get... Oh, he he's going to get fucked by the U.S. He's British. Oh, so he'll get fucked in the ass by the... Yes. American. Yeah. Yes. There we go. That's the bigger joke on it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. I know. Have you seen this? I didn't know whether there was a villain that or something. Time through. No, it's just I didn't know if there was a villain or something named Nero in that. Like, I'm not familiar with Captain America, okay? I'm not familiar. Yeah, oh, J- God, Jim's please don't get... show that. Stole. Do not show that. Show it. Ah! The, the Captain America dildo? That's the one. The first one. Yeah, see? Captain America, Red, Iron white, Man, Thor, Hawkeye, Hulk, Black Widow. How come Hawkeye's one is an arrow? I mean, that's his thing. Hmm. No, it's a heat spot vibrator. The only <laughs> one she could use is probably the Captain America, the 
know what we're talking about this. The Hulk one. Is Jeez, there a Spider-Man one with a web sh shooter? <laughs> <laughs> the there, probably, one. there probably is. And the, the Iron Thor Man one, you can't use the other two. The Thor one is electrical simula a simulator. I don't know what is it is. No, he can't use the Hawkeye or the Widow one. That is direct for females. Yeah. The Hulk one, we can send him. <laughs> Screw Wait, I'd rather it, give him the Captain America one just for LOL. It's probably so huge, isn't it? Yes, a 12 inch. Jesus! A 12, 12 inch. I like how the 12 inch, inch dildo. dildo. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's how big the dick is. Wonderful. Don't, well, don't I mean, make him angry. Course. You wouldn't like him when he's angry. Well, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, of course I expected it to be. Well, I expected it to be. No, no, no. Best thing ever. I just thought of this. Best thing. If Shrek buys him that dildo, that Hulk one. <laughs> Shrek is love. Shrek is life. And just put a message of Shrek is love, Shrek is life, and make it the Hulk one as he sends it. <laughs> yeah, you can actually send people, people messages uh, if, it's, if it's through Amazon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And... <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> funny, actually, if you think about it. Actually, Nero actually made a joke about that about him being he was like talking uh, he was talking very much like black people. Uh, he was talking like really ghetto, like making tweets that sounded kind of ghetto. And he mm -hmm. said that that was kind of people said that that was kind of racist. And he said like, "Bitch, come on! I have so many black cock inside me that I'm basically part African American." African, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> oh shit! I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm just thinking of how Milo would put it into words about Twitter. How what he got when he gets one of those. Yeah. <laughs> or I'm maybe sorry, just take a picture. I'm maybe about just that. Take a like picture. if he tagged it on Gamergate, how would he respond by getting one of those Avenger dildos? <laughs> Just imagine. Um, no, imagine if he said he got a big fat black, a big fat, a big fat Hulk dildo. <laughs> Hulk, even better, get him a dragon dildo. Oh my Yay. god, those are huge. I know. I actually finally decided to look that up, and I was like, Jesus Christ. What is that? Dragon dildo? Dragon dildo is like the biggest fucking oh, yeah, dildo. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the, the bad, bad dragon dildo, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, who, who makes them? Bad dragon. <laughs> it, 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 the uh, the dragon, it's for furries. Yeah, I've seen oh, that site. Oh, yeah. I'll be right back. i get my dog in. Wow. You can get pretty much anything from that. Oh mm -hmm. my god, a baby Jesus blood plug. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect for no. the holiday season. <laughs> no, no, no I, I, there's a bizarro, there's a bizarro fiction novel uh, right back, right. story called Baby Jesus blood plug. Probably they made it based on that novella. It's a story made from bizarro fiction, and that's how it called, and now it exists. Oh, I that's, that, how, that's do they, how do they know how dragon penises look? Oh, I, I'd like to note how we got on board about talking about the discussions of Gamergate, and now we're talking about dicks. Oh, last, last, well, game, last time... Well, dicks. Last, last time Rachel um, told me <laughs> about how to, um, uh, to undress a Victorian woman. You know, I I feel like I've met beautiful people. What is No, but no, don't sit on that. <laughs> oh shit! No, Why is this? Is this the the lost Doctor Zeus book? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Well, I know there there is a book there there is actually a, a Doctor Zeus book like that. That face. Attack! I almost missed out. Thanks for letting me socialize with you guys so much. I almost fucked up and. Lost a lot of fame. Fame. There you go. I wanna look Follow me, go with me, and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Okay. <laughs> What's that? Something writing one. 
Is that a Doctor Strange love dildo? I think that's the boy from How to Train Your Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the little thing. Well, I hope that drag. I, I hope that um, dildo is toothless. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, this was all funny. So I I don't get how they can know what how the dragon penises look like. It's probably I mean it's probably just you know, just a knobby um thing that it, it's just a knobby it's it's probably just like a knobby shape that they um choose just to make it extra big. Yeah, actually, it looks like the penis of, uh, like, horses of lizards. Hi, you want to say hello? You want to say hello? No? You want to say hello? Hello? <laughs> you want to say hello to the people, kitty? It's a dog or a cat? I have my cat. I have my cat here. He's a little bit, he's a bit fussy. He doesn't like being held. Oh, Can yeah, I have one. I have a cut like that. He doesn't like being held, so hold on. Give a moment. You want to see the most expensive anime collection ever? Okay. Look at him. Hi. Say hello, Byron. Oh. Say hello, Byron. Look. He's a big there cat. Look at that. He's a thing. very big That's cat. Expensive. I'll blow your socks off how much that is. He's a oh. big kitty. He's a big kitty. Oh, oh, oh Byron, Byron, calm down. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Come down. Come down, sweetie. Come down, sweetie. Come here. Here he is. Here he is. It's Cat Cam. Byron, say hello to the camera. Say hello to the camera. I fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. He's like, he's like, fuck your shit. <laughs> he's like, yeah, yeah. Up. He's like, no, fuck you. No, I don't you. like this you're making me look at. I don't want it. Leave it alone. Yeah, you're looking. Why does everybody oh, cat cat? Oh, cat cat people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yeah. Well, hey, Rachel, like check out that anime mm -hmm. series. Get your socks blown off on how expensive that is. Which one? That how Amazon thing I just posted. Oh. How fucking expensive is it? Just click the link and what? see the price. Eight hundred, almost eight hundred dollars. No way. Yeah, click it. Uh, so I guess what's getting Dragon limited yeah, edition yeah, blue so, so, yeah, somebody's gonna fucking uh, pirate that shit instead. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you wanna hear something? You wanna hear something interesting? The YouTube channel Two Best Friends got two of those things. Mm. <laughs> well, the two very rich individuals, I guess. They basically yeah, said no, that no one should have donated the, anything like that, no matter how much money they had. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's that's ridiculous. Yeah, that's a bit much. Uh, yeah. I it, mean, it, if it, it was it, a system, it, I would say, yeah, I believe that. But a uh, anime collection, forget that. Yeah, I'm gonna add a Dance Dance Revolution pad to my. Uh... <laughs> mm. I'm gonna. I I would like to have books or audiobooks. I like okay. audiobooks. You know what's funny? I'm looking at my wish list right now, and half of my wish list, you can't, you can't, you buy anything off of it. It's like, it's like a couple of animes, a couple of anime music soundtracks, and then a lot of animes you can't buy. <laughs> And then pre-orders. <laughs> yeah, my wish list is. I mean, it. it I mean, the most the most interesting thing is you know, taught in the Book of Evil soundtracks. <laughs> oh my god, I love that show. Um, I think I the most interesting. I'm looking through my shit right now, actually. Holy um, shit. Damn it! I ha I don't have the money for this. I'm so pissed because th there's like a there's like a sale on on this right now. Damn. 
Because, um, like, okay, I, I basically I need a new Dance Dance Revolution pad. It's, like, uh, with, with a, a new foam pad, because, like, the old one wore out. And this one is... Usually these things are going for, like, uh, 70 bucks, uh, the the good foam ones, which is what I need, because those last a bit longer than the, than the others. And it's right. only, like, $46. Ah, damn. I haven't talked about this, but I want to I want to know what your official reaction to it is, Rachel. So what? I recently, a couple years ago, I met up with my cousin on my father's side of family. I don't hang out with my father's side of family because of reasons I'm not going to talk about. But they, he talked yeah. about how his uncle owned our, an arcade shop, mm-hmm. and how the family, when the arcade shop shut down, got all the arcade game systems. <laughs> The two games I arcade systems I heard, and I fucking cried almost, were Mortal Kombat 2 and Killer Instinct. <laughs> oh wow! Mortal Kombat 2 is worth five thousand dollars. The arcade cabinet, Killer Instinct is worth ten thousand dollars. Wow! Whoa! I cried because he was giving those away for fi- for five hundred dollars to people. No! And free to the family. No. Oh. Well, they didn't know much about, you know, what they had then. Yeah. Now, my, my, the, he didn't. He just basically play, let people play arcades and bought them for cheap prices. No. Oh, a note: the price he was selling for the arcade cabinets is how much he got them for brand new. Damn. So yeah, they were mint condition. Uh, wow, those are some stupid people. <laughs> no. It's just that they don't know that kind of particular style of stuff. It's just like uh, my cousin gave me his copy of Chrono Cross that had never been opened. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> I already had it, but I sold it anyways. Ah. I got a hefty amount of money out of it, but it was just the fact that he had an extra copy. He had a copy. And I are in it. It was just my third copy of it, so I sold the son of a bitch. It's so wrong. <laughs> it's it's kind of like somebody selling um, actual uh, you know actual artifacts, like uh, important uh, scientific yeah. artifacts, like historical artifacts on eBay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's bad. I mean, my um, actually, my my sister um, when she went when she ended up going to Gettysburg, um, she actually got me like like Civil War, um, artifacts like like legitimate Civil War artifacts. But it's like, yeah, though it's like even like those things are more or less spread out. So it's like, okay, that you can see, but you know, yeah, the it impor- the important ones are like. No. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you do that? No, that's nothing. Like, if you saw my my gaming collection, you would like your mouth would hit the floor. Oh really? Well, there was, well, there was that one. There was that one um, person who was like selling the um, Nazi. Um, Oh my God! Christmas the Christmas oh, yeah, the Nazi yeah. Christmas I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know why everybody wasn't gonna. Nobody was gonna buy them because interesting fact on that. If you do a lot of research, like I do on uh, history and stuff, because I'm passionate about it. Um, back in those days, they were forced to celebrate the holiday of Christmas with those ornaments. They were forced to use those ornaments. They were not allowed to use any kind of Santa, anything like that. Nothing under another religion's thing of an ornament. They were only allowed to use the Nazi symbol. symbol. Mm-hmm. Not even like Santa Hitler? No. Oh. Hitler Santa. Oh, God. Now someone's going to make that. It doesn't already exist. Make it happen. It, if there, if there is some... Um, I'm not going to go there. It's like Rule 34 standards, except it's around the world premise. So yeah, I don't even have to say anything about Somebody, that. Yeah, yeah, get get on that, get on that fan art, like Hitler Santa, like just, <laughs> you know, what would be the most disturbing thing is that he actually goes around doing nice things. Is if 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 yeah, and then everybody is like, no, you're Hitler, we can't accept this. And it's like I don't understand why people don't. 
don't want to accept my gifts. Like, oh my gosh, that should be a, a Christmas special. <laughs> <laughs> Hitler's Christmas Adventure. <laughs> well, the the the, the plot twist at the end is that um the Jews don't celebrate Christmas; they celebrate Hanukkah. And he's like, oh fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if um, oh, that'd be hilarious. Um, okay, wait, wait, wait. Here's the here's the way you do it. You do it like um. Okay, here here's an interesting premise. Like maybe like through some kind of magic, um, you uh like cer certain uh, people who have died can pass into the uh, into the human realm like for like on Christmas night, right? And and, for, and somehow somebody wishes Hitler back. But Hitler is like reformed now, and he's or, like, or, or, and, like he's a, and he's a nice guy for some, for like somehow, and or, he wants to go help the people that he he hurt so long ago and make amends. So <laughs> somehow he ends up meeting Santa nah, along seen, the way. Uh, um, ever seen Code Monkey? <laughs> no. Oh, you need to watch that series. That series is fucking awesome. They only made two seasons of it. One of the episodes. Um, they're they're a game corporation that makes really bad games, and uh, they make a game that's about Hitler and all that stuff. And Hitler's family sues them for making it, so they go over to uh, Germany to meet Hitler's family, and they find Hitler inside one of the like uh, I forget what it's called, like uh, Han Solo in that big huge black oh, like, black metal thing. Oh, in carbonite. Carbonite. yeah, in carbonite, and they re <laughs> they release him from it. <laughs> and basically, this fat guy, this black guy, beat the shit out of him stuff. It's freaking hilarious because he gets his revenge, and he's like, I deserve all this, and then he just gets all mad and tries to kill him. <laughs> you see, like, Nazi bears and stuff. <laughs> what? what? You need to see it. It's so freaking funny. Code Monkeys is awesome. I've seen it before, but I don't recall anything specific about it. Like, Nazi... It, there's Nazi bears. There's Nazi you know, bears. In, you know, I've heard, I've heard that there's a there's a soda, a soda called Nazi cola. You know what's even funnier? They all get killed off by cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's. You need that's... to see it because the whole thing of the premise of the series is it's all eight bit. You know what? Oh. I'm just gonna search up a YouTube video and I'm just gonna show you the intro. It sounds familiar though. It really does. Now, if they, you know, if if you if you really wanted to, if you really wanted to, you know, you know, make pe people freak out, what you do is you you'd go with the res with the resurrection plot, except for it turns out that you know, Hitler was Hitler was always a nice guy, and it was ju you know, and it was you know, and it was just you know, like his his generals that you know, made made you know, his evil generals that did all the bad stuff. He had like no idea. Yeah. yeah, and he has no idea. Yeah, and he's like <laughs> no idea of what happened. So he's oh, like, wait, he's... here's an even better one. Here's an even better one. Maybe he got abducted by aliens and shit, and was replaced by like an evil <laughs> alien and like wearing a Hitler suit. So he comes back like after spending some time with some peace-loving aliens and shit, and he's like, oh hello guys. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. And he decides he just wants to paint people some pictures and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's so wrong. Oh, God. I have no idea if we scared away everybody. And he's like, I know what'll make... You know what? We're just going to make this shit right, even though my crazy alien clone went around and killed a bunch of Jews. Um, I'm That's gonna try and make fault. things right. So that, so then he goes, so then he fucking goes to like the North Pole, meets Santa Claus and shit, and, then, and uh, <laughs> and Santa's like, oh my god, you're Hitler, and he's like, oh my god, you're Santa. He <laughs> <laughs> this shit right itself. <laughs> oh, that. I, I mean, no, it'd be the most be special ever. <laughs> I mean, it probably wouldn't be well, well, you know, taken. But you know, that'd be like, <laughs> that'd be amazing. Exactly. Oh, you can show that on Adult Swim. They'll show that shit. 
<laughs> Hitler's Christmas wish. There we go. Did you know for Christmas? Christmas wish. Oh, oh god. No, no, no. His, his Christmas wish. Uh, wish. There we go. That, that's what it would be. It'd be, it'd be Hitler's Christmas wish. And, and, and it's like, all he wanted was world peace all along, but, you know, then, you know, then the Illuminati came and, take, and took him out and replaced him. <laughs> yeah, the, the Illuminati and, like, lizard people. There we go. The, the reptilians. The reptilians took him away, and he had to <laughs> up in space for a while. It's like that episode of uh, Robot Chicken where they replaced Michael Jackson with, like, the cyborg Michael Jackson that fondles kids. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, I posted the trailer to the first season of Code Monkey in the Google Hangout chat box. Enjoy. It's only 90 seconds, but yeah. Y y also, I have another thing to tell you guys. Um, in, um, in Minecraft, I, I have a I have a pet chicken. His name is Rupert. Oh, I did that. Oh, uh, right? yeah. You showed me that. Yeah, I... I, uh, to say I had, I had this... Be awesome. I had this huge guilt trip once because I um, killed it, killed a chicken in my wheat field. And so the um, remaining one I felt really bad for, and so I ended up adopting it, making a fancy chicken coop, and making, and making a... Um, a a uh, chicken, a uh, uh, chicken saving foundation against baby zombies. Oh. <laughs> well, you made, didn't you make a grave as well? Yes, for, it, um, Link style? Yeah, yeah. It, oh lord. It, it it included two. It, it included um two um dedicated statues for <laughs> um for the slate for the slate chicken who was named who is named um Link Slayer. Ah, uh, that's nothing. That's I'm hilarious. That, 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 is, that is some funny ass shit right there. But uh, but yeah. So so basically, a friend on the server named uh, Brandon was fucking with me. So he just decided to throw a bunch of eggs around and then <laughs> hopefully like he's like here. There's gonna be chickens everywhere now. And I'm like fuck you. And then I'm like oh hello hello baby chicken. How are you? And then it, I thought it was really cute. And it was all alone. So I was like you know what. <laughs> <laughs> well, I fished the name tag out of the <laughs> out of the water, so uh, you know what? I'm just gonna name you. Uh, <laughs> and even though you're you're technically like a weird asexual thing, um, <laughs> um, the, 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 and, and all of you lay eggs, I'm just gonna name you Rupert, even though you might be a female. Um, I really care. So 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 now your name is Rupert, and you're you're just gonna go chill in my spare bedroom down in the magic <laughs> cave. Um, You're challenging those uh, gender roles. I know, I know, right? <laughs> and uh, it's just ridiculous thinking about it. it. Just, it just, it just felt so natural to to have a pet chicken because. <laughs> well, hey, it's more. It's you know, it's possibly the best pet you can have. You can have in Minecraft. <laughs> now it gives me it. things. It gives me things. Uh, so so I've got a, I've got a tied to a post down in my spare bedroom so it doesn't get away. Oh lighten. my! Uh, it, it, <laughs> well, it escaped last time and we had to go hunt for it. <laughs> See, I have a um I have a disco sheep that I keep in my cave and just like it's a room with a disco sheep in it and just. Wait, a dis out. Wait, what do you mean a disco sheep? If you name if you get a name tag and name a sheep um underscore jeb it turns into a disco sheep it turns different colors. <laughs> underscore jeb. Yeah, disco <laughs> sheep. So is that with a is that a capital J or no just underscore um uh, all, all lowercase underscore and then J E B J yes oh that I have that is insane no yeah that's that's my pet it's awesome it only gives you the wool of the original color but it does look awesome it, it glow it, it it turns rainbow colors yeah it changes to all the different colors of wool just randomly that's you got a rainbow sheep. Yeah, <laughs> disco sheep. <laughs> that's that's amazing. Now, the is, does he got a jukebox that plays seventies music? No, oh. I don't have a jukebox yet. And and you, but you can you can also change change what music uh, the different tracks play. So you could totally make a disco using I'm that. Trying to, I'm trying to figure out how to make it automated because the um the doesn't the music like pop out once it's done playing? 
Wait, does that mean that if I shear the sheep when it's a, d a certain color, I get like a I, can, I get that color? No, it's it's still the original color. It just it just renders Aww. with all the colors. Yeah, it sucks. That sucks because that would have been so much fun. Uh, yeah, Katsuri d dyed all our sheep pink. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah, oh, that's she, bad. She, she dyed all our sheep, and now my carpet, which it would have been nice, it would have been a nice blue carpet. It's it's now pink carpet. No, so you should you should you should die in purple and say Barney raided the the wool. <laughs> yeah, I, I you know what? Maybe I should I should just go dye dye the sheep other colors as well, and, <laughs> and I just um yeah that 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 would that would be fun. I should just make a whole bunch of like dye of a different color or something. Yeah, oh, that's that's, what, that's, that's sheep of a different color. Oh God. It's that's what I, I used to do. With sheep, I just used to get just enough of them where I had every single color, and then you know, you know, then I would just farm that. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Yeah, I had that set up in the uh, the console version, but like it's like right on the edge of the world, so I can only have like what twenty sheep. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I'm gonna write this down, this code, this uh, this this thing, because I think it'll be fun if I make all of the sheep disco sheep. <laughs> and... <laughs> Fuck with people. <laughs> you're gonna be like, wait, what? <laughs> you just, you can, you're gonna fuck with people. Uh -oh. We're fucking people now. Yes, we are. Yes, we fucking are. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> There's another code as well to render um, any um, any mob upside down by renaming it. I'm looking that one up yeah, now. Yeah, uh, it's dinner bone. Yeah, um, Kiriban, okay. uh, Kaiben mentioned it now. Yeah, or Grom as well. It. Oh, sorry, I got the code wrong earlier. It's uh, Jeb underscore. Um, oh. no, so it doesn't start with underscore, it's, it ends with underscore. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's Jeb underscore. Okay, cool. That'll be, that'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I got my ass kicked by a 9 and 9. I'm going to kick his ass next time, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, actually, I had you know one of, one of my friends, Katsuni, in the game. She decided that she was going going to breed a bunch of cows, and then she went to go clean out the cow pit. And the cows, like there were so many of them, she got she got killed by them. <laughs> like they they trampled her to death. I don't I don't know. There was a cow revolt. There, there were so many cows that they just. I don't. How do you? I don't know how you do. Like the moose strike. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of someone being killed by a cow in Minecraft. <laughs> they, oh, no, well, no, no, it wasn't a cow. It was a bunch of them. There were so many cows in the cow pits that it was just. <laughs> no, no. What what happened was they all stared at her and she freaked out and she jumped off a cliff. <laughs> well, that's not what happened. Basically, we had we have a big cow pen. So, but apparently she decided she was going to breed a whole bunch of them as a joke, and then she decided to go down in there to clean them out, and she got trampled by them, I think. There were so many that it was glitching out. Oh. Oh, that's what happened. Okay. I've done that before. <laughs> yeah, so it was glitching out, and it went all nuts, and she they died. They stomping on him saying, one of us. Yeah, we're, we're we're we we're in the midst of a, we've been pranking each other. It's kind of like a weird Minecraft prank war. <laughs> so for, first we 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 decided to sabotage Kelsey's um garden by covering it in cake. No, no, uh, you know what you should do the one who got stomped by call, a cows. You should to ask her if she's now into um furries. No, 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 no. I, I, I don't, I don't know. She might be actually already. And anyway, and, <laughs> that makes no, even I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure. But uh, so, so, so then there's another one where it's uh, what was it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so recently they pranked me by putting a whole bunch by putting snow golems in my house. <laughs> and and then I retaliated by putting a whole bunch of jack o' lanterns up in <laughs> up in Scruffle. Hmm. Okay. Robin. Um. Oh. Please wait. We are experiencing tactical difficulties. Yeah. 
we need don't keep the faith. He has the um, he has the uh the the go to image whenever you're having technical difficulties. Um. Mainly for when his uh his yeah, kids. we should have uh, the intermission music kids. from freaking Monty Python. <laughs> <laughs> and now for something completely different. Okay, well, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah it's like I, I've done that kind of stuff before. I filled in my um, a friend's entire, like, two-room house full of whole melons before. <laughs> That's not what I did. I, fill, I put TNT all over the freaking bottom of the base area because I was in the underground mines, and what I started doing was making a distraction and start dug a hole upwards and put it all throughout <laughs> the whole server for three oh. whole months. And just went, hi, oh. candle, smile face. <laughs> oh, and by the way... The, that kind of stuff would get you kicked. No, no, no. By the way, it has autosave feature. Right when it all detonated, it saved. <laughs> so can we say server fucked? <laughs> yeah, that... Oh, that that would be terrible. <laughs> By the way, I was on my computer and I had that song going da 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 da. Um. Okay. Well. Yeah, her connection keeps going round. Um. Hey Samantha, what's your Twitter so I can follow you? Yeah, that's I guess since there's a lull in the conversation, we we can um, do that. I can update the um, description with everyone's Twitter. Okay. It's Miss Random Fan. Um. Miss Random Fan. How you call that little e? Uh, yeah, the ad symbol, yeah, the. You mean like the ad symbol, yeah? Yeah. It's Miss Random Fan. I and there. Um, okay, I'm. I'm I can I can pull I can pull yours. Um. <laughs> the true leader revealed. <laughs> Samantha has one new notification, and it's from me. Are you back? What is that? Oh, good. Rachel's back. What? Well, what is what? Uh, there's an uh, image of Anita Sarkeesian, like the <laughs> Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my my internet crapped out. Sorry about that. Uh, oh, no problem. Um, what was it uh, Sakita Askeesian on Facebook? It's like no. a it's like a parody of um. Anita Sarkeesian, it's it's pretty funny. But they basically post a bunch of um, uh, inappropriate comments and, uh, oh. and comic strips of... Speaking of which... Hi, Mr. Dickel. Spe Look speaking of which, uh, I want to know if anybody <laughs> knows of a person named Dark Side Phil. No. Um, no. Not at all. He's a YouTuber on um, who does YouTube videos, and he's a fucking asshole, I'll just say that. But he was talking about Gamergate and was saying how it was useless and this and that. And then he starts complaining about how Gamergate attacked him on Twitch TV. <laughs> so this is like, my wish list? He starts saying, like, oh, they were attacking me on Twitch TV because I insulted all of them. And I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. No, they didn't. Mm. Mm. And he basically said that the reason why he left Twitch TV was because they were <laughs> the game was attacking him. So like, basically, pull the Phil Fish? Uh, <laughs> Phil Fish, 
compares to nothing to this dude. Dark Side Phil has his own Encyclopedia Dramatica. Okay. It is big. It is big. And why is he, like, he just complains about things? Yeah, he complains about things. He makes sexist remarks like, uh, oh, he gosh. got banned off of, uh, best, best thing, he got banned off of Blip TV for making a Nazi joke. Oh. Okay, but by the way, hey, uh, Samantha, I saw that, that thingy was like, nerd. Yeah. It was like, from, a, from a revenge of the nerds, like, further up, it was like, nerd. Do you want to see something funnier about that? Want to see something funnier about that? Later yeah. on in the Revenge of the Nerds, he becomes a nerd. Really? Yes. I've seen uh, Revenge of the Nerds 1, 2, 3, and 4. In number 3, he becomes a nerd. How, how does that happen exactly? What does he get interested in? Uh, I think it's in number 3 or number 2. I'm not sure exactly. I know. Basically, what happens is the leader of their group calls him a freak and this and that and makes fun of him and insults him for the fact that He's just as bad, if even worse, than the nerds because he's just a big huge. Uh, because he has no intellect of anything else. So yeah. Oh, but, but that makes him more of a uh, what do you call, what would you call it when? But he he doesn't really. So basically, you're basically they, he's an outcast for for all that stuff, right? Yeah, for all and that stuff, but. but then, but he only did it, and he basically in that whole whole movie, it basically is described as he only did it just so he could be their friends because he thought that was the only way to make friends. Huh. He's basically a person that was, um, you know, not really smart in the brain. Wow. And then later on in the third, uh, I think it's the third or fourth, third movie, um, or fourth one, he uh, becomes really intelligent. That's that's odd. Yeah, you need to see them. They were planning on making another one. They made like four movies. I've seen all of them. I watched the. I've always watched the first one, but I saw the second, third, and fourth one. It's pretty good. Yeah, I didn't watch the other ones. I only watched the first one. Oh, you need to watch the others. They're really have you good. Seen, have you seen this thing? That's really a silly. Time bomb. <laughs> Instead of a tickling, 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 a yeah, I mean, it, and they were already making excuses about it, like saying, oh, if he hadn't, like, he was a secret Gamer Gator. <laughs> that's why they, wow. yeah, that's, that's the, the guy was a closeted Gator, a tickling time bomb risk for IGDA's image, and the GG autoblocker out of him. That's why it's Mr. Pickle. <laughs> That's just ridiculous what they're doing. I mean, we're talking about about professionals here, and they're just <laughs> the game of what world they is chicken. I I I just don't understand what these suckers are doing. I I really don't. I well, I mean, it's a stupid. It, what what's happening is it's a stupid retaliation. Debate. They're trying to save their subscribe their subscribing numbers by basically con uh, condemning everyone else who disagrees yeah, with them. Yeah, we're, we're beyond that point. There is no salvaging their fucking numbers at this point. Yeah, there, no, there, I there mean, really it's isn't. Work. It's not going to work. But you know, that's the kind of thing that they're trying to do. Well, it's not even that. They pretty much destroyed their careers, and they're not even. I'm surprised they're not even worried about that. Yeah, they they really have, and, and that's the thing. Nothing ever goes away on the internet. No matter what happens here, it's what? going to be well documented for all time. So the next time these these people pull this shit again, guess what? Someone's gonna pull some of this crap up, some of the really stupid shit that was said here, and uh, they're gonna regret this for a very long time. Well, <laughs> it's even it's even funnier how it goes because. Um, I've been around on the net for 13 years now on uh, the internet, and 
Oh my god, a sloth. That is actually one of my bucket list goals is to pat one of those things. <laughs> wait, wait, where, 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 where's the sloth? On the mounted screen, I'll, I'll present it to everyone really fast. Oh my god, what, what happened? I don't know what. Happened. It was so cute. It was a sloth. Yeah. yeah I don't know why I want to pet one. They're adorable. I want to pet it too and hug it, and I would probably lose my shit a little bit. <laughs> ah! if, if I were to see it, it is very cute. I I, I would love to, to make friends with a sloth. Yeah. Just videos, of, videos of them are just absolutely adorable. <laughs> oh lord, baby sloths? Jesus. Just, just ridiculous. Look, oh my gosh, a bucket of baby sloths is, is like the thing that will break me. I. Oh, wait, what, 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 what is this? <laughs> what is this? That? What's that? Who did that picture? I don't know. Whoever it... Oh my god, <laughs> They should probably... Not do that. Yeah. <laughs> That's the kind of thing that GG should not be doing. Yeah, but the thing of it this way, we scrolled through a whole bunch of stuff just now, and that was... The That's only... not even... Ju That's probably not even a person. That's probably a troll. Yeah. So wait, are we, are we, are we calling trolls subhuman creatures now? No. No. They're basically their own term of people who no one can That's actually common. say or at fault it but it, about anybody else. Wait, Allison is trying to make memes? God damn it, why didn't she tell me? <laughs> she yeah. did she never tells me the things with the things that she's trying to do. No, 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 you know what? Here's the best meme. Everybody do the flop. <laughs> if you've never seen ASDF, you are a noob. Why do feminists complain sexy things out of country but not white? I don't. I don't think she gets. I don't think she gets how this 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 meme is supposed to work. No. No. Her she meme is bad. She should feel bad for it. Yes, yeah, she Aww. should. <laughs> Sorry, Allison. <laughs> this is why she should have told me what she was doing. Oh my God. So what's up, what's up with the what's up with the hearts exactly? So there's I don't know. A, there's this organization I don't remember what it is, but um, it's one of those. Um, it's basically one of another one of those consultant firm, firms I think for um, developers. How many of those are there? I I don't know, but I mean at least this specific one. Um, Made the claim in their public statement that they were for inf they were for everyone gaming and they wanted to connect the gamer and the gamer and the um, developer oh, yeah. to create better games. And then when someone pointed out that they were, um, you know, they were blocking um, or w they were supporting the block of, um, you know, gamer gators, they were um, uh, they back backpedaled hard and said, "Well, we're not for everybody, you know. We're only for certain people." So, oh yeah. So now that's, everyone's that's, using their hearts to basically piss them off. That's bullshit. Yeah, they yeah. should have that. Now everyone's yeah. using their their logo to pit, to basically piss them off. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to find a template of it so I can, because <laughs> that would be fun. I mean, I've got. What I've is got up, to... Rosen? What is up, Stack? Hearts are my friends. Aww. I don't. You press Control F, and then a pop-up bubble will hit, and then you do, and it'll have a thing, and you type in it. That'll do Google searching under the block list. There you go. Don't keep the faith. Ah! What was that? Oh, God. God oh, Jesus is I think I think it was a uh, Carmen Carrera. Okay. Image. It was a vagina. 
I thought, yeah, I thought that, yeah, I was pretty sure that was a vagina. <laughs> Operation, boss dude. Oh gosh, maybe, maybe we should show a dick there. We shouldn't show anything. Oh yeah, lube. Best tapping material ever. Uh, what nudes? Post nudes. Post nudes. Operation post nudes. Uh, <laughs> either loop? or, it works. It's the best wrapping material ever. <laughs> yeah. I both lose. One. What? <laughs> Don't tell anybody that. <laughs> Not mine. <laughs> Not mine for the... For the... Oh, God, Otter, why? What, what, did he, what did he do? What did he do? What did he do? What did, what happened? He basically look at his post. He made one ten seconds ago, Rachel. Well, I can't open Twitter with, with the, this open exactly. I, I don't can... want this to be my avatar because it's an eyesore. It's basically the one of the heart. He basically modified his uh, Otter Jesus one to have the heart thing. Yeah. Oh gosh. And he doesn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no. Yeah, I'm only going with the GG uh, controller on the ice. I'm not doing anything else. Where's my dude? Oh yeah, I see the image here. Here I here I can uh, screen share it really fast. Oh, that was my dude. <laughs> <laughs> Really, Samantha? Really? <laughs> yeah. That was my list. Why? Because I like but. And you cannot uh, lie. Yes. I lie. There it is. There's Otter Jesus. Yep. Oops. Well, I think... Nope. Not what I wanted to do. <laughs> but, but, but Samantha, that's sexual objectification. Well, yeah. <laughs> Samantha loves squishy asses. Confirmed. Yeah. Once you go touch Otter Jesus' butt, he wants his butt touch. Yeah, Rachel, that's that's what they're discussing. Mm. Wait, wait, they're discussing uh, Otter Jesus' butt. No, no look, Otter, Otter Jesus. <laughs> they they turned Otter Jesus's avatar into the heart logo, and Otter Jesus isn't happy. Aww. He's like, why would you do this? <laughs> I don't want this to be my avatar because it's an eyesore. Oh god, it's it's so silly. It looks like an otter with boobs on its head. <laughs> yeah. Though you know, I it it, it, it could be you know salvageable a little bit. <laughs> I like yeah. the original one. I don't like the one with the Rogue Star patch. Mm. It's good. Yeah, Rogue Star's back, guys. So you know he's not he's not banned any longer. So. Oh my God, he's back again. So. Uh, to to say. You, we we don't have to keep putting eye patches on our avatars now. <laughs> I, I never put unless mine on there unless they're really cool. Yeah, I I don't know. I didn't have one on mine. Because I didn't think it, because I already had the, the game controller thing out on my head. Frozen wants to know what we're wearing. I'm wearing uh, pajama bottoms and underwear, and that's it. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm wearing a Sailor Moon t shirt. Uh, what am I wearing? Yeah. Yeah, sir. See? See? <laughs> nice. Yes, it's got it's like Fiona from Fiona and Cake from Adventure Time as as a Sailor Moon. You know, I'm not wearing a shirt because of my bad armpit. Bad? Wait, wait. What do you mean? What do you mean your bad armpit? Um, what happened that, oh, was I've been armpit. What happened was I've been sleeping for a couple of days and then what happened was my armpit was really bad. Now I have like three red like lines across it from apparently a dog scratching it. So I got like a like it's like really bad, kind of red and all that stuff. So I've been putting like bag bomb on it each day. It's been hurting like crazy for 
two days or so. I had to shave my armpit to check out to see if it was infected, and my mom had to poke it with a needle to see if it was hurt oh, like yeah. hell, but yeah. Um, not infected. I've been putting petroleum jelly on it for the past couple of days. One line are, is uh, starting to disappear, but my armpit is now gone to the point to where it's peeling off dead skin. <laughs> like a smoke. Manly stuff going on here, you know. <laughs> this, like man, men don't even cringe about that. Just like, yeah, it's just this. I'll just peel it <laughs> off. And no, actually, I'm just gonna go take a shower as soon as this is all done and over with. Well, people Whoa. cringe at different things. I mean, when a girl has this, if women don't cringe, men do. Eh, that's nothing. A guy will basically have the biggest scrape on their legs or arms, and they'll start po uh, poking holes at it to it goo out all the gush and pus out of their arms and stuff. I I do that too. Sometimes. No, which one are you talking about? Are you talking about just regular scabs and stuff? Oof. Yeah. Do you ever yeah, see that like yellow infection stuff that you don't see in the thing? Yeah, guys do that where they poke it to the ooze and then and then squeeze it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen the ones where where people like will pop sebaceous cysts and shit? On yeah. yeah. Oh. I've seen one or two of those. I was like, nope, no more. <laughs> uh, nope, 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 nope. I need. I, I think the most uh, thing that I said cool at, but everybody was all horrified at, was when I was walking around the neighborhood and I saw a homeless guy get hit by a train. Oh. I just saw him splatter and go everywhere, all over the place, guts and stuff, and I was like, cool. <laughs> did, you, did you call the cops? I've seen. Uh, uh, no, she's dead, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, the cops were. He was. Uh, he was they have to away. clean, dude. I mean, it's, they have to clean. Yeah, no, it was uh, interesting. It was like first real life encounter with almost a rated R movie slasher. <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> and, and the horrifying what? thing was, the bad thing about it was, I started getting hungry just by looking at him dead. <laughs> Yeah, Dude, are you, do, you, do you think you might be a sociopath? No. No. <laughs> no I, um, I go, there's this thing called a, a human, um, it's like human uh, hunger of a frenzy thing. It actually is an existence of it where basically people do get hungry. It's like half of the people who watch a horror movie after watching it will always get hungry or in the middle yeah, of it. Yeah, that happens to me when I watch zombie films. Yeah, see, it, it's it's just a thing, and it just do, and it's not even just in a it, it it's not even just the purpose of it being a film. It's the purpose of seeing something violent, something happening, and you're getting hungry from it. It's, you it's, it's, it's a human instinct that basically goes around. That's the reason why I said that there will be a possibility that at one point in our lives that we will eat each other when we're uh, just to survive. Yeah, do you eat your nails? Um, I used to bite my nails. Because I don't anymore. And that's a, that's a sort of kind of thing of eating yourself. Yeah, it's a, my biology teacher said that that was a certain kind of cannibalism that you have like can cannibalist like cannibal. Yeah, cannibalism. Kim said another one, blood sports. That's also another reason it would be a thing where people would watch people would get violently beat the shit out of each other and eat. It's also the same thing with wrestling, gladiators, um, boxing. And interesting enough about gladiators, when they saw grown men fighting each other and killing each other, they'd have sex on the podiums when they were watching them kill them, kill themselves. So, yeah. <laughs> the more you know about what? history and life and where we've come from. And how, and, how much, and how ridiculous it is for people to say that things are worse now than yeah. they were back then. No, no, no. You know what's even more weird? If you talk... Uh, if, you, if you want to know what's even more interesting... SJWs know how they say they're all racist and this and that about what we do? Do you know that they actually have tried um, multiple times throughout the generations to try to destroy art and culture? Uh, yeah. yeah. Back, way back yeah. in the day just because it looks sexist to them? Yeah. That's what they're well, doing I mean, now. Well, I mean, they used to... I mean, the Greeks... There was a The reason why we don't have a better collection of, Gre of actual Grecian, you know, <laughs> thatchery is because it was, you know... Uh, destroyed because it was her heretical. So. Yeah, they cut the penises of the statues. Yeah. 
And, they and the heads off of some people. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, actually, uh, most of the people that they busted the heads off of were women. Mm. But they co that's the interesting. They said that the Vatican has a collection of mar like a marble penises because all of the penises they cut to put like the little leaves on the statue, so they you couldn't see the genitalia. Mm. And it was mostly penises because it was like it was there. Oh no no no! It's not. It's even. It's even more screwed up. Is if there were beautiful women statues that overcompensated over other statues, they'd grab a mallet and crush the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not even that. I did a lot of re a lot of interesting research when I was a teenager on Greek mythology and stuff. Found some really disturbing shit that per religious people would do. Oh yeah, and uh, did you hear? I think I, I'm trying to remember. I think it was like a uh, Kirk Cameron said that the pagans stole the, like Christmas. That's like complete <laughs> bullshit. It's the opposite. Yeah. To be honest, cr Christians Christians actually... stole from the pagan ritual, right? Yeah, that's true. The tree, the the decoration of the Christmas tree is a pagan ritual of the creation of trees. I think it's Norse. It, no, it's it's more of a German thing. Actually, the Christmas tree is a uh, German, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, yeah. Whereas there's a lot of other traditions. There's Saturnalia. There's uh, the winter solstice. Lots of different. Uh, there, there were a lot of different festivals that happened around the same time, and they decided, okay, you know what? We're just going to make an amalgam of this stuff so that people are more likely to feel like they can join uh, Christianity, so that because then they won't miss out on all the lovely little celebrations that we previously didn't yeah. support at all. And, and the real true birth of Christ was on the day of Easter, which was actually <laughs> wrong since the birth of Christ was on the day of Christmas. But, hey, who's wrong? What? Well, well, the, we, there, there well, is the no... Birth, we don't actually know. We don't actually know. The, 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 date, is, the date isn't known, but it, it's sometime I saw, you know, I thought I think I've seen, like, at more or less accurate or accurate as possible estimates that like put it sometime in March. Yeah, yeah me, me too. I heard I heard something like that more towards the, um, you know, at least closer to summer rather than winter. Yeah, they I say think, uh, some people greatest. say in June, like the equinox, like the like the solstice. Yeah, something like that. The only thing that I'm kind of blown blown at is they actually found a piece of the. Cross of Christ. That blew my fucking mind that they actually had it, a relic of that. Uh, well, there's a lot. The thing about about relics is that they're they're most of them are fucking forgeries, and and I would say, or maybe even all of them, because what's happened is that th there's a lot of money in the relics business, and there was even back in uh, the fucking Renaissance and stuff like that. But back back in medieval times, there was a lot of money in in, in relics. To, to get people to come to your church and and give money and stuff like that. Well, and spend money in the, well, and spend money in you know towns. You didn't get people traveling thousands of miles to see you know insignificant artifacts. Yeah, so and no one you, really gave a damn about him either. In one sense, it was just really in fashion to go on pilgrimages and shit. So. You went, you went, and you went on the pilgrimage and stuff, and and people had, had it, oh, this it was this and this saint or whatever, and this we had uh, this person's bone and or something, you know what I mean? It was stuff like that. So you it's, it's are, I have Jesus's penis, behold, in his glory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you laugh, but that's exactly how it fucking is. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, and they did this with, I mean, even. I mean, even like you know, they have like Galileo's finger in, in Italy, <laughs> so it's like you know, it it's a really bizarre practice. Well, yeah, it. well, it's already been or confirmed Jesus that foreskin. Uh, Jesus foreskin. Yeah, it's already been confirmed that the Vatican holds a lot of information and relics and stuff, and they refuse to show any of them, like any. Oh yeah. Because and if you were to, if you were to actually look at it, you'd find that it was probably some other dude. Yeah, and um, it, there was a there's a movie if you've ever seen it called Angels and Demons by uh, with uh, oh yeah, but... I forget well, who it is, but it yeah. shows this one place that's the only interesting thing about it is 
They go into the relic information documentary department where it shows all these old books that were thousands upon thousands of years old in a certain climate change. I wouldn't be surprised if that actually exists. But well, been... actually, there, there, there are massive... Um, okay, from what I understand in terms of the Vatican, it's like a fucking fortress. They have tons and tons and tons of documents that the public is not allowed to see ever. Oh, yeah. And... It will never see the live day, and I would imagine that some of them would have to be climate controlled because of their how old they are. It's really old, like really. Yeah, um, I wouldn't be surprised if they have some rare shit that could fucking doomsday the whole planet. Um, what do you mean rare shit? Like as in as in what? As the covenant, as the ark of the covenant. No, ark of covenant is thrown in a pit. Smart move in my defense on that one. Well, there's 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 at least one place that well, the the mo the oldest depictions of um Jesus that is the um that that is the um more Greek depiction of Jesus with short hair and looking more like Apollo um is at the Vatican. It's just it's in one of the catacombs. You just can't go see it because well, if you breathe on it, you know. It's it would flake off. Yeah, um, here's here's an interesting thing. Um, okay, what was I gonna say? Yes, there is one church that claims to actually possess the Ark of the Covenant in Africa. I'm trying to remember yeah. which one it is. Ethiopia. Yeah, but no, but nobody, but nobody is allowed to see it. It's it's yeah. it, it's in Africa. It's um, I'm trying to remember. I think it was like Nigeria or something like that. Ethiopia. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Ethiopia. Ethiopia. It's Ethiopia. It's, That's the one. It's because of the relationship. Uh, supposedly, it's because of the relationship between the King Solomon and mm -hmm. the Queen of Sheba. Mm -hmm. And he, she's supposedly the one that has to uh, actually take care of that. I think uh, Solomon said well, to she. Solomon. Uh, it's um, it's not King Solomon. It was a uh, King David and and oh, Sheba. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. And um, but but yeah. Uh, after after the death, yeah. There's there's supposedly had head ties to Ethiopia. Yes. Um, and I I don't know. I mean, basically they won't show fucking anybody. So I <laughs> I I'm already fucking blaming there. someone. Might be dumb enough to open this son of a bitch. Well, yeah. okay. Well, okay. The original Ark of the Covenant. Um, I don't know if it was supposedly supposed to melt off your fucking face, but no. <laughs> basically, basically, but it, but there were a lot of weird things that they said that it could do, like massive electric shock, or if you touched it, you could die. Yeah. But basically, uh, it's described as it's a big, huge, freaking electrical storm thing. Like if you touched it, you would be blown away, thousands of feet away from it. It's like a freaking bomb, but it's made out of electricity. Yeah, and there's like uh um, like an EMP grenade, but worse. Yeah, yeah, it's it's supposed to be insane, but but you know what? I would love to see that. I would love someone to prove me wrong. That would be <laughs> interesting. No, <laughs> I wouldn't touch that. It's probably well, oh, well, no, no, not not that. It's just. I think that to some extent, people all really want to believe in some yeah. of the, cra the crazy shit because it would make the world a lot more interesting. Yeah, but then, um, then there's also the thing of it, what if it doesn't do any of this stuff? What if it's just a damn box and someone touches it and it just freaking falls apart? Well, that's true. It could just be a box. What I'm trying to say is that I think... You know, I think that a lot of people would like certain things to be real, like ghosts and... Like the idea that I actually had somebody ask me on Tumblr, "Do you believe in ultra terrestrials?" Like, what the fuck is an ultra terrestrial? <laughs> and so, so I look at uh, well, those uh, terrestrial uh, beings. Uh, that's really that has been confirmed. Well, okay, for years. yeah, okay. So, so I look it up, and it's this weird theory about aliens living among us that are like they're super advanced to the point where they can alter human perception. And that they are living among us. I said, okay. I'm like, it's like, okay. Here's the thing: is could it happen? Is it possible? Maybe. Uh, is it likely? likely? Fucking no. Because because okay, is it possible for there an elephant to be in my driveway? 
Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, and then Russell's, but is Russell's it teapot. Right, then you get to, to Russell's teapot, essentially. Yeah. What do you mean? So then... The, the, well, there could be a floating teapot in space, but unless you have, you know, unless you have proof, you, we can't really know. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah. by that calculation, like they're saying that there are aliens among us, you could say, yeah, they're from Mexico. What of it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. No, but what they're saying... You correct ultra, them, ultra man. Advanced. Why did you think that? Shit, I would have. But they were saying ultra-advanced beings yeah, that I know, built I alongside, know. alongside human beings or whatever. From I know what they were saying, but you could have said, yeah, they're Mexicans. What of it? Because they like to do the work we do, but half the power, half the money. <laughs> I just, yeah. <laughs> true. You know it's true, Rachel, and you know it's goddamn funny. I would have done that. <laughs> no, that, 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 I don't know. I don't care if it's racist or not. That's what it's fucking true. Mexicans do ha do more work than we do, and get half. Well, they the do money. different. They do different kinds of jobs than we do. I always thought it was weird though that people doing manual labor got paid less for manual labor, and people in desk jobs got paid more. That's that's kind of a weird yeah. thing because we're talking about like sometimes back-breaking labor where somebody is basically destroying themselves to put food on the table, and that's something they will never get back. All right, hold on. I just put you on the there. There. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got this little piece of carrot out. Yeah, okay. $5,000, please. <laughs> well, it, it, it's just different, you know, economic well, I'm not measure. talking about... No, no, well, no. You're even more that. fucked up about that, about teeth, doc, uh, teeth dentists. They're doctors. How the fuck are they a doctor? <laughs> You have to get like medical training and stuff. It's just not the same kind of medical training you would get to be a medical doctor. Yeah, I know, but it's still being called a doctor. That's difference. Yeah. Okay. Well, and here's the thing, though. There, there's, there's a lot of malpractice that happens with dentists, and you don't see nearly the pushback that you would if it was a proper medical doctor. Ah, my friend Nemo Taco's birthday is today. Well, I haven't been seeing him for a couple of years, so whatever. I mean, a regular doctor, if it's something's going to hurt, like, they, they fucking put you under. <laughs> In this situation, when it's a dentist, they're like, um, we don't have to put you, we don't have to give you anything to numb the pain, basically. So, so I found the I found the the heart post. What, why everyone's doing the doing the heart? It's because of this image here. You want games yeah. to be a space where everyone feels welcome. <laughs> I think critical thinking in games should be applauded. We want to play all kinds of games made by all kinds of people. We think games are for everyone. And then it says want to join us. And then what does it say? Use a heart icon. Oh God. And then when and then um, the the um, note the text underneath then which was added later says if you are supporting Gamergate I truly believe that you have damaged our community with your actions for years to come. Oh wow! And then um, the user who post who posted this um, on Twitter said I was afraid this would happen. May maybe the statement should be clear in in regards to in regards that some people are not welcome. Uh, wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so why are you saying? Why say that everyone is welcome? Don't say that everyone is welcome. Well, yeah. if you're not going to say everyone is welcome, then why are you doing a public campaign when you know the party line? needs to be, oh, we, we're inclusive. Yeah, so basically they want the illusion of being inclusive while really discriminating against a whole bunch of people because they feel like yeah. it. I'm just waiting for that one moment when the news press starts going on to the opposite side of anti-Gamergate. I'm just waiting. I'm like, I'm, just, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm like imagining myself happen. sitting behind back just waiting for, oh, you've got to know it. It will fucking happen. News industries do not like talking about the same topic by one by one side for fucking five and a half months. Well, no, but they, they, in all the mentions of Gamergate and the wider media, they've only been, only been momentary, and then they've moved on. Um, and at the same time, the things we're looking at, the, the tactics we're trying to um, discourage in 
in games journalism, they're using the same tactics. So it wouldn't be smart for them to support us because then they'd be saying, yeah, because uh, we're... Um, no, 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 we're we're not totally not terrible people too. That's doing the same thing. Well, they've already gone to the point to where a person named Steve got attacked, and I'm saying, okay, when's the when's the body? I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for the first body to drop. Yeah, but the he chose. I, I hate to say it, be horrible about that, but there will be a body that's going to drop, and then anti GG's fuck. Yeah, but what about the video? He said that he had video about his attack. Basically, he um he talked about it. I was there when they were doing it. He basically was uh, talking about um how he was attacked was all you see is punches and hits and him coughing and wheezing and stuff. And then you don't see his face. You don't see their face because you know a person's getting beat the crap out of right. So you'd be looking down or something while you're getting this, getting hurt. But he mm -hmm. so his fists and stuff, he's able to sit up enough, and he f and then this woman is filming him on a camera, being hit and stuff, like beat the crap out of him. Someone's fil and this woman is filming it, who's friends with them, and then she realizes he's filming them, and then she yells, <laughs> "Help!" Police, he's attacking us with a big fucking grin on her face. <clears throat> really? Yeah. Somebody needs to hit, like get that. He's already doing a detective um, investigation on it. Do they, yeah, did that, did that footage get get preserved? Or he's get got the footage preserved, and okay. it is with the detective. So yes. Yeah, because well, that's, footage, that should be case. Yeah, <laughs> the woman I mean, who basically I, did attack him, he did say gave him like so much money because of what she had did to get him exiled out of his own house, and he said that um, he basically said the first is she gave him the paycheck and he didn't trust her, so she gave him the paycheck that night, and he cashed it in instantly. He was there before the bank even opened and cashed it because he didn't trust her. Yeah, uh, but supposedly that video of her version has to be somewhere in the internet, no? No. No. I mean, if someone were to post that, she'd get she'd get put in jail instantly. And the white tape it. Basically, like enjoy uh, it? it's the same. It's the same concept of why why record something on a VHS tape to rewatch it. Yeah, well, well, people record all sorts of stupid crimes. You know, it's if it's they're not doing that. I mean, you can find criminals who you know put, gloat about it on Facebook and then not realize realizing that the police can access that shit. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why, um, if they did do it, and they are being dist uh, um, investigated and they find their version of it, they're even more in trouble. But if they don't have their own version of it. His version will still get the, those those girls arrested for assault, which would which will be good. Now, can will that drag back all the way to Gamergate though? Is yes, it would because it happened right after he was in an interview in a news or news news place talking about Gamergate. Ah. It happened right outside of a news office thing. He said. Well, oh well. And these are people that are SJ SJWs that attacked him. Well, maybe. Hope I mean, I hopefully the media then reports it. But I mean, it's highly could... in It's highly doubtful that they will. That's the reason why I'm saying, since this has happened, because I did not expect it to go that far. Since this has happened of an attack on a gamer gator, there will eventually be a body. Because once there has been a fight that has broken out under something of an, uh, of uh, two factions um, arguing to each other and there's been a person that has been hurt, the next thing that will happen will be a dead body. Oh. Not like for real? Yes. That always happens in a confrontation of two factions. It's, it's, na it's natural. Oh, I, I, I hope not. I mean, I... I, I mean... 
You're, this is the internet. We are fighting over internet sources. That's yeah. Not... That, that's the thing it was supposed to be, but now it's gone to the point to where a guy has been attacked who's a gamer gator, and has been evicted out of his house and been beaten the shit out of. Yeah, that guy's so homeless from what I heard. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. Oh, well, yeah. we, we, should, we should find out. Far with uh, with SJW. We should I find mean, out where he is and find and get him a place to stay. I've heard a rumor, yeah. of someone saying that he's in a new place, but I don't know. I tried to. Uh, the people kept talk, talking to him to talk to that one porn star woman because she offered him a place to live at her place. Which one? Which one? Uh, her name starts with I think C. Uh, Carmen. Yeah. Carmen? Yeah. Well, yeah, because seriously, I mean, if it was, if it was, um, if it was anywhere near here, I mean, I, I would probably try to talk to my mother and let someone sleep on the couch, but it's like, that's a ridiculous situation, you know? Yeah, well, he was living with his roommate until he said, this is my last day when he was on there, and then he said, and then um, the next thing that I heard that was on Twitter was that uh, Right before the day I left was it that he announced that he was homeless. Well, yeah. and the police, and if that's the case, I mean, police should really, police should really be involved with a case like that. I mean, well, it's even worse onto that because the day the, the day before it happened, where you got attacked, that same person who was an SJW got him kicked out of his own fucking house, even and he paid two months in advance room rent. Wow. Well, how how the fuck did how how the fuck did they did that person get them to do that? I don't Wasn't know. Was his girlfriend? I I guess that yeah, you could have enough people in the in the apartment complex if voted, they can kick a person out like that. It, it I didn't understand the whole video details. I just thought it was all bullshit that he got kicked well, out of his it's, house. It's very you know, easy. All you need to do is tell them that you have a bad history or something. All all you have to do is say something like. Oh, I rented to that person or something, or I used to date that person. And they're violent to women yeah, or something. Yeah, I heard that he. Somebody said that he was he's supposed to. Uh, who, uh, what he thought that he was her uh, his girlfriend and his and her friend who beat him. Or I don't know if it, they were they weren't. Strangers. They were people he supposedly knew. And then shame. So shame on that landlord for you know, letting bad blood kick someone out. Yeah. I think it's beyond bullshit. But I did. But I do think that that. But but I do think that because SJWs have never been attacked by a GG or, as far as I've learned about it. But it's now that SJWs are now attacking gamer gators. It's like it's it, like I said. It's only a matter of time. It will happen eventually. Yeah, I think they're attacking us probably because they know they're losing. They're losing so bad that yeah, like they, they said, like oh, desperate. we're gonna dox you, we're gonna threaten you, we're gonna give you dead animals, and it's like Milo got a dead animal. What do you do? He threw a fucking away without even opening it. Kind of probably pissed a lot of people off who were part of SJWs, and it was like. Oh, what did we get? Uh, oh, we got pizza. Okay, cool. We eat pizza, and it's like, oh, we're gonna show your personal information. So who the fuck cares? Oh, we live in this city, this state, and this is our name. Whoop de do. Well, um, I, mean, I mean, there is a thing called personal privacy, but it doesn't really fucking matter because we live in goddamn countries where it's like, oh, you live here, cool. And then what happens is when they dox that person, gamer gators give them a shitload of crap because of it. Yeah. So who really fucking wins in that tobacco of doxing? Well, the fact that someone has their someone has their um, personal information and can use it that's still dangerous. The fact yeah, that's that still dangerous, but that's even more against the law, and they'll go to jail for life and imprisonment for using it. Well, if they send like you know a bomb or something. Well, yeah, that's... If they send a bomb or something, then there will be an extensive investigation on SJWs and then on Gamergate, and Gamergate won't be involved with it because it'll be somebody in Gamergate who has died, like I said, if a body hits the floor from that, and then they'd be going, instead of it being about um, 
uh, justice and this and that about uh, a- anti gamer gators being supported, it'll be anti gamer gators being questioned of why they killed someone in Gamergate. I don't think that. And, oh, and, and, I, and, I hope, and I and what I can hope is you know just coming from the fact that the perceived threats um, from um, two people like Brianna Wu and people. Um, where they've extended extended it beyond to basically all Gamergate, that we wouldn't turn around and say, oh, the, such and such a person was, you know, murdered because of their view of, you know, Gamergate. So all anti-Gamergate is, you know, you know, its own faction. We are not a part of it. Yeah, they'll do that shit. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. I won't be surprised about that. that. But what's even more interesting is, I can call them out on their bullshit on that because if you notice something on their news industry outlets. Both Anita Sarkeesian has promoted her YouTube channel, and Brianna Wu has promoted her, her video game. So what the fuck does that mean? They're promoting themselves under the uh, circumstance of a fight against two radical extremists, and they have no concept of the fact of somebody dropping dead? Yeah, that's bullshit. Right. I, I mean... Guys, I need to go to sleep. Yeah. Uh, well... Yeah, it's nice, talk, she... it's nice talking to you, Samantha. So yeah, it's yeah. two uh, like two two thirty in the morning. So oh yeah, you oh, should I go see. get some sleep. Eleven twenty four p.m. here, so I'm rocking it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of kind of late for me, so I'm gonna see you. I don't know next week. I don't know. Next okay. week, um, next week there it's Thanksgiving. I'll be with family, so oh, okay. um, if oh, if someone yeah, so if someone's hosting a oh, show, shit. great. Um, but if I'm not going to be hosting the show, in fact, I'm probably going to be offline. At All right, uh, Samantha, you uh, uh, let's see. In a couple of uh, like tomorrow, a couple hours behind this, around nine something, which is in like. Three or four hours, Otter Jesus will be casting there. All you have to do is send him. Uh, uh, you all you have to do is follow him, and if he follows you, ask him to put you in the thing, and you can hang out no, with me, Rachel, I, and him. Yeah, but I need to. I have to work on Monday, so I cannot stay too late. No. Well, yeah, but I tomorrow's sa- to... Sunday. It won't be Monday. It'll be Sunday. Today's uh, Saturday. Today is well, Saturday. for me, it's Sunday. Well, then it's Sunday, to, uh, so it's today. Yeah, but uh, I need to do other things. I need to do my thesis. Oh, okay. Yeah, she yeah she she has some she has work to do. So. Okay. All right. I that's why I like say like Saturday and Fridays because I don't have to do anything the other okay. day. Okay. Well, so I'll we'll see you. We'll see you soon. Yeah, all you have to do is just message us and say, hey, I want to talk to someone. I can easily boot up a Skype call and you can talk to me and Rachel or anybody if you want to. Yeah, okay. if, you, if we put you in the, if, in the hug uh, the hug chat. Yeah, that could happen if she wants it, but it'd be like she'd be DR, uh, like, messaged every freaking day because of Max and me and Mole. Yes, uh-huh. and me. Okay, so I'll see you. All right, have- okay. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. We love night. you. Hugs. We love you. What a nice yeah. lady. Yeah, like. I always thought Jesus was here because I sucked at that. Otter <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jesus is so ad- adorable when he does it. He's like, Otter oh, Jesus. Like, Jesus loves you. Yeah, I can't, you can't even do it. It's so freaking funny and adorable how he does it. He's so cute. I like how he tried doing the hashtag of touching my butt. That was so fucking hilarious. Oh gosh, the thing is, is like I'm a, I'm a strong otter, independent otter, or something <laughs> like that. And he had like the bikini one. Oh, <laughs> I just seen that. Oh. Bikini otter, bikini otter. And the people who are saying that I have an anal fixation, uh, that's lies and slander. <laughs> <laughs> I said slander. Yeah, but I, I I do think that's gonna happen, even if I don't want it to. I, if if there's been an attack on Gamergate of a person well, being hurt, harassed, it's gonna happen. And, and if, if it doesn't if happen, there is, there's gonna probably be more people getting hurt and harassed and stuff. And if and if it does happen, I just I 
just hope that Gamergate has enough sense to not blame, you know, all of anti-Gamergate, but, you no, know. No, no. However, they are insta... Uh, Anti-Gamergate is involved, but that person is under its own rights of it, and I do be under that tone, but there are going to be people on there on Gamergate, and I know there are, that are going to harass and bully Anita Sarkeesian, Zoe Quinn, and Brianna Wu. Well, I'll, I can tell you exactly what will happen, though. If something like that happened, what will happen is the thing that feminists and SJWs always do, which is that they'll say, oh, well, they weren't one of us. Um, you know, we're, we're not, yeah, we're not all like that, but yet, and yet, when we try and explain that not all of us are, are doxing and harassing people and trolling people and hurting people, they say, oh, well, you can't make that argument, it's happening there, you need to take responsibility for it. Well, we are. And yet, they just, they still don't care. Yeah. We, we, we are going around trying to police people, trying to handle... Like if we see harassment, reporting it and stuff like that, we are we are doing that, and yet that's still not enough. That's more than they've ever done, and yet they will do that. That's exactly the thing that'll happen if somebody dies as a result of the social justice warrior involvement in anti gamergate That's that's exactly what will happen. They'll say, they're like, oh, well, yeah, they, they were us. They were just alone, crazy or whatever. That's what they'll say. It's Which yeah, not... of course they're I, of course they're going to be hypocrites. I can I can just I just hope that you know. Uh, That's what'll probably cause uh, the crazy the insanity to take place because they will do that shit. That's their mo. That's what they do. They don't take responsibility for anything, even when they are directly responsible for something. Yeah. The... Uh, double standards with that. Uh, um, drop the plate, the and they're like, hypocrites. nope, they had nothing to do with it. Like I said, they, they take responsibility for nothing, and then the things that they do take responsibility for oftentimes are shit they didn't even accomplish. Yeah, it, it'll be interesting, this this whole thing that goes down. It'll be very interesting. Because, because here's, the, here's the thing. They always try to make the argument that, they, that feminism and stuff like that fought for women's rights. No, well, I'm here's good. the thing. You aren't those feminists, okay? You aren't those women, okay? What the fuck have you done of merit lately? Yeah, I mean, what have um, you done I for mean, me uh, lately? feminist is <laughs> under the organization of an uh, is a uh, an act of oh uh, god, what is it called again? It's under the thing of um. It's an umbrella an term for rights movement. There it is. It's an act of rights movement. They are using it as a, as an, an act of rights for me. Well, yeah, they, they use it that way, but always the, the excuse that they give for why, why you need to support them is because, well, look at all the stuff we did in the past. Well, guess what? All the people that accomplish it, they're dead now. Why yeah. do I need to support you guys? <laughs> I mean, okay, th this, is, this is the argument stripped bare. A lot of people will say, oh, that I'm going really easy in this argument. Uh, well, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to go from their perspective where they say, that feminism accomplished voting rights and shit like that, and I can tell you that they didn't. But if we go from that perspective, you still aren't those people. You aren't the ones who did that stuff. Yeah, what no, have you done? Lately? They're part of it because they're the new generation of it. Yeah, like, they're going to say what is your new generation they, they done. Take, they try to take chaos. They try to take responsibility for that and say that they that they're helping by proxy. That, that somehow they own the deeds of people who came before them. Yeah. And they don't. And it's it's the same shit when people try to take pride in, I don't know, uh, I don't know, being a part of a certain heritage. You weren't those people who did all those wonderful things. To prove yourself, you have to do things of merit. You have to do things that are, are worthy of mention. Otherwise, you're fucking useless. Yeah, it's you, just you, like, you can't yeah. wear the mantle. You can't wear all of their accomplishments like an outfit, okay? <laughs> like armor in an attack. Yeah, let, let's just say that they do, do do succeed what they do, which is... I don't know if it's, it'll happen or not. Let's just say that they win against Gamergate. They'll talk about it for freaking centuries to come, and then when they drop, before they drop dead, they will realize that's all they have accomplished in their whole life instead of doing something else with it. 
But well, of course they'll know. do something else and think, yeah, I'll do this as well to to change the world. It's like, it's like their their whole concept of, oh, it's it's all about it's all about um, women's rights and shit like that. And it's like, oh, we got to make women equal. And it's like you want to make women equal. You want to make sure that no one's sexist. Don't fucking talk about it. Shut the fuck up. It'll freaking eventually yeah. root itself out by by yeah, no one. Yeah, it really does. The thing is, people are always saying, oh my gosh, how can you be against feminism? I'm like, I'll, I'll fucking tell you. Capitalism has done more for women than feminism ever has. And I stick by that argument. You, you really start to think about it, and it makes fucking sense, okay? More, the more money that gets poured into the education system and, you know, public education and shit like that, that's done more for women in general than feminism ever has. You, we're talking about women being educated and knowing about their bodies and shit like that. That stuff came out of capitalism. You, you can't have that kind of, of system in <laughs> in all these other kinds of societies. It's just, it's just not going to work. It's... If if not for capitalism, you would not you would not see women flourishing the way that they are right now. And yet they they try to get feminism to take root in all these countries like the Middle East and and fucking in parts of Africa and they wonder why it doesn't stick. Because those people are trying to survive day to day. They don't have time to think about the fucking concept of sexual objectification or fat shaming or any of this other bullshit. You have to get to a, a certain point where the the upper class uh, women get to the point where they uh, where they're so spoiled that they start bitching about stuff like sexual objectification. That's that's feminism right there. That's that's what happens. You look at the suffragettes and shit like that, and what it was is that you had educated um, upper class women that were upset that they could not vote like their husbands, and their husbands got the vote because they went to war and they said, okay, well, since you're willing to die for your country, we're going to give you voting rights, rights that we previously didn't give you. So they gave it to the men who had to register for the draft, who had to fight in the war. And so they came back and the women were like, well, why can't we have the votes? Because you didn't fucking go to war. So they're like, well, we still want the fucking vote and we're going to go bitch and complain until we get the vote instead of arguing that everybody should have the ability to vote. Because they actually were opposed to things like uh, black people voting and uh, black women voting back then, at least the ones who were racist. And there were suffragettes who were members of the KKK, but they're not going to tell you that in your gender studies course. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They, they don't talk. About, they don't talk about that anymore. But note the fact that our generation, like they're they're the generation of the the racist ones on that uh, on African Americans. How do we well, feel about them? We feel equal. It? We feel really equal about them. And it's like that's done and over with. And now it's like, where the fuck did these feminists come from? They came out of nowhere saying, we need more privilege. And it's like you got enough privilege well, as it is. To, to, to hire them and now and then have them integrated into the workplace. And that's the thing. Stuff like that. Having people work alongside you, uh, be educated alongside you, stuff like that, that does more to have people have a concept of, you know, understanding of other cultures than all of these fucking movements combined. You, they're always talking about trying to promote inclusivity. That does more to fuck that up than anything. <laughs> It's when you try to force it on people, it doesn't work. People rebel against that. When you you put them together and then they just work that shit out on their own, that has staying power. Yeah. And they they really don't give a fuck about that. They want the illusion of that. And if you notice, it's still the same way as it always was, even back then. Because look at the fucking heavy hitters in Gamergate. In anti-gamergate, they're all fucking rich kids. All of them, every last one. The mm. the heavy hitters, yeah, all of them. And and you notice you notice that they all have fucking useless degrees too. Yeah. So so yeah. what it is is like they're they're the spoiled rich kids who work well, smart enough about, to go off and do their stuff. Like I know about the and the SJWs and the and the feminist things, and it's like all feminists. It's not even it's even the ones in the gamergate. If if there was no more feminism, their degrees don't hold up anywhere. They mount as a diddly pile of paper. Yeah, 
But they, they need stuff like this to be taken seriously because otherwise they they're, have they're, wasted they're, their life. Yep, and that's <laughs> the reason why. That is one of the reasons why they're pushing so hard on Gamergate and attacking nerds. And I even told my buddy about uh, the thing of, uh, oh, God, which one was it? It was, uh, it was really fucking stupid. Um, something to do with feminism. God damn, I fucking forgot. Goddamn love that short-term memory. Yeah, but but yeah, it, th- this is this is really what's happening. Is it stuff like communications, gender studies, like social and political thought? Unless you're going to be a politician or some kind of uh, the thing about it is, is outside of being a politician or something like that, something like a degree in social and political thought doesn't fucking do anything. Okay, it can it can sit there in the corner and gather dust. Okay, now, someone, um, someone like Anita Sarkeesian has to make a fucking big deal about something that doesn't make a difference. Yeah, that, that's what I was going to bring up. Um, if you remember when she first talked about in her ethics studies department, if there is no more feminism, and basically you can see through her thing about her talking about the feminism rights movement and all that stuff, she's talking all dead serious. She's trying to motivate it to force it in their, their heads into it. And it's like... It, it, and it, it's like, I did this, I did that, you will understand it, you will listen to me because you will respect it and listen to it and acknowledge it and cram it in your head because I want it so because this is what I've learned and you don't know this and I know this and you need to know this because that is my law well, because okay. I every, learned it. Yeah, every single, every single talk Anita Sarkeesian gives publicly is different variations of I was attacked. That's 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 basically every single talk she's ever fucking given is like I've been harassed and I was harassed not because I'm completely factually inaccurate, but because I'm a woman and they don't like the women. No, they just don't like you, Anita. They just don't fucking like you because I, I they that smell a culture. Uh, at least when you, at least if you want to go with the. <laughs> go talk about, like, Ania Sarkeesian and people like that, they play on the ignorance um, factor. Um, yeah, they don't, a lot of people don't understand internet culture. Like, I think it's so damn yeah. funny when she did, when that Colbell report happened. I mean, sure, it was bullshit how she tried to get him signed in and all butt buddy and shit with him. But I thought it was funny how he, she was like, he was like, all right, name three. I, uh, 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 yeah. Misogyny. <laughs> Misogyny, That's all she said was GTA. I was fucking laughing. It's like, you could only name one fucking game, you stupid bitch. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, the, but I can think of a dozen the, games and I am part of Gamergate. <laughs> she's like she's like, Oh my gosh, you guys. Uh, I was I was abused and, and you know you guys need to need to pay attention to me. I just want to help women and make and make uh, games more inclusive. And, no, you fucking don't. I wouldn't be surprised don't. if half of her things that she's mentioned has happened in the past before she did anything in okay, feminism yeah. or anti-gamergate. Oh, oh yeah. I, I, t- to be honest, like everything about her background is really, really weird because mm-hmm. people like that leave a trail. Okay? They leave a trail of behavior. And there's not as much of a trail with her. So it's almost like... It's almost like it, it's buried... I mean, I, I, ha- I have an understanding of some of what it is because I, I have some, in- some inside knowledge, which I can't disclose, but it's... I'm really hoping that, that they do blow the lid off of it, but it's it's just... It'll be used I, as a last I, resort. Yeah, if it yeah, I, no, 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 I can't, I can't wait until it is exposed. It's going to be exposed pretty soon. The people with the Sarkeesian effect, they're going to expose all of the information that has been collected in, from all of their sources, and some of them are quite remarkable. Seriously, you guys, um, I don't know. I think this is going to be great considering their budget, because really they are running on a shoestring budget when it comes to, to movies, Okay, the, the, these guys did not get a huge Kickstarter payout. They really are on a shoestring budget, um, and 
but they have a bunch of sources. And the reason they decided to go and do what they're doing is because a lot of them were afraid to come forward otherwise. And this gives it almost a, a little bit of to just come out on their own with the information that they've gathered. It would just... <laughs> It just wouldn't uh, wouldn't be you know they might be attacked stuff like that on if they were just come out on their own and be exposed like that. It's uh, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, yeah there's some there's yeah. some there's some shifty stuff going on in her background, especially when um, it, you look into the teleseminar secret stuff. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, Stack, I was, I, I was saying something pieces. interesting. One of her things that no one's ever noticed is the fact that she almost wears almost the same fucking clothes every single time she's on a news anchor thing and on her YouTube channel and everything. Just put that in perspective as well. Well, I know where it clothes. actually comes from. If you if you take a look at it, um, I didn't watch the Sarah Connor Chronicles, but apparently um, a... Uh, a tough Latin woman did the makeup for uh, the, that one Terminator chick mm -hmm. and gave her, like, I think, hoop earrings and uh, did her makeup. And if you look at how her makeup was done and how that woman looks and you compare that to the way Anita looks, it's very similar. Oh, uh, no. So she rips off pop popularity status things. Yeah. Yep. Jesus Christ. She's well, a pop she culture. God, that's God, that's I hate exactly, those that's fucking exactly people. the way she looks. Um... I mean, Anita isn't Latin. She's Armenian. Well, it, yeah. it's just the fact that <laughs> she's doing that. That means she's a pop culture person, mean, meaning um, she's one of those popularity people that think they're above it all. Mm -hmm. So she, she, yeah, she's, she's doing her... appropriation. Yep, exactly. She's culture... Yeah, she's, she's doing cultural appropriation. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> all right, everybody needs to spam, po spam things like Legally Blonde and stuff about her. No, I'm kidding. No, no, no. Uh, but I'm saying there was a, like a tough, the tough Latin chick did that woman's uh, the Terminator's makeup and stuff or whatever, yeah, and the result that. of that I is. That, but that's just the. It's pretty much the aspect of popularity and stuff that she's doing it from. It's, if her, if her all atmosphere of her clothing line and all that stuff is atmosphere and popularity status, I mean she's wanting to be a pop culture person, like popular and all. Yeah, I, 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 that I don't know. I'm, I'm, it, it almost shows that she has. You look at her from a couple years ago, and she basically looks like a wreck. She's a gawky little thing, and she doesn't look like much... Uh, she's not much to look at or anything like that. She looks like shit, that's what you should say. Exactly, which is which is to say that somebody... That fixed, Lou so, looks like right now. <laughs> well, I'm say, well, I'm saying somebody fixed her up. Somebody coached her on how she needs to speak. And, and, uh, <laughs> oh, God, I got some congestion in my throat. I'm sorry. Exactly, exactly. Somebody, the thing that changed is she met Jonathan McIntosh, who has a shit ton of money and resources. And the thing is, is that with the money that he has with his family, you have to wonder why did they ask for 100, for, for that amount of money? And why, and the thing about it is, is that people who have money like that they know how they know all the nice little legal loopholes. Like one one that I discussed, and somebody who who has some mind as to what to do with money said that this was actually quite ingenious. Basically, you look at the way that she did her paperwork for filing to be a business because feminist frequency was not an official business when she ran her Kickstarter. She had not filed the paperwork. For that, she filed the paperwork almost a year after she received her Kickstarter money, meaning that she had an entire year to spend whatever she wanted on whatever she wanted. Okay, she could she could do whatever she wanted with that money until she had a legal entity to shove it into, meaning mm -hmm. that it's it's very possible that she had almost nothing left around the time she actually did her first episode of Tropes vs. Women. You know, it wouldn't be surprised if she basically got into a relationship and married John McIntosh and didn't say anything about it. Well, I'm saying, what I'm trying to say is that's entirely legal. Is if you don't have a business entity, and the thing about it is, is at that time it was also not 
uh, a legal nonprofit. It was not filed as a nonprofit either, meaning that all of the money that she received from talks and from everything, she could spend that freely up until the point that she made it a nonprofit. Now, as a nonprofit, she's supposed to file her paperwork and have that available for the public. I don't think we're, that shit's going to see the light of day. But the thing is, is that the way she did it is incredibly shifty. It's very sneaky. It's I get I can now take whatever I want out of this nice little pot, and I don't have to <laughs> pay it back, and it can disappear. So that's 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 my theory on what happened with the money because you look at the dates and the way and it only recently became a nonprofit. Um, the the paperwork recently went into effect I think this year, even though she filed it on in 2013. But she filed her business license in 2012 I believe, and she received her Kickstarter money in, I think 2011. I'd have to I'd have to check that back. But basically, she had almost a year before before it became a legal business entity. Also, anybody who wants to run, I mean, it, if you the thing about it is, is if you have the address of where the legal entity is, which is for public, it, it's available online. Okay, for the city of California. Yeah, I think it's kind of funny how she says, I was doxxed, and I bet you what happened was people just fucking lurked on the internet and found her. Yeah, it's, the thing is, it's on, if you were to actually go to where that is, you'd find something very interesting as all. Well. Yeah, if you went to my Twitter account, you could find where I fucking live. I live in Ottumwa, Iowa. Big fucking whoop. Well, <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of a big whoop, because... Uh, she doesn't live anywhere near there. <laughs> so? Yeah. She lives on the moon. But, uh... <laughs> I kind of think it's funny. If I was ever docs, I'd fucking laugh and it's like, good for you, you found my address. Congratulations, here's a cookie, because I already showed everything else. I showed my state and my city. Yeah, what did you find? Oh, you just found the address. Congratulations, here's a cookie. And all this stuff is, is available publicly. All mm -hmm. of this. All, all of this. The the address that she filed as her biz as uh, the place where her business is, everything, and it, it's it's on file. Yeah, it's pretty much like these people like uh, like Brianna Wu saying, "Oh, I moved out of my house. I'm in a different location." Note the fact that every single time she's ever made a fucking appearance talking about where that she's moved to a different location, she's in the same fucking place. And it's like, well, if you're in the same fucking place in a different location, people all they have to do is just check to see what, where you bought something, and yeah, you've you've been caught. And, and Brianna Wu has a history of being a compulsive liar, liar. just oh, yeah. being a pathological liar. Sorry. Well, I think it's kind of uh, funny how she, she uh, Yeah, the, basically a lot of people with their inter, internet detective skills have oh, found yeah. have found uh, pictures of Brianna in college and uh, people who discussed what she did when she was at that college and it's a lot of creepy stuff. Yeah, I, I read it's that. It's really, stuff really, about really that, about her uh, unsettling. It's That's very unsettling. Up. It's very unsettling. Uh, I think there was like a. They said that there was a restraining order placed on her because she got rather violent with um, the the newspaper staff. It what? Is she even got thrown out of a restaurant? Oh, are you talking about? No, that that was a different person. That wasn't actually Brianna. Oh, that, that wasn't? was. Uh, I thought that was. No, that was somebody else. The the actual stuff that we found out about her and her college days. Uh, and there's probably stuff dating back before then, shows her to be a very mentally unstable individual. Um, someone who had a lot of weird encounters with people where they, they stepped away feeling a little creeped out, uh, feeling that this person was incredibly unhinged. Hmm. Like, you know, could be set off at the littlest thing. So, so yeah, yeah, it was... yeah. S same thing with with Zoe Quinn, but they're all like these very, you know, well-to-do individuals. I don't know much about Anita. She's not really well-to-do. Uh, I think her mother owned a business or something like that. But I didn't really look too far into it because I didn't feel that that was appropriate. But 
But yeah, she, her mother and her parents and stuff like that—they have nothing to do with it. Please leave them alone. If if anybody out there is listening, D- don't yeah, I, don't bother. I would, I would recommend Please not don't. even talking to any of don't. those schools. Yeah, do do not bother anybody else who isn't fucking involved in this. Do, do not. Like it, it's, the only it's, it's reason not. why the investigation is going on with the E&M is because of what's what's ha- what they have done under their pretensions. So it's under the investigation of but. Uh, people under Gamergate are investigating under her because of what she said about them. It's not under the employment of harassing, it's under the yeah. under- undermining of fact. Now, and yes, only- we are making jokes and stuff like that from time to time on everything, including games and stuff, but that is not under the initiative of insulting them. It is under the initiative of laughing and not under in their faces. We do not want to insult them in that way of statement of we hate them. It's more around the lines we think it's bullshit what they've been doing. Yeah. It, the yeah. thing is, is that this should just be simple. It should just be that we could just, you know, go and play games unhindered. It should not be a problem. The idea that the, the fact that this is even a conversation disturbs me. It, it's it's utterly ridiculous that these people well, have gotten involved or or made this out to be more than it is. Are there social and political things that can be discussed about games? Yes, but when you you push this agenda to try and force people to be inclusive when they're already inclusive, it's complete and utter fucking bonkers. Well, and, never... and really, I mean, if she wants to play her little shadow games, let her play her little shadow games. I mean, if she thinks she's being all clever, well, we've basically proven that she isn't. Um, but don't start, you know, actually, you know, getting onto development teams, you know, like, like you know, Mirror's, okay, Edge yeah. to, Mirror's Edge 2 is going to suck now. Mirror's Edge 2 is going to suck now because, um, because of her. Oh, I would love to speak to the people that had to work with these individuals uh, when they were working as consultants or whatever. I, I really would like to because no, anybody. No, no, no. I, I think I think of it more as like this. You said that uh, she's she's working on Mirrors Edge too, correct? Yes. Yeah. So she, Good. She That's the best example of what they will do if that when that game comes out and if Gamergate is still around. Say this is what your JW uh, J uh, SJWs wants. And this is the reaction of what gamers decided on it. You can think that the SJWs think this is a great thing, but look at the look at the score and look at your outcome of how much money you just wasted and how much money you got from it. it yeah, and the, the fact that they're rich is, is only relevant because they keep making these arguments about there always being uh, some kind of corrupt patriarchy or something that is pulling the strings privilege. in society and yeah and privilege and shit like that and when they happen to be those things they happen to be the privileged motherfuckers they and that's that's kind of a weird thing i mean anybody who is a psychologist please please get on this because when you think about it what is patriarchy it's their bookie man it's their get out of jail free card Never done anything I've been, uh, corrupt I've been, ever. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, so yeah, I know. I, I haven't done anything, you guys. The reason why things are bad in this world is because patriarchy. It's not because of corrupt rich motherfuckers who are who are misusing their power and being out of control. No, it fucking isn't any of those things. Nope. No, 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 it's no. no. Patri- you really want you really want to try to do that with patriarchy and all that stuff? I actually did it once, and someone flipped the fuck out. I burnt a dollar bill, and someone flipped out because I burnt. Hmm? That's crazy. Oh yeah. See, that's the personality aspect of someone who doesn't understand. I burnt money before, and I don't care. I yeah, don't... they. If they... I had a hundred dollar bills, woof, gone in an instant. Wouldn't even care. It's like it's just paper. People hold too much uh, glorification for paper. Yeah, these people, they they don't understand that what they are doing is, they, there is no big fucking boogeyman. What it is, it's really fucking causing all this, these problems, is greed. It's that feeling that no amount of anything that anybody does can ever fucking be enough. 
they they can never be satisfied, and that's and that's really the embodiment of, of the current feminist movement. It's yeah. no amount of progress is ever enough. No amount of inclusivity is ever enough. No amount of acceptance is ever enough. There has to be more, 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 more. Yeah, it's that's the reason why I, I, I kind of get pissed off at this uh, about the feminist movement of things. Because it's like, what have they already gotten with the feminist movement? They got yeah, equality with men. They got jobs. Which, which you couldn't get in the 1950s, and you were mocked and criticized. You've been beating the fuck out for doing it. It was the thing of, uh, of gender uh, with uh, same-sex marriage and all that stuff. That's being fight for right now. Why, shouldn't the, why are they fighting about games when they should be fighting about that right now? Because that's the biggest point right now for women equality right now, the biggest one. And well, the, the, biggest one the biggest one would be the... Um the prostitution issue, and um, if at least if you were sex positive feminist, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. yeah, but I, I'm saying in our uh, that that is true, but it's it's more around the lines we're pushing for same sex marriage and all that stuff. That's the biggest thing that's going on right now. They can worry about us in a later freaking generation when we're all old or dead. Like, see how that would turn out for next generation? Because I guarantee you, the next generation would be like, whatever, and walk away from it more than we would. Yeah, well, the barrier to, to same-sex marriage is really religion, and and the the fact that the conservatives for a long time have attached religion to you know their end of the political spectrum, and that was probably their biggest mistake ever. You you simply don't do that if <laughs> it's it's really what is is holding everybody back. It, it it really is. There there's there's no really getting around it. Well, once and, the whole United States that. goes into same sex marriage, it's done. That's the last of it. Well, well, here here's the yeah here's the thing though. There's, I, I think it also has to do with the fact that they they give tax breaks, of course, for for marriage. But if suddenly same sex mar same sex people can get can get married, that that's a whole bunch of money that suddenly has to go to them. That they suddenly have to you know, give out of pocket. And they may not have that money to give. Well, don't the fucking straight uh, people um, get the money from the gay people? I mean, that's kind of hypocritical. I know. I know that's ridiculous. I'm not saying that, that it's right. I'm saying that's probably what's, what's going on in part of it. It's as well as the whole religious aspect, saying that well, religion is the sort marriage is between one man and one woman, and blah blah blah. I'm like, well, you know, to to be honest, that's that's only really a new thing. Okay, when we look at the history of marriage, and, and I've discussed this before, it's it's taken all kinds of different forms. And well, um, for generations, absolutely. it's kind of funny how they say that um, same-sex marriage has only been around for now. Er, wrong. Looking for right now, Japan. right now, in terms of what marriage is in the first world, currently what it is now is marriage is not a fucking religious thing. It's actually a legal contract as it is, as it as it currently stands. It's a blessing um, between two people who are in love. Oh, exactly. See, I, I I believe that. That's what that's how I feel. But right now, in terms of how the government views a legal contract, and that's a really big problem because legal contracts are incredibly difficult to get out of and it doesn't matter if you have a prenup or any of that stuff if you they can throw that out that means that it's it's incredibly difficult to it's a, it's an incredibly difficult situation to get out of and that's that's actually that actually yeah. doesn't benefit people in the long run in a marriage you want you ha want people to be there because they want to be there not because they're forced to be there and that's the problem with, with marriage being a legal contract instead of something... To me, what marriage is, is it's the experience of, of, being, of cohabitating, being in that kind of relationship, having to pay bills together, um, you know, going through all of the different obstacles. That's, that's marriage. It's, it's the actions, it's the things you do within that kind of relationship. The legal contract is just a fucking piece of paper, and, and that's, that's the thing. And I've expressed that before. I really don't. I really think they need to toss out the the legal portion of that. But the thing well, about it is, is at the same time, it benefits people when it comes to things like property, 
uh, the distribution of property and how you handle child custody, but even that's a mess. Well, and I mean, really, Mary, you know, of course I see, I'm more um, worried about marriage as the legal contract more than anything else, um, but largely because, you know, it, the law surrounding it is rather inept at actually humanizing people. Yeah, you know. it really is. If, if it comes down and it does get passed, it'll probably break down like a lot of walls. Oh, oh yeah, for it's going to... centuries. Oh yeah, it's going to break the system. It really is. And to be honest, let it let it happen. I. <laughs> If it does happen, I'll freaking celebrate because it'd be one closer. It'd be a big, huge then you have to, of freaking then you have world to, peace. It would. Well, you you then you then have to sort out the broken legal system. It, well, it really it really is broken in many ways because it's also biased in many ways. Well, if if it was the case, it would be pretty much um, the legal actions of what's been going on for freaking generations of. Um, of marriage, or when when uh, same-sex marriage is done and over with, the biggest hurdle will be the freaking Congress and the government. And once those are gone, the United States will become its one whole uh, equality thing. And then once that happens, that'll start a movement that will spin the world like a freaking. Well, that's, well, that's kind of that's kind of. Um... Well, because we're one of the most, um, our country is one of the most bigoted countries in the world. It has always been about uh, me, and if it's all, and if it turns in from me to us, the other countries wouldn't know what to think about that because they've always been thinking that, oh, the United States, it's just a fucking joke. Look what they've become. They're they're all about hating each other and stuff. If we we go into this thing where same sex marriage has been approved all over the world, we'll be just as equal in that department. But if we destroy our own government and the uh, the the way the government's laws are, they will not even be that close to where we would be then. Well, give, I mean, but the issue is really not is has really not been the process. It's more been the difficulties in executing the pro executing the process. That is to say, it's not been the theory that's been the problem. It's been the um, faulty. Practice. It's been the faulty application of the theory. Yeah, oh. the 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 judicial system has historically been incredibly biased. Uh, in in terms of well, it's very biased against first off people of color, and second off, it's also biased against men in general. Because when it comes down to a woman against a man. And the woman Man is saying, can't do anything out of respect yeah. and nobility. Well, it's not. Yeah, basically, the, but I'm saying that the judge will always favor, favor the, woman. the woman she, over the man. Yep. Basically, okay. And, and we were we were discussing this on Honey Badger Radio about I think it was a uh, yeah it was last show it was the Jody Area situation. She stabbed the man between 27 and 29 times. She slashed his throat. She then shot him in the back of the head, and I think before all, doing all that, she beat him up. And this woman, after being found guilty, is now going back to appeals to try and... And the thing is, she changed her story several different times. We know she did it. Uh, we, we don't know... I don't know if we know necessarily why she did it. Basically, she's kind of uh, crazy. Um... But the thing is, is that there's there's no denying that she did it. First off, and what's happening is they are going back to appeals because they had a mistrial in terms of sentencing because none of them felt that they could comfortably sentence her to life or to the death penalty. So they they felt uncomfortable with it. So now they're doing a retrial for sentencing. And, okay, and, she, and, and unlike and, a man, and the ridiculousness she has the right of that. It. Yeah, the ridiculousness of that situation is just mind-boggling. You would never see that happen when it was a man. Yeah. Never, yeah. never, never, never. She executed on the spot. She committed a, yeah, she committed a, a crime that is worse than some things that men have done, okay? It, it's 
there's there's no apologizing. There's no making it better. There's no there's no amount of, of domestic abuse that you could that you could suffer that would explain away the uh, the extent to what she did, which was basically torturing somebody. I don't give a shit what happened to you. You torture somebody, you belong in jail. You torture somebody, and, and then you 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 put them in a situation where it takes them hours to die? No, 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 not even hours. She stabbed the crap out of him and then blew his brains out. So basically, she made him suffer. No, no, she, well, she, she, yeah, she, she, she stabbed him several times, then she slit his throat. And then blew his um, brains wait. out. That's overkill. That she should have been put, sentenced to yeah. death penalty instantly. And if it she was, was trying, man, okay, you, you wanna you wanna know the funny thing? She was trying to argue that it was in self defense. <laughs> no, <laughs> not when you stab somebody so many times, slit the throat, and blow the brains out. That's overkill. Even if you did do that, the I mean, that I would be scared and wail on somebody and probably break their neck or something. But that's as far as it would go. And I, and I bring this up because it's like, what does a woman have to do? Uh, how how bad does it have to be before she, before basically the judge stops acting like um, like a white knight, stops acting with a benevolent sexism? How 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 what what does she have to do? Does she have to like behead like fifty people before they give her the chair? Well, I mean, it, I, I I mean, I don't believe in executing. People punishment, but I'm saying the fact that they won't treat a woman the same way that they treat men when they commit the exact same crime is is fucking bullshit. And it's been going on. It's rampant in our system, in our legal system. It fucking happens, and nobody's doing anything. It's just like uh, how um, when it comes to um, a guy putting in life life in prison for killing a man, and when it, in the same sentence of a woman. A guy has to wait five to ten years to do a reprieve trial to see if he's um, if he's okay enough to go back into civilization and stuff. While when it comes to a woman, they get half a year to a year. Yeah, it, it, it really is. It's just those. Yeah, it's just those kind of small things. Which is not so really right. Too. Where what? It happens so often too. I mean. Yeah. Just... Yeah, and even when a situation is where a woman. Or it's obvious that a woman has like raped a child. Guess what? She can be on the back on the fucking streets. Yeah, or, or the or the or the basic thing that it has been going on for freaking centuries, where if a man has sex with a woman, it, it's so it's okay for for the man to have sex with her. But if she calls rape, he's instantly put in jail for being a rapist when she's consistently had sex with him, and that's yeah. happened more than one occasion. Yeah, that that happens a lot more than people think, and well, it can at least happen, you know, um, you know, with with ev with you know with evidence on you know, on certain college campuses, which you know, is just a huge, it's a it's a huge problem considering this the male to female statistics. I on actually, college. I've actually uh, read one that was really funny where a woman said that she was a. Uh, Date raped because she ate the she had one of those date rape drugs, but she did it to herself and tried to get, say it was some guy just to try to get money off of him. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work, but it was still fucking funny. Yeah, I mean, some of the and, ridiculous claims that I've heard have been things like there was a woman who said that she was raped so that she could retake um, an, a college exam. There was a woman who had a, a three way in a bathroom with two guys. And then felt like really dirty about it, like a couple days later, and then said that she raped, that they raped her. And I mean, there, there's a lot of things, there's a lot of stories like that, where they'll they'll do this, and they, it, it doesn't have to be for a good reason. It'll be something like attention or, um, to get out of some kind of real really big problem, like they did, they did something wrong, where they might have to face consequences. And the easy thing is to just cry rape. And they so they'll do that because it's because it's an option that's available to them. And if you take the thing is, I really wish that you could just take that option away from them, and say by just holding them more accountable. And that's the thing: the fact that that option is even on the table shows that there's shows that what not only that women have achieved equality, they've they've got more rights than men in some situations. It's it's ridiculous. It, it shows that we're not equal. What's happened is. 
we've gotten to the point where we've given women enough power to point a finger and then suddenly that person, you know, their life is destroyed. It doesn't yeah. matter whether or not they did anything. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much, it's pretty much, uh, it's pretty much, it's not, it, and I don't know why the feminists are so mad about it. It's like they have, have so much over a man. Why would they want more? Yeah, they, they don't have to do much. All a person has to do is say something that they don't approve of, and if it's, um, if they know exactly where that person works, or, or if they have a, if they're they're within you know walking distance of that person's workplace, all they have to do is form a committee, an angry mob, and then start picketing outside. And suddenly that person's life is destroyed. They they can say anything they want. They can call that person a rape apologist, an actual rapist. They can say that they that they molest children, and that person's life is destroyed because now there's that suspicion. Those seeds of suspicion have been planted. And they're not going away, because now that person is all, all those other people are now looking at them, and thinking, "Could he? Could he be? Could you know? Is that person safe oh, to be it's, around?" Oh, it's already bad enough as this. I was talking about Gamergate in a freaking um, high V store, and how I was called a terrorist and this and that. Oh, everybody was looking at me, scared shitless and stuff. Really? That well? That quick? Yes. <laughs> Where, I wonder where you you know that sounds that sounds really. I live in weird. Iowa, bro, and I live in the center oh. of the region. Oh. So yeah. Okay, I, well I, Iowa. So okay, well. Like no offense. So yeah, <laughs> Iowa's garbage, and I already know. Even if these uh, feminists tried to say anything about me, they don't even have to goddamn st uh, try to even scratch at my door. All I have to say is talk about something, and then I'm always I'm already suspected. Even I, all I have to do is just start up a conversation about Gamergate. And they don't even have to even say a word about it, even on, uh, even in, even in my area. I'm doing the work for myself to destroy myself. Yeah, that well, if you live in a bad area, you live in a bad area. <laughs> That's the reason why I said welcome to fucking hell whenever anybody tries to come here. Yeah. Oh, I've always said that my area is Satan's ass crack. <laughs> I doubt it could be <laughs> this worse. Believe me, I've I've tried. I've actually been questioned for reading a fucking kid's book. For being a pedophile oh. once. <laughs> yeah, I was reading. I was reading that one, the very hungry caterpillar, from years ago. <laughs> and I was called a pedophile for just reading that damn book. Um, studying. Uh, studying for. Uh, no, I actually. Um, what happened was I even told him flat out. I forgot the book. I forgot what the book was about, and I enjoyed it. It was like a freaking 10-page, 15-page book, and they're like, oh, yeah. well, you makes you a pedophile. And I'm like, uh, I don't know where you get that from since I hate reading fucking books, and this is like the last, last book I've read for fucking years, so, yeah. Wow, that's interesting. I actually despise reading books, and I love archaeology. Go figure. <laughs> yeah, that is That is really odd. That's that's not a good combination, bro. No, Sorry. but it, it makes it but it makes it more interesting. That means I have a more abstract way of studying and investigating stuff more than you. Oh, that's true. That is that is odd. Maybe you should just like go off to Egypt and stuff and like start digging. Uh, there. I have a paranoia problem. Just just to, like just make it your your own personal Minecraft to be like, ah, we're just gonna go look for things. <laughs> I know I have a and I have I have an extreme paranoia problem. Uh, it's not even a joke. I mean, one day when it when I when it breaks from me, I could probably be the best goddamn archaeologist you ever see in the world. Did you, do you mean don't you, don't you mean like paranoid? Uh, what did I say? Par paranormal? Yeah. Oh, whoops. Uh, yeah, I meant paranoid. Thank you. <laughs> For a second there, I was thinking like, are you afraid of like Egyptian ghosts? <laughs> yeah. like, I'm not joking. Be. For all you know, a ghost could be raping you right now. I'm not joking. <laughs> I really ain't. I have a problem with it. Um, I actually have been in a fucking haunted house before. Not fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey Robert, you you remember ghost rape? <laughs> yeah. <it's not laughs> but, okay, for so, those of you who don't yeah, know, it, 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 there, there there always is that time when you get to a certain age where that stuff doesn't really fucking matter. Once I get to that fucking point. I could probably walk to Egypt and find the greatest fucking thing ever, or I could uh, discover something that could blow the fucking minds of people who basically been studying history for years. 
I am very passionate, and a person who's very passionate with something studies it a lot, <laughs> reads it, will be better than another person who just studies it. Just, just go be Indiana Jones. Just, just go do it. Fuck yeah! Let's grab that whip. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's <laughs> what motivated me. That actually motivated me to love history and stuff, and I found it more interesting than Indiana Jones and stuff. I am that person who would watch a 15-hour documentary and enjoy every minute of it. Mm, me too. Well, I'm, I miss when the um, I miss when the History Channel was nothing but like nine oh, hours of Hitler. And yeah. Me too. Oh my god. Do you know what's Why? interesting? Um, you ever heard of the public television channel? P yeah, PBS used to PBS, do that. PBS, yes, PBS actually still does it. You have to catch it really late at night, but they do it. And yeah, it's, it's really it's really I'm, sad yeah. what's happened to, to television. They should, you know, what they should just do. There should just be like a website that has like all of the older documentaries on like National Geographic Channel and like D Discovery Channel that's available for people to use as a resource. Well, I would rather I'd rather that there be a new generation of it where there'd be new generations of documentaries I would pay, on I mean, YouTube. Yeah, I, what I would do is I would I would pay money. To be able to have access to a site that had nothing but awesome documentaries on it, like um, you know what I'm saying that that were that were, maybe they could even make documentaries that were directly for that website or something, where you could and then that the per, the people the people who are making these documentaries still get money. They still up. get. We all do. Well, There's, actually, actually, um, PBS, um, on. PB on PBS, um, they they stream about like eighty percent of their programs, including Nova, including American Experience, including um, Doctor Who. Well, no, no, Doctor Who is BBC. No, 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 no. They do do it on PBS as well. Oh, well, yeah. uh, apparently Doctor Who, but you know all those old yeah, documents. Yeah, oh. I know that they do Doctor Who because they do it at late at night, around five in the fucking morning. Hero, do you like Doctor Who? Uh, I have tried to watch the first. I'm actually way. What, back what about the what about what, what, what about Red Dwarf? Oh hell yeah! I used Red, to, I Red Dwarf, I'm not so fun. So 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 much of a Ace Rimmer, what a guy. <laughs> um, I um. <laughs> I, I, I've, um, I've read. I'm watching the very first series of Doctor Who, the black and white ones. Yeah. I have seen the Ninth Doctor all the way through. Dude, you're, you're, you're yeah, in luck, man. They found a lot of the the lost episodes. Apparently, uh, I'm trying to remember where the fuck they found them. Um, they found they found them perfectly fucking preserved. I think that the they're in a, another language, so they're gonna have to have to help that situation because they they do. I think they do have the audio. It goes along with them. Yeah. So, so, they're, so they're sorting that stuff out right now. But but for a long time, a lot of episodes were completely lost. Well, if anybody's a Whovian and wants me to uh, wants me to watch the whole series from start to finish of the, all the things, because I've been skipping a couple of like things because they're just audio clips, and I'm like, I'm not watching something in audio and looking at a fucking picture forever. Yeah, I know. And uh, if anybody ever wants to give me that, just fucking tell me, and I'll put up. Well, yeah, the the well the problem. Yeah, I'll probably hear when they finally have those those things out. The ones that the lost episodes they found on DVD. They found yeah, I thought it was interesting movie. because there was actually a person on YouTube. I wanted to see how the Doctor transformation. And someone had the full episode of the one where he uh, the first Doctor dies and transforms into the second Doctor. Someone uh -huh. had it in color, and they got a copyright strike by BBC, and they were the only one to have it. That's ridiculous. Yep. I thought BBC would be smart enough and download the fucker before they deleted it. Because yes. no, not only was it black, not only was it the the transformation sequence in the episode itself, it was in color. Fuck. That's involved. Well, they should at least. I I can't imagine that they didn't that the footage didn't come from the BBC itself though. So no. The very first uh, doctor never uh, the the very first doctor in his transformation has never been able to be found the full episode. Well, I mean, but the parts the parts of the footage that do, I mean, exist. I mean, the part of the footage that do exist is basically the whole episode is basically a picture screen, flashing to different picture screens, until the very end when he transforms. 
the one I saw was in full color, the whole episode, and BBC took it down. Fucking cunts. I hate fucking copyright system. I've actually said it's the most racist thing ever. <laughs> it, all, it all started with fucking Americans freaking copyright system from 1970s. I'm not kidding. And it oh, just yeah. started spreading worldwide. And it was basically started when a couple of black guys started making their own raps with cassette tapes that were basically mixes of real musics and selling them on streets. That's where it all started from. Mm. It's yeah. horrible that it started from something like that, and now it's gone to a digital millennium copyright uh, copyright system where everything digital is illegal to use. That's that's been recorded and stuff. And I was like, why couldn't it just be supported so that way we'd be able to watch it whenever we want? I mean, I if, if yeah. that's the case. Well, technically, there's a well, technically there's a loophole with the with fair use as long as you're not making money on it, as long as it's um, it falls under the fair use, which is uh, things like satire. Um, th there's a lot of different things. It's it's very it's very very specific. Usually things like educational purposes and, and stuff like that. Oh. They make Did exceptions. You know, um, so yeah, but about, I, um, but when it comes to the copyright system area law with that, it should be um, like if this is the case of digital millennium copyright. Look what YouTube is. It's all free. It, all of it is free, and, and look how much we watch everything of it. Well, look and look how much money that um, you know these that you know the that gets kicked back to these these basically archaic um, middlemen. When music, for example. Mm. Yeah, like um, Michael Jackson's videos. Ever since he passed away, those videos have skyrocketed high. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And those are all free to watch. And those are all, like, copyrighted and DMCA'd. And it just tells... Uh, those are all DMCA'd and all that stuff. And it tells you, if something is free and it is open to the public, it'll be more popular than something that's not. Even if something is illegal, people don't really... Uh, people either don't give a fuck about it or give a fuck to watch it once. While if it's free for the whole public to use whenever they want and not costing anything... It'll be much more popular in the long run for everybody. Yeah, it's well. It, I really have. It's really. It's ironic that I. I mean, you, it's so easy to for um, people to self promote, promote these days. I mean, granted, it's difficult to reach a giant audience still, but it's like these recording companies. Not as worth, uh, not worth the pay, essentially. Don't care about God. Moving on. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go for it right now, you guys. Um, All right. See you, Rachel. I, previous engagement. I need to go investigate those fucking mine shafts. Okay. <laughs> well, ha have fun doing that. Have okay. fun. Bye. Bye. Yeah, I don't really care about the Call of Duty glitches. No, oh no! I was just I was just posting that because of the fact that they're using false DMCA's to um to prevent people from talking about it and making them look bad. Well, good for them because um, that just makes them even look worse. So whatever. Yeah, it's fucking illegal. So they're getting they would be pretty fucked. <laughs> Doesn't really well, matter. I'm not a COD fan. I refuse to play that series ever since I played COD One. I I actually want to get. Advanced Warfare, just because it looks like it's a step in the right direction. Which version? Uh, what system are you getting it on? Um, I would be getting it on PC. I own, I own nothing else. All right, I'll do a recommendation for you though. Mute every fucking player you play on it. <laughs> of course, yeah, of course, you know, I, of course, I do do something like that. But you know, it's a. Oh, on Xbox Live Party, it's even more beautiful because you know what you do? You just go into party chat, and you'll never hear anybody talk ever. Yeah, yeah. I'm. It's. I'm. I. I mean, it would be. Yeah. It's. I've been hearing uh, everybody saying on PS4 that no one even trash talks anybody on PS4's party chat systems ever. What? Yeah. I don't. I don't believe that. I don't. Yeah, it's a whole different that. internet. If that's the case. Yeah. It's yeah. It's because a lot of people, uh, the kids, aren't buying a PS4 because what's the PS4 have exactly? Nothing. 
that they want. Kids don't want a PS4. But when it come, but uh, apparently a lot of more adults are buying PS4s than kids. So yeah. Well, I don't expect kids to have the money to pay for them. So. <laughs> and it's it's more around the lines. The Xbox has always been called the popular system on the 360, and of course, kids are going to buy the 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 newer version of what they think is popular, and and all, and violent too. A lot of violent video games have always been on the Xbox Xbox system. So. Yeah, they think that it's going to transfer over, so they're going to buy that system as well and not buy a PS4. So I could imagine that a lot of people playing the uh, PS4 are probably going to be really nice and stuff. Um, are you trying to say that kids are assholes? Is, yeah. Is that where you're going with that? Well, certainly kids kids can be immature and on a... a but on the on the Microsoft system, I mean, weren't they, you know, employing new methods to, uh, you know, try to cut down on that, like, you know, rating systems and so forth? That doesn't matter. That doesn't do shit. Really? Yeah. Huh. I should know because I've downgraded people and they're still around and they still play on those things. I've met countless of them who basically trash talk. I actually met one that threatened that he was going to dox me and and to hack my profile and sit, and I said, go for it. I flagged him, and his account, his account still was active for over a year and a half, and he kept harassing me. Oh, well, that's Don't shitty. Don't they have, like, that, that swatting thing where people will, like, call the cops on you and shit? Yeah, that actually is true, and that, actually, yeah. that only happens on 360, not PS3. Huh. You can actually look up some clips of you of Twitch TV casters getting it the worst because it's on live streams and stuff. Oh, I've I've seen one footage. I've seen some footage of it. It 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 is scary as fuck. And you know, it, granted, the guy was more or less professional about it, but you know, it's still uh, it's not a loving experience. I saw one of a woman who basically got her, her door busted in and it ripped out all of her hardware stuff on her computer. <sighs> oh. Basically, all of her plugins and stuff that were hooked up to her casting device ripped out in an instant, hard. And you could hear the thing right before the disconnected thing go, dum, 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 dum. like I think the freaking modem itself fell over and was f- thrown all over the place. Oh well, ooh, that's bad. <laughs> yeah. So pretty much her, uh, the the her computer and the freaking uh, cords were just destroyed in an instant. Oh, I don't even know what to say to that. That's just fucked. I I, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean... I my because I work on it. I wouldn't give that the name anymore destroyed. because I don't give a fuck. I block communications after a goddamn while. Yeah, it's... I mean, and that just, yeah, I mean, sure, you can give cops some amenity because, you know, scary situation, bomb situation, but, you know, throwing someone some someone's computer around, even if the bomb was inside there, you know, that would be a bad idea. No, 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 it wasn't a bomb. It was the fact that they were being swatted. Basically, the way they do a swatting is not about bombing. It's about saying that they're going to do self-harm and harm to others. So you throw someone's computer around? Yeah, they like they got all the accused of computer. Because they were being recorded live with video camera and everything. Oh, that's still retarded. Yeah. They don't like to be publicly recorded. That's been a uh, thing since, uh, 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 if you've looked at it, there actually is a new thing where police officers are required to have cameras on their, um, so on their um, suits because of the fact that they've been doing self-harm to other people of the, of the public. Well, yeah, hopefully. I mean, that's... There's, like, thousands of videos of police brutally harassing and beating the crap out of civilians for no reason. That's the reason why they have them now. And it's one of the reasons why police officers do not like to be recorded whatsoever. That's the reason why he ripped the things out so quickly. I understood that, but he did not have to rip them out so hard that the freaking modem had to fly across the room or something. Yeah, I mean that that just sounds like a like bad, you know, bad police action on top of, you know, swatting. <laughs> yeah. That sometimes happens though. Almost every there is always that one asshole officer. 
Oh yeah, well you can just it, the, the the kind of people that either become police police officers I've seen, or either like the people who really actually enjoy it, um, or like the people who have done it um, as part of like. Like it's like kind of like a family business where um it's like the family gets into doing police work or detective work, and then there the people just get off on the power trip, and then those are the the ones that make everyone else look bad. Yeah, I can see that. Hey Gib, uh, if you work for someone from Microsoft, I'll give you uh give me proof by giving me an Xbox One. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that's how I see it. You work with somebody with Microsoft, uh, with Microsoft prove it. Give me an Xbox One. <laughs> I won't believe you otherwise. Maybe yeah, yeah. Make sure you know it's the Assassin's Creed pack or something. <laughs> you no, know, why not? <laughs> well, apparently, yeah. Well, at least at least apparently Unity is supposed to apparently run better on um, Xbox One or so I hear. I don't give a fuck. I want a PS4. <laughs> I really do. Uh, that's one. Of, that's my main console. I saw, um, well, like, um, when the PS3 and Xbox 360 came out, I went instantly grabbed the uh, Xbox 360 because I had Halo 3 and all this stuff. Bought Halo 4, bought Halo Reach, bought a lot of Halo. I was more obsessed with Halo. Then I saw the Master Chief Collection, and I was like, cool, it's the games I still have, but you got the anniversary of Halo 2, awesome. Is this coming out for Xbox 360? And they said, no, because the uh, the Halo 1 anniversary would not run strong enough for the Xbox 360, and I was like, new flash motherfuckers, I have the oldest system to the Xbox 360, and it worked just damn fine. Well, yeah, and... And yeah. then they started talking about how, and then I was like, yeah, let's go, PC Master Race, let's do it, Master Chief Collection on PC. And then they said, well, a PC can't run as powerful as an Xbox One, and I said, go fuck yourself, Microsoft. Yeah, are you fucking serious? Yeah, I'm like, fucking serious. One of the pre uh, head leaders of 343 announced that they would not be releasing Master Chief Collection on the PC because he said that the PC was not eligible to run Master Chief Collection. Uh, that's so stupid. Oh yeah. You know, Halo needs oh, to it be has the big graphic card engine that's not that's not eligible to be used on on con on the you know or is eligible to be used on a console that isn't been released yet for PC. You guys are eventually going to get it. You might be able to run it. And then people compared it with specs of their own powerful ones, and they said it was a fucking piece of shit. Well, and seriously, you know. We, I've been, you know, I. It's been that and the, you know, the Metroid Prime series where I've been searching for for a PC alternative because I love both of those games gameplay. But you don't have that on PC. I get a Wii U. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. At least the Wii U's being nice about their DLCs and shit. Yeah, yeah I actually but... tried out the um, Mario Kart 8 DLC. My neighbor got it, and he um. He actually left me to play, so hell's yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, I, I've I've been hearing people have been trying to crack the disc to see if it has any integration, you know, that was built in into the disc. So far, I've heard nothing about it. Mm -hmm. So that Which might mean yeah. they're actually doing legitimate DLC that is not integrated into the disc. They even talked about how they were putting Mewtwo in Smash and how they said it's very fucking difficult to just make one damn character. Yeah, Nintendo has always been, you know, well, not always, but they've been, they've recently really um, started to become, you know, that the really bad good game. game, yeah, system. Yeah, it's like like the actual gaming system, not the one you always hear about for bad reasons, gaming system. Yeah, it's kind of fun. That's the reason why Kotaku and all of them do not talk about it because they are. If if they do talk about it, the other fucking corporations are screwed because they're doing good stuff. They're 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 doing um, Nintendo Direct where they don't have to go to E3 anymore or anything like that. They don't have to spend money up the wazoo to show you new games. They have their own website browser that's on YouTube that's on their website to watch for free for everybody. And it's live, and no one has to miss out. The only time you'd miss out is if you were late to watch it, but you could always watch it on YouTube at any given point without having anybody upload it for copyright reasons. Which, I mean, you know, I'm holy, completely fine yes. with. Yeah, I know, and and the other industries don't do that. They just do, oh, there's a live event, and it's at this time, at this time, and that's it. Nintendo says, well, ours is at this time, 
and we only do it once, but you can watch it whenever you want. If you miss out on it, you can always rewatch the video by yourself, and that's that. Yeah, exactly. Which I mean, you know, I, you know, I, if you know, it's. I mean, I still won't get Smash because you know it's a completely ir- You know, it's a completely irrelevant game. You know, it's a completely ir- irrelevant se- um, sequel unless you're getting it on three on the three DS. No, it's not. But- yes. Yeah, no. See, I have on the 3DS. I saw and the, I all, the all right. If you've seen, if you've seen uh, the, uh, if you've seen the thing of the um, 50 facts or 30 facts about the Wii U Smash Bros, they added everything oh, in from the no. Smash Bros DS game and more for the Wii U. Well, yeah. Well, well I don't. They could have put Ice Climbers on the Wii U. Yeah, they they could have if the DS wasn't involved. And, and what's they, more interesting yeah, is um what, what's more interesting is I noticed a thing that my um when I was watching rewatching the video a couple of days ago is your DS can play with people on the Wii U. Well, that's well, that's the only way you'd get in an eight-person game. No, you can do it with uh, enough Wii, con- Wii remote controllers. And really? GameCube yeah. controllers. Oh, yeah. really? They've added that many? Okay. Well. You can uh, you can do uh, no, you can do four player. Co- this is how you can do it. You can do it with one person holding the the handheld controller, four po- four people holding the Wii remote, and then you can also do the GameCube accessory if you remember that. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. Well, Isn't there still. There's a third party. Um, there's a third party GameCube controller that does it, That's supposed to be um. Smash, because the uh, the official one's only for Smash Brothers. Yep, but people are talking about how they could, if by doing that, um, there probably might be a possibility for GameCube games to be played on, and if not, accept a homebrew of freaking GameCube ROMs being put into Wii U's. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, honestly, that's what I'd search for, because, you know, the one big reason, actually, that's keeping me from, you know, Playing the new Smash is, you know, the fact the fact that they fucked up my favorite character's, um, you know, character skin. Who? Samus. Oh well, they have all the other versions of her from NES and all that stuff. From but from Super from Prime. Which one? Which one's Prime? The GBA. From yeah, from no, Game Boy. Stupid. No, no, from GameCube. Oh, GameCube. Um. I don't know. Maybe they might have DLC skins on the way. Which that's the only that's the only you know that's the only way you know play with the more athletic build non hooker hooker boots non you know non slimmer armor Samus that'd be the only uh, take bro- um, universe. Well, there might anime. be a thing called a melee pack if they grab all the characters that are from Smash Bros. Melee. They could grab a DLC that's called melee pack that makes them look like their melee uh, forms. Yeah, I mean, it, well, if that's you know, if if that's the case, you know, if and they have that, then you know, at least they're trying to do, they're trying to fix that error. <laughs> well, I think that uh, if they are doing the this uh, the if that is uh, um, if uh, Samus is her Metroid uh, Wii version, then that might be a reason why it looks like that. Well, yeah, it's be it's because it's the other M, which. Going back to other M, well, it's really not even other M. It's beefed up other M. Yeah, but if if they have like um, you've seen in all the other games and all that stuff, if they have it to where she's uh, if they have it to oh, you gotta also remember they have customization with characters, right? You know that, right? Yeah, because um, to a, deg- to a degree. Kid, so yeah, the Cooper kids are all different. Like Bowser Jr. can be any of the Cooper kids, and. and it's they. That's pretty cool. I like that feature. Yeah, they could yeah. easily do a thing that we don't even know about, where Samus can look like her older version, for all you know. Well, to yeah, and if there if the customization in, exists, then good. But you know, it that wasn't the thing they shipped out. They shipped out with that. It wasn't the what form that they advertised with. So you know, it just what it just didn't seem worth my time if they were going to do that to my favorite character. Well, you're also looking at the DS version, right? 
Um, well, DS, well, DS and Wii U version. I mean, I didn't notice. I didn't notice any character model change between the two. Yeah, they do do character model change a little bit. You you don't very uh, normally you wouldn't spot it, but you can notice it. And they might have done the slimmer version of Mother M, but made her look like her version from Mother M, but but be actually that version from the one you like, for all you know. Well, maybe, but I you know it's not really worth the you know it's not it's not worth the sixty bucks on top of the cost of the hardware to figure to find out, you know. Mm. They probably have videos on uh, YouTube of uh, of the various costumes you can have for each character. Yeah, and I also think there might be DLCs on the way that'll be later modification versions. I wouldn't put well, them past I, them. Well, and I wouldn't put them past them either. But hope, but you know, until it comes along, you know, it's the it's just you know a nitpicky OCD thing that I have that you know I fully admit. <laughs> yeah, um, mine is. Um, I'm hyped that Mewtwo's in it, but my characters I wanted in it badly were Roy from Fire Emblem and freaking Gino from Super Mario RPG. I knew RPG right, would, yeah. would would be a slim chance, but it was just a pure hope. And Roy, because he was always my favorite in Melee, and I liked him more than any of the others, and I got pretty pissed off when What's-Her-Name freaking that new female character was put in because it was a fucking ripoff of Marth and they could have just switched it into being a male and female version of Marth instead of doing what they did with it. Right, yeah. Yeah, I, I, those I surmise um, along the same same concerns. <laughs> they did through that like that thing. Yeah. I, I, I got mad with the Summus and the um, with the Summus and Zero Suit Summus and uh, Zelda and then um, Sheik. And Sheik. Yeah. yeah, but then I thought about it for a, a long time about it, and I th- thought that would make more sense because there are fans that only gave a fuck about Sheik and not Zelda, and uh, a lot of fans that gave a fuck about Zero Suit Samus and not Samus. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I just well, like, whatever. And Zero, Suit, and Zero Suit Samus has the better move set without the rocket boots, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, that, that's true, but I think those rocket boots were added to give her a high jump because that whip of getting up, it's kind of bullshit in Brawl. I'm going to say no. that right now, because I actually wrecked my friend who was really good at Smash by using that move. Well, okay, I've never had, I never had a problem with it, and I never, you know, I, I, in fact, I, you know, it, it was more difficult, but it was actually a, Difficulty I actually enjoyed. It wasn't, you know, a difficulty that made the game less fair or anything like that. Besides, they could have done something like, you know, put it along the back of back of the leg, or you know, hell, put it put it along put it along, you know, the lower leg. Not, you know, made it, you know, um, unrealistic to see her walking, to see her running around. You know what, Frozen. Nintendo Master Race, yeah. boom, said it. Why? <laughs> they started it. Deal with it. No way, dude. No way. Yeah, Freaking, uh, if you talk about starting it, they, they weren't around when it started. No, 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 no. They were making they cards. It because you know what they did? They made Donkey Kong for the arcade machine, and that's where it all <laughs> came from. <laughs> oh, there were easily games that before that. that. There were easily games before that. Yeah, there were easily um, games so before that, but can you say that the industries are still alive? Yeah, actually, Maze War was the very first first-person shooter. Um, it was developed on like MIT um, PCs, and like it's yeah, it's ancient. It's like from 1960s. <laughs> and that shit's still going strong, apparently. Yeah, like I don't that, care. Uh, Nintendo Master like, Race still calling it. <laughs> I mean, they're the friendliest corporation out there right now. They're the ones who know they what they're used doing. To be. Yeah, they yeah, used this is recent. Bad, this is this is yeah. a very recent thing. Yeah, they're now doing it because of what happened. They're business corporation. I don't care about Maze Wars. I'm not clicking that link. Get it out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, um, it, it became because they uh, they fucked up when they made the Wii U and the Wii, and they busted big time. And now they're basically uh, uh, a couple years ago on Twitter they announced that they are going to start listening to gamers. Surprisingly, they are. Go figure. When Which, a corporation starts doing that, that that's, that's going to make beautiful things. 
Yeah, exactly. Oh, I thought it was funny. The first thing they ask is what game did they want to make. So, I want to know what you think would be the first game that Nintendo fans demanded, because it was fucking funny. It was unanimous all across the world. Oh, was it something like, you know, uh, you know, Star Fo- a new Star Fox or, you know, something like that? No, that was the second one, but no. You want to know what it was? I yeah. I have no idea. Super Mario RPG 2. And then <laughs> it across the fucking board. I laughed so damn hard. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know it's and, fucking true. Well, and yeah, and I, I, I really hope that they do make it because I mean they have Paper Mario, which which was close, and those games did well. And then you have you know Hyrule did Warriors. You, uh, yeah, but did which, you see the Easter? Did you see? Did you see the thing when they first announced Smash Bros. of an Easter egg Miyamoto was doing of a game blurred out? No, I I, I mean oh. I, haven't, I haven't been following much of it, so. Basically, there was a game blurred out, and he was playing on the Wii U controller. It was Star Fox. <laughs> and he did in like, was number two, not number one. He said, yes, Star Fox is being made, but it's going to take a little while. And I was like, oh my god, I was so <laughs> hyped. I was so hyped when I heard that. I have actually played the 64, even not knowing how to play it and beat it. Yeah, now that... It, you know, at least the, at least they're listening to to one, and hopefully they sh- don't include any you know ground el- elements. No, 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 no. It showed him using the freaking jet fighter flying around in the sky. You could clearly see it blurred out, but it was the jet fighter, and you could know by the way it looked and everything that it was. He hinted at that like troll facing. I was like, <laughs> "Oh, you son of a bitch! You beautiful motherfucker, Miyamoto! I love well, you." Well, <laughs> yeah, Miyamoto. You know all you know the. Uh, that entire trio from Nintendo are just like, you know, just trolling masters. I mean... <laughs> oh, yeah. It was just like when nobody wanted Bayonetta 2 and then Nintendo was like, yeah, we'll make it. We'll release it. Here you go, fans. And we're like... Argh. And it's like, you know, and it's actually a really good game. And it's like, you know, well, you didn't want it, but, you know, hey, it didn't suck. So, you know... Yeah, it was just like nice. the, the the game trailer. I was watching that shit, and I was like, eh, this doesn't look so good. And then I was watching Treehouse uh, Treehouse um, Nintendo when they were showing the gameplay of people playing against each other. I was like, holy shit, I want this game! Yeah, it's like they, they're, they're really doing well, so it's like, you know... I mean, uh, Captain Toad. A, a toad that can't fucking jump? What the fuck? I want it! <laughs> Seriously, a toad that can't jump. Have you ever seen that before? No, it's like it's in, you know, and that's actually one of the more interesting games. You know, it's like it, it's between that and you know Luigi's Mansion. It's like you know maybe we. I'm oh, hoping people. I Mansion two or three on the Wii U. Holy shit, would that yeah. be awesome? Yeah, it would be the third one. I mean. I just I just hope people don't shit on them so as much as they did with the first Luigi's Mansion. Oh, it was just like I had an idea and my I enjoyed friend that though. Was a genius where yeah. I said, "Why don't they make a new four swords for the Wii U that has multiplayer online?" Yeah, and it's like and that's the, that's the only one thing that Nintendo needs to do now. They need to start adding these features. They need to, you know, start adding competent, you know, online multiplayer and uh, and you know, matchmaking and all of this. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you can hear that the excitement in Nintendo is getting very popular. Like, you could say that you can, no matter what you say about it, Nintendo has always made excellent games. I have never met a time when they have never made a flop game. There probably are some well, out there, but you know, they exist. But they exist. Taken, but yeah. It's like it's like CGI it's Zelda's out of whatever. What? The CDI Zeldas that they licensed out, um, was it one of Gamelon and the other two that are uh, basically my boy and all that shit? Uh, <laughs> I'm so hungry, games. I could Sorry. eat an Octorox. Yeah, those, yes, those, those ones are not even related to Nintendo. <laughs> I know, they just licensed them out, but still, like they try to sweep that under the rug like it didn't happen. But, it's yeah. like, yeah, no, you, they can. Would you want that shit, uh, shit be uh, happily produced under a different system? No, but <laughs> you know, it. 
I mean, I think I think they they have more tongue in cheek now. I mean, with them, at least some the yeah, designer, the, the designer, the, design, uh, the design of Link and some of you know in the newest, uh, um, in the newest um, 3DS title for Link, you know the that was man? no um, Link Between Worlds. Ah, uh, yes, that is the sequel to Link to the Past. Amazing by my yes. standards. Yeah, and it's like you know they you know it's at least similar enough a costume design where it's like hey I sent some three you know some three CD in here it's like you know oh that's nothing did you know they have an Easter egg of Majora's Mask inside Link's house oh yeah yeah and um, it's kind of funny because um, the reason why they exploded it was kind of funny I was on a Twitch TV live stream of Nintendo's uh, Twitch channel and they had like five hundred people. Right when the beginning of the trailer hit, of the first trailer, it was Majora's Mask. Five or ten seconds in when people realized, people started tweeting it on Twitter, and then it went from 500 to 15,000 to 150,000 people in it halfway through <laughs> the trailer. And Nintendo stated, and I was part of the, uh, a Facebook page, call, a page called Operation Moonfall that is the support of making... Um, Majora's Mask on a remake or something or sequel. Yeah. And they said that they would never make a Nintendo uh, the Nintendo remake because no one would want to buy it, and the majority of people would want to buy it would be over a thousand to ten thousand, a hundred and fifty thousand people watching the stream for Majora's Mask trailer. After that trailer, it went back back down to five hundred. That tells you <laughs> something. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. I, I was never I mean, a big uh, fan of Majora's Mask. Makes freaking Resident Evil look like shit. I'm just gonna say that right now. Well, maybe, maybe we'll we'll see. <laughs> All right, I'll give you an example on it. When you're playing Majora's Mask, you have the ability to play the Song of Healing to grab the other masks, the Dooku mask, and all these other masks. Yours a mission where you're supposed to talk. You talk to this boy at the beginning of the game, and it's a, a a young Deku kid who has died and fallen and is like a now a tree. You are ordered to tell his father, who's like the the butler of the uh, the Deku Palace area, to tell him that he has died. Shortly after you t- uh, you you agree to his statement, you get transformed into a Deku that is exactly like his son and told his father, while looking like his son, that his son has died. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, there's... Then there's the... the one where you meet the Zora, and you play the Song of Healing and get a mask from him. When you put on this mask and go into the Zora village and all that stuff, they think you are this man, this guy, this great singer, and then you go to see his wife who she thinks that you are her husband. Do you bang on? No, you're supposed to rescue their kids. And wow. she uh, basically becomes unmute, and she and basically you take off the mask, and, you, and he's never seen again. Huh. It's basically the form of you're putting on someone else's skin and basically pretending to be them, even though you are not them. Huh. It's like Buffalo Bill then. <laughs> I guess, but yeah. Pretty dark shit for uh, a game made for E for everyone. Yeah, and I mean, um, I mean, that that kind of thing, I mean, uh, even Ocarina of Time had that sort of stuff, but you know, I could just never, I could never really get past the um, time limit. I, you know, I... I I I freak out any time you know with the with the time limit that oh you, know, you can slow that time. shit down and there's even a glitch to make a fourth day out of it where it slows even fl- slower than ever. Well, yeah, there's a way you can like break it, right? You can break it for one extra day called the fourth day. And even more abstract to that is Majora's Mask compared to all other things has a creepy pasta to it called Ben Drowned, which everybody knows about. Right, yeah, I know I know about that. That's stuff. the most famous iconic thing ever, and that made the game even explode even harder. I mean you could say, Oh, Resident Evil Resident Evil has like scary elements. It's like, yeah, but it doesn't have a creepy posse yet. <laughs> even if it did, it wouldn't be really that relevant compared to a fucking kid. Ground and stuff. 
I mean, what could they do? Zombie apocalypse? Ooh, like that's never been done before. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see. I know was a, I know there's a thing called a Resident Evil Insomnia, but that's about it. Well, and Resident Evil doesn't need creepy pasta, honestly. It's already there. Yeah. You know, it's but, already but that a major, game. But Majora's Mask plus a creepy pasta on top of it. Damn. Yeah. Well, yeah, certainly. If they made a sequel for Majora's Mask, which I don't know if they would for the Wii U, ooh, forget it, Wii U wins. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting that out there right now. If Majora's Mask sequel comes out, Wii U wins. Well, what I, I mean, well, well, whatever. I mean, at least, I mean, with the re-releases, you know. I mean, I mean, think about it. If, uh, if, um, because Majora's Mask is like really hyped right now, and if there was a sequel put out for the Wii U, the system would sell like a freaking candy in a, a, a candy factory. And but because um, it's the same thing like if uh, PlayStation Four announced uh, Final Fantasy HD, you know, boom, instant seller for the PS4. That thing's gone out of the ballpark. I mean, yeah. Xbox One, the only reason why it's already toppled over the PS4 by almost 1 million units is because of that Master Chief collection. And the only reason why that is is because they remade the Halo 2 HD uh, HD anniversary with multiplayer and all that stuff. That system would not have sold if they just released it on 360 and Xbox One. It wouldn't have. They made it exclusive on purpose because that would have sold the system like crazy. It did, but it only gave them a million extra units, but that's about it. Yeah, which, I mean, it's, that's, um, that's, which is, a, is also, which is a good and a bad thing. I mean, the, even with the, um, you know, with, I'd rather some of these games, you know, come to PC, you know, or come to, um, you, or, you know some non-console version, just so that we can get our hands on them, hands well, on them as I, well. I say this right now: the creator of uh, Sony has already announced that he's noticing that the digital market is getting greater in sales than any than building more consoles, and he did announce that PS4 is the final system for Sony. Okay, well, that just leaves Sony Microsoft and Nintendo. Nintendo. Yeah, it's just going to leave Microsoft and Nintendo. Nintendo's going to stay forever. Microsoft did uh, did do the downloadable content thing for the 360, and their reaction was they weren't going to ever do it again, cause, and then they shut it down, and everybody who bought those games on the PC lost all their money. Yeah, it's which, I mean, it was a terrible service, so, I mean... If you're going yeah, to do it, Microsoft do it right. Microsoft is going to crash. It is. Microsoft is going to crash, and then Nintendo is going to be where it's at again on top. And that's fine with me. It's like you'll have your PlayStation 4 on your PC, and you'll have one system to buy from again, like years ago. And that's what it should be. Yeah. Well, as we just need more console style the competitors come along. Oh, oh, Sega isn't going back into it, and plus Sega's made an agreement with Nintendo, so Sega ain't going to come back into mm -hmm. battling it out again. Sega, the, Sega, is, Sega is essentially owned by Nintendo at this point. <laughs> yeah, and then there's the Ouya, which was a big fucking joke, and then uh, then they have the Steam console, which is basically its own version for PC and all that stuff, which is just basically a PC of it. Exactly the same of all the things. Really wouldn't fucking matter, because that thing's just exactly the same as a PC, so... If there's a system version of it and a freaking PC version, I guarantee that people would buy a PC more than a system version. Well, I mean, I mean, console consoles have been searching for a digital market that's nice and stable, and you know, Steam is you know a largely successful and improving. Um, yeah, but it's UI, the thing. Of, uh, and so you bring that to console. Yeah, but if you check the Steam thing, because basically people have said it's a piece of shit the system for it. They've well, actually been trying to build one, and it's like, uh, oh, you got to rebuild it, you got to remodify it, and this and that. And it's like, and they say that okay. after six months well, they have to redo it and all that. Well, yeah, stuff like that, and you know, sort of uh, does undermine it a bit. But I mean, still, if you know there was a Steam thing for a non-PC, I mean, it could be a big seller. I think. Yeah, it would definitely um, alleviate a lot of the problems with um, releasing software. 
I mean, yeah. Well, I, and yeah, and you know, Steam is still has its faults. I mean, it's digital marketing, or it's a, or it's basically a digital DRM agent. Yeah. If you can get down to it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Tales series would probably go to the P the PC Master Race as well, once Microsoft once uh, Sony retires, unless uh, Bandai uh, Namco decides to go to Xbox One. They really haven't been doing that well with it, like with Tales of Vesperi going to the Xbox One. Didn't sell as much on the marketplace as people thought. All right. Um, I was talking to the person in the chat. Yeah. yeah. Well, gents, it, it looks um, like we're coming near to the um, time limit. Hooray. Um, so, I mean, Hooray. I guess... I, I guess I'd just like to um, wrap stuff up now since, you know, two people are watching and I don't want, want this to go on forever, so... Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, thank you both for being here. This has been the Stoll Review panel show number three. Um, if you like this content, please consider spreading it around and, you know, uh, subscribing to all the social medias just so you know you can stay abreast of everything and follow everyone else. Um, let's make OP Skynet more powerful than just Twitter. So um, with that being said, um, there is no show next week, um, but have a happy Thanksgiving. Hope um, All the best to all your families out there. Um, and we'll see you two weeks from now. Um, this is this is Robert Stoll of the Stoll Review signing out. You should wish him a Merry Christmas as well. Happy yeah. Hanukkah. Well, that, that's coming up. We'll have some shows before well, you, that. So. You said two weeks from now, so it would be halfway through December, and people celebrate at the beginning of December for Christmas. Um, is Christmas. So you should. Oh yeah, well, well. Well. Merry Merry Christmas to those who celebrate Christmas early or Kwanzaa or whatever holiday well, traditions you have. Do or Hanukkah. Hanukkah does um, in the beginning. Yeah. So um, the point is, we'll see you in two weeks and have a nice evening.